The Dutch East India Company de Compagnie or VOC, is one of the most influential and best expertly researched companies corporations in history. As an exemplary historical company state, the VOC had effectively transformed itself from a corporate entity into a state, an empire, or even a world in its own right. The VOC world, i.e. networks of people, places, things, activities, and events associated with the Dutch East India Company, has been the subject of a vast amount of literature that includes both fiction and non-fiction works. VOC World Studies is an international multidisciplinary field focused on social, cultural, religious, scientific, technological, economic, financial, business, maritime, military, political, legal, diplomatic activities, institutional organization, and administration of the VOC and its colorful world. Some of the notable VOC historians, scholars include Sinapa Arasaratnam, Leonard Blushay, Peter Borschberg, Charles Ralph Boxer, Yarp Bruin, Fem Gastra, Om Prakash, Gunter Schilder, and Nigel Warden. In terms of global business history, the lessons from the VOC's success and failure are critically important. With a permanent capital base, the VOC was the first permanently organized limited liability joint stock company at the dawn of modern capitalism. As an early pioneering model of the modern corporation, the VOC was the first corporation to be ever actually listed on a formal stock exchange. In the early 1600s the VOC became the world's first formally listed public company, or publicly listed company, by widely issuing bonds and shares of stock to the general public. In many respects, modern-day publicly listed multinational corporations including Forbes Global 2000 companies are all descendants of the 17th century VOC business model. For almost 200 years of its existence, 1602 to 1800, the company played crucial roles in business, financial, socio-politico-economic, military-political, diplomatic, legal, ethnic, and exploratory maritime history of the world. In the early modern period, the VOC was the driving force behind the rise of corporate-led globalization, corporate power, corporate identity, corporate culture, corporate social responsibility, corporate governance, corporate finance, corporate capitalism, and finance capitalism. It was the VOC's institutional innovations and business practices that laid the foundations for the rise of giant global corporations to become a highly significant and formidable socio-politico-economic force of the modern world as we know it today. These pioneering innovations allowed a single business enterprise like the VOC to mobilize financial resources from a large number of investors and create ventures at a scale that had previously only been possible for monarchs. The company also played a major role in the rise of Amsterdam as the first modern model of international financial centers. With its pioneering institutional innovations and powerful roles in world history, the company is considered by many to be the first major, first modern, first global, most valuable, most important, and most influential corporation ever seen. In terms of military and political history, along with the Dutch West India Company, WIC, GWIC, the VOC was seen as the international arm of the Dutch Republic and the symbolic power of the Dutch Empire. The VOC was historically a military political economic complex rather than a pure trading company or shipping company. The company's activities had seminal influence on the early modern history of many countries and territories around the world such as the Dutch Republic, United Provinces of the Netherlands, New Netherland, North America, Indonesia, Malaysia, India, Sri Lanka, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Mauritius, Taiwan, and Japan. 
In the golden age of Dutch cartography, c. 1570s to 1670s, VOC navigators and cartographers helped shape cartographic and geographic knowledge of the modern-day world. The commercial network of the VOC provided an infrastructure which was accessible to people with a scholarly interest in the exotic world. In terms of exploratory maritime history of the world, as a major force behind the golden age of Dutch exploration and discovery, c. 1590s to 1720s, the VOC funded exploratory voyages such as those led by Willem Jansoon, Doofken, Henry Hudson, Harv Main, and Abel Tasman revealed largely unknown landmasses to the civilized world and put their names on the world map. The VOC's navigators and explorers were the first non-natives to undisputedly discover, explore and chart coastlines of mainland Australia, Tasmania, New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga. Australia was the last human-inhabited continent to be methodologically explored and mapped. In the 17th century, VOC navigators and explorers charted almost three-quarters of the Australian coastline, except the East Coast. In spite of the VOC's historic roles and contributions, the company has long been criticised for its monopoly, violence, colonialism, slave trade, exploitation, including use of slave labour, and environmental destruction. In Graham Harmon's own words 2016, One of the paradoxes of the company VOC, is that the Dutch were the most liberal and humane nation in Europe at that time, and yet they created in the company a very efficient monstrosity. The company's alternative names that have been used include the Dutch East Indies Company, United East India Company, United East Indian Company, United East Indies Company, Jan Compagnie, or Jan Company. The following is a incomplete list of works relating to the history of the VOC. Topic: Non-fiction. Topic. Books, dissertations and theses Topic General Antunez, Kashia, Gomans, Joss, Eds, Exploring the Dutch Empire, Agents, Networks and Institutions, 1600-2000, London, Bloomsbury, 2015. Ariese, C. Silla, A Series of Firsts, Australian and Dutch Representations of the Dutch East India Company VOC, Dissertation in International Museum Studies, Master's Programme in International Museum Studies, School of Global Studies, Gothenburg University, Sweden, June 2012 Barend van Heften, Marriage K. Ed., Op Reis met de VOC. De Openhartige Dagboeken van de Zusters Lamens en Swellengrebel, Zutphen, Wahlberg Purse, 1996 in Dutch, Blushe, Leonard, Zandliet, Keys, The Dutch Encounter with Asia, 1600-1950. Wanders, 2004, 464 pp Boxer, CR, The Dutch Seaborne Empire, 1600–1800, London, 1965 Boxer, CR, Jan Compagnie in War and Peace, 1602–1799, A Short Story of the Dutch East India Company, Hong Kong, Heinemann Educational Books Limited, 1979 Boxer, CR, Dutch Merchants and Mariners in Asia, 1602–1795, Collected Studies Series. Variorum, 1988, 350 pp Bruijn, J. R., A. Al., Eds, Muitere, O Proer en Berechting op Scheppen van de VOC, Harlem, 1980 in Dutch, Bruijn, J. R., Gastra, Fem, Ships, Sailors and Spices, East India Companies and Their Shipping in the 16th, 17th and 18th Century, Amsterdam, Neha, 1993. 
pp. She plus 208 Bruin, J.R., Commanders of Dutch East India Ships in the 18th Century, Woodbridge, Boydell Press, 2011, ISBN 9781843836223 Burnett, Ian, East Indies, The 200-Year Struggle Between the Portuguese Crown, the Dutch East India Company and the English East India Company for Supremacy in the Eastern Seas, Kenthurst, Australia, Rosenberg Publishing, 2013, ISBN 978-1921719592 Clulo, Adam, Mostert, Tristan Eds, The Dutch and English East India Companies, Diplomacy, Trade and Violence in Early Modern Asia, Amsterdam, Amsterdam University Press, 2018 18, Koolhaas, W. P. H., ed., Generate Missiven van Governors General en Raden AAN Heron 17 der Verenigde Oostendische Compagnie, 8 vols. The Hague, 1960-85 in Dutch Koolhaas, W. P. H., A Critical Survey of Studies on Dutch Colonial History, The Hague, Martinus Niehoff, 1960, Dirks, Hans, History of the Opium Problem, The Assault on the East, C.A. 1600-1950, Leiden, Brill, 2012 De Wolf, Euroen, Pramstra, OLF, Van Kempen, Michiel Eds, Shifting the Compass, Pluricontinental Connections in Dutch Colonial and Postcolonial Literature, Newcastle, UK, Cambridge Scholars Publishing, 2013, ISBN 978-14438-4228-0 Ingrid G. De Nadagen van de Verenigde Oostendische Compagnie, 1783–1795, Schepen en Zeevarenden, Amsterdam, De Batafche Liu, 1992 in Dutch, Gastra, Femme, Particulier Geldstromen binnen het VOC Bedrige F1640–1795, Leiden, Rijksmuseum het Koninklijk Penningkabinet, 2002 in Dutch, Guy, Richard John. John, First Spaces of Colonialism, The Architecture of Dutch East India Company Ships, Ph.D. Dis, Cornell University, 2012, Haneda, Masashi, ed., Asian Port Cities, 1600-1800, Local and Foreign Cultural Interactions, Singapore, NUS Press, Kyoto, Kyoto University Press, 2009. Herport, Albrecht, Rees Nack Java, Formosa, Vorder Indien und Salon, 1659-1668 Edited by Neighbor, S.P. Lonere, The Hague, 1930 in German, Heimer, Albert, A History of the Dutch in the Far East, George Wa Pub Co., Ann Arbor, Michigan, 1953 Jacobs, Els M., Ackveld, Leo, Eds, De Kluregeke Wereld van de VOC, National Jubilumbuch VOC, 1602-2002, Bussum, Foth, 2002 in Dutch, Jacobs, Els M., Ackveld, Leo, Eds, The Colorful World of the VOC, National Anniversary Book VOC, 1602-2002, Bussum, Foth, 2002, Jones, Eric, Wives, Slaves, and Concubines, A History of the Female Underclass in Dutch Asia. De Kalb, Northern Illinois University Press, 2010 Ketelars, Michel, Compagnies Doctors, Vruin en de VOC, 1602-1795, Amsterdam, Balance, 2014 in Dutch Ketting, Herman, Levin, Work en Rebellie aan Board van Oost Indivaders, 1595-1650, Amsterdam, 2002 in Dutch Ketting, Herman, Fluichep en Vorder VOC. Balancien tussen onkostelige kjt en duersimhjt. Zaltbommel, Aprilis, 2006 in Dutch, Noest, Jure J.A., Met Jan Compagnie na de Oost. 
Had Levin Aan Bord van der Voc Schepen, circa 1660–1745 with Jan Compagnie to Asia. Life on board the ships of the Dutch East India Company, circa 1660–1745, Bachelor Thesis, University of Amsterdam, 2005 in Dutch Noist, Jure J.A., Factore in Bedrige F. De Jarlijkse Hundel en Wandel van het VOC Personeel op de Schema circa 1684–1697 a trading post in operation. The yearly doings and dealings of the Dutch East India Company servants on Dishima circa 1684–1697, Master Thesis, University of Amsterdam, 2007 in Dutch Krondel, Michael, The Taste of Conquest, The Rise and Fall of the Three Great Cities of Spice, New York, Ballantine Books, 2007 Kuypers, Jan, De Voc. N. Multinational on de Zeal, 1602 1799, Wahlberg Purse, 2014, 2E Doctor, 2016, in Dutch, Locker Scholten, E. Rietbergen, P. Eds, Hoff and Hundel, Asiatische Vorsten en de VOC, 1620 1720, Leiden, K. I. T. L. V. Utjeveri, 2004, in Dutch, Mansvelt, W. M. F. Rechts vor men Geldelijk Beheer bij de Oost Industrie Compagnie, Amsterdam, Swayze and Zeitlinger, 1922, in Dutch, Masselman, George, The Cradle of Colonialism, New Haven, C.T., Yale University Press, 1963, Maelink Roloch, M.A.P., De VOC in Asi, The VOC in Asia, Bussum, Fibula van Discherk, 1976, in Dutch, Milton, Giles, Nathaniel's Nutmeg, or The True and Incredible Adventures of the Spice Trader Who Changed the Course of History, New York, Penguin Books, 1999 Neighbor, S. P. Lonneray, ed., Reisebeschreibungen von Deutschen Beamten und Kriegsluten im Dienst der Niederländischen Westundo St. Indischen Kompanien, 1602-1797 13 Vols, Den Haag, 1930-19 32 in German Nagazumi, Yoko ed. Large and Broad, The Dutch Impact on Early Modern Asia. Essays in honor of Leonard Blushay, Tokyo, Toyo Bunko, 2010 Neerstrash, Chris, In the Shadow of the Company, The Dutch East India Company and Its Servants in the Period of Its Decline 1740-1796, Leiden, Netherlands, Brill Academic, 2012, ISBN 9789004234291 Harman, Bert, Ed. V. Will der Arme nach Ost Indie Waren. Liege's UIT de Compagnestide, Amsterdam, Querido, 1991 in Dutch, Rabin, Remco, Batavia and Colombo, The Ethnic and Spatial Order of Two Colonial Cities, 1600–1800, Ph.D. Dis, University of Leiden, 1996 Rabin, Remco, de Bruijn, Max, Eds, The World of Jan Brands, 1743–1808, Drawings of a Dutch Traveller in Batavia, Ceylon and Southern Africa, Amsterdam, Wanders Publishers and Rijksmuseum, 2004 Roos, D. Zuen de Voc, Middelburg, 1987 in Dutch Russell, Lynette, ed., Colonial Frontiers, Indigenous European Encounters in Settler Societies, Manchester, Manchester University Press, 2001 Schmidt, Benjamin, in Innocence Abroad, The Dutch Imagination and the New World, 1570-1670, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, 2001 Schutt, G. J. Ed., Het Indisch Sion. De Gere Formeer de Kirk onder de Verenig de Oost Industrie Compagnie, Hilversum, 2002 in Dutch, Schweitzer, Christoph, Rees nach Java und Salon, 1675-1682, Tübingen, 1682, S.P.
Lon or Neighbor HRSG, Reisebeschreibungen von Deutschen Beamten und Kriegsluten im Dienst der Niederländischen West und OST Indischen Kompanien, 1602 1797, Den Haag, 1931, in German, Slay, Dan, Jan Compagnie, The World of the Dutch East India Company, Cape Town, Tafelberg, 1980, Stir, J.J. Herstel of Ondergang, De Vorstellen tot Redres van de Verenig de Oostendische Compagnie, 1740-1795, Utrecht, N.I., H.E.S. Utgevere, 1984 in Dutch. Stevens, Harm, De V.O.C. in Bedrijf, 1602-1799, Zutphen, Wahlberg Purse, 1998, ISBN 9789057300073 in Dutch Terpstra, H., De Opkomis der Westerkortieren van de Oost Indische Compagnie, Serate, Araby, Persi, S. Gravenhager, 1918, in Dutch. Van Dam, Peter, Beschreiving van de Oost Indische Compagnie, Derd Boek, Uitgegeven door Dr. F. W. Staple, S. Gravenhager, 1943, in Dutch. Van der Geij en Verhoeven, Monique, Al. 1 en op de Carpen in Batavia, 1602-1795, Zwolle, Wanders, 2002 in Dutch Van den Heuvel, Daniel, Bij Uitlandije van Harman. Echtgenotes van VOC Zeeleden, Ungemonstert voor de Kammer Enkhausen, 1700-1750, Amsterdam, 2005, in Dutch. Van Gelder, Roloff, Roper, Vibeke, Eds, in Dienst van de Compagnie, Levin Bij de VOC in Honderd Getwegenissen, 1602-1799, Amsterdam, Athenaeum, 2002, in Dutch. Van Gelder, Roloff, Naporazom Vague, Het Levin van Nvoc Matrus, 1731-1793, Amsterdam, Atlas, 2003, in Dutch. Van Gore, J., Prelude to Colonialism, The Dutch in Asia, Hilversum, Verloren, 2004. Van Rossum, Matthias, Kluriegeke Tragique, De Geschiedenis van Slavenage in Azionde de VOC, Hilversum, Verloren, 2015, in Dutch. Van Troostenberg de Brain, C.A.L., De Hervem de Kirk in Nederlandische Oost Indie onder de Oost Indische Compagnie, 1602-1795, Arnhem, Jeanke Willink, 1884, in Dutch. Van Wieschen, Peter, Vadimekum van de Oost en West Indische Compagnie. Historisch geografisch overzicht van de Nederlands aanwezigheid in Afrika, Amerika, Asie en West Australie vanaf 1602 tot Hedden Handbook of the East and West Indian Company. Historical geographical overview of the Netherlands' presence in Africa, America, Asia and West Australia from 1602 to the present, Utrecht, Bestiebrecher, 2002, in Dutch. Von der Baer, Johan, Rees Nacht Java, Vorder Indien, Persian and Salon, 1641-50. Ed. S. P. Lonere Neighbor, Den Haag, 1930, in German. Wagenaar, Lodewijk, ed. A. A. N. de Overkant, Ontmoetingen in Dienst van de VOC en Wick, 1600 to 1800, Leiden, Sidestone Press, 2015, in Dutch. Wyder, Howard J., The Dutch Diaspora: Growing Up Dutch in New Worlds and the Old. The Netherlands and its settlements in Africa, Asia, and the Americas, Lexington Books, 2007 Witteveen, Menno, en ondernemming van landsbelang. De oprichting van de Verenig de Oost Industrie Compagnie in 1602. Amsterdam, Amsterdam University Press, 2002 in Dutch. 
Topic roles in economic, financial and business history Allen, Richard B., European Slave Trading in the Indian Ocean, 1500–1850, Indian Ocean Studies Series, Athens, O., Ohio University Press, 2014, Amod, Morris, ed., Dutch Capitalism and World Capitalism, Capitalisme Hollandaise et Capitalisme Mondial, Studies in Modern Capitalism, Etudes sur le Capitalisme Moderne, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, Paris, Editions de la Maison des Sciences de l'Homme, 1982, Barber, Violet, Capitalism in Amsterdam in the 17th Century, Ann Arbor, University of Michigan Press, 1963, Barons, René, The Arabian Seas, The Indian Ocean World of the 17th Century, Leiden, Leiden University Press, 2000. 2002, Bernstein, William J., A Splendid Exchange, How Trade Shaped the World, London, Atlantic Books, 2008, Borges, T., Vorkompanien, VOCN het Nieuwe Economist J. Model N. Virgilijken Study Tussen Oost Indus J. Compagnien N. Hunopse, Bachelor Thesis, Utrecht University, 2016, in Dutch, Bone, Stephen R., Merchant Kings. When Companies Ruled the World, 1600-1900, New York, Macmillan, 2010, Bruin, J.R., Gastra, Femme, Schoffer, I., Eds, Dutch Asiatic Shipping in the 17th and 18th Centuries. R.I.J.K.'s Geschiedkundige Publication. Grote Serie, Vol. 165-167, The Hague, Niehoff, 1987, Bucknell, John, The Coins of the Dutch East Indies, An Introduction to the Study of the Series, London, Spink and Son, 1931, Chowdhury, K.N., The Trading World of Asia and the English East India Company, 1660-1760, London, 1970. Chow, Peter C. Y., Taiwan in the Global Economy, From an Agrarian Economy to an Exporter of High-Tech Products, Westport, CN, Prager, 2002, Davies, D. W., A Primer of Dutch 17th-Century Overseas Trade, The Hague, Martinus Niehoff, 1961, De La Vega, Joseph Penso, Confusion de Confusionis, 1688, Portions Descriptive of the Amsterdam Stock Exchange, Introduction by Hermann Kellenbenz, Baker Library, Harvard Graduate School of Business Administration, 1957, Den Haier, H. J., De Voc en de Beurs. De Verenig de Oost Indus J. Compagnie als Grondlegger van de Eerste Andelenbeurs, The VOC and the Exchange. How the VOC laid the foundation for the world's first stock exchange, Amsterdam, Euronext Amsterdam NV and Stichting Vereniging Border Effectenhandel, 2002, in Dutch, Den Haier, H.J., De Geoctruier de Compagnie, De VOC en Wickels Vorlopers van de Namlos Venutschap. De Venta, Kluwer, 2005, in Dutch, Dirks, Hans, Verslaas de Aanopium. De VOCN het we van Aranje als drugstealers, Amsterdam, Atheneum Polak en van Genep, 2015, in Dutch, De Heer, C., Beesdridge tot de financiële geschiedenis der Oost Indus J. Compagnie, S. Gravenhager, 1929, in Dutch, De Court, J.P., De Jarlijkse Financiële Verantwording in de Verenig de Oost Indische Compagnie, The Hague, Niehoff, 1983, in Dutch, De Vries, Jan, van der Wood, A., The First Modern Economy, Success, Failure, and Perseverance of the Dutch Economy, 1500-1815, Cambridge University Press, 1997, ISBN 978-0-521-57825-7, De Swart, Pym, Globalization and the Colonial Origins of the Great Diversity. 
divergence, intercontinental trade and living standards in the Dutch East India Company's commercial empire, c. 1600–1800, Leiden, Brill, 2016, ISBN 9789004299658, pp. x plus 290, age bits, Christian, is knowledge itself power, information asymmetry of VOC shares in the 1720s, master thesis, Universität van Tilburg, 2014, Feinstein, Charles H., An Economic History of South Africa, Conquest, Discrimination and Development, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, 2005, Fitzgerald, Robert, The Rise of the Global Company, Multinationals and the Making of the Modern World. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, 2015. Frentrop, Paul, On der Nemingen en Hun Andeelhouders Sins de VOC, Corporate Governance, 1602-2002, Companies and Their Shareholders Since the United East India Company, Corporate Governance, 1602-2002, Amsterdam, Prometheus, 2002, in Dutch, Frentrop, Paul, A History of Corporate Governance, 1602-2002. Translated from the Dutch by Ted Alkins, Amsterdam, D. Minna, 2003, ISBN 90-901-7067-7. Frentrop, Paul, Jonker, Joost, Davis, Stephen M. Eds, Shareholder Rights at 400, Commemorating Isaac Le Maire and the First Recorded Expression of Investor Advocacy, The Hague, Remix Business Communications, 2009, Ferber, Holden, Rival Empires of Trade in the Orient, 1600-1800, Minneapolis, University of Minnesota Press, 1976. Gastra, Femme, Bewind en Belly Bij de Voc, De Financielle en Commercielle Politique van de Bewindhebbers, 1672-1702, Zutphen, De Wahlberg Purse, 1968, in Dutch. Gelderblom, Oscar, Cities of Commerce, The Institutional Foundations of International Trade in the Low Countries, 1250-1650, Princeton, N.J., Princeton University Press, 2013, ISBN 978-0-691-14288-3. Gepkin Jaeger, Ella, Van Selinge, Gerard, Timmerman, Levinus, Eds, VOC, 1602-2002 to 400 Years of Company Law, Series Law of Business and Finance, Volume 6, Deventer, Kluwer, 2005, Glamen, Christoph, Dutch Asiatic Trade, 1620-1740, The Hague, Niehoff, 1958. Gertzman, William N., Rauenhorst, K. Geert, The Origins of Value, The Financial Innovations That Created Modern Capital Markets, USA, Oxford University Press, 2005, ISBN 978-0195175714, Gunn, Jeffrey C., World Trade Systems of the East and West, Nagasaki and the Asian Bullion Trade Networks, East and West, Culture, Diplomacy and Interactions, Volume 2, Leiden, Brill, 2017, ISBN 978-90-04-35856-0, Israel, Jonathan Irvin, Dutch Primacy in World Trade, 1585-1740, USA, Oxford University Press, 1990 Jacobs, Else M., Varen on Paper and the Court Kashidanus van der Verenig de Oostendische Compagnie, Zutphen, 1991, in Dutch 
Jacobs, Elsem, In Pursuit of Pepper and Tea, The Story of the Dutch East India Company, Zutphen, Wahlberg Purse, 1995. Jacobs, Elsem, Koopman in Azi, De Hundel van de Verenig de Oost Indus J. Compagnie Tidens de 18 de EUW, Zutphen, Wahlberg Purse, 2000, in Dutch. Jonker, Joost, Sloiterman, P.T., At Home on the World Markets, Dutch International Trading Companies from the 16th century until the present. McGill Queen's University Press, 2001, 429 pp. Jonker, Joost, T. Hart, Marjolaine, Van Zanden, Jan Luton, A Financial History of the Netherlands, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, 1997. Kammer, H. N., Het VOC Retourschip, en Panorama van de 17 de en 18 de EUWSE Sheepsbau, Amsterdam, de Batafje Leeuw, 1995, in Dutch. Koppel, Jonathan G. S., A. L., ed., Origins of Shareholder Advocacy, Palgrave Macmillan, 2011, ISBN 9780230107328. Lava, Michael S., Japan's Economy by Proxy in the 17th Century, China, the Netherlands, and the Bakufu, Amherst, N.Y., Cambria Press, 2008. Lesga, Clay, The Rise of the Amsterdam Market and Information Exchange, Merchants, Commercial Expansion and Change in the Spatial Economy of the Low Countries, c. 1550-1630, Ashgate Publishing Limited, 2006, 300 pp. Neil, Larry, The Rise of Financial Capitalism, International Capital Markets in the Age of Reason, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, 1993. Neil, Larry, Attic, Jeremy, Eds, The Origins and Development of Financial Markets and Institutions, From the 17th Century to the Present, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, 2009. Neerstrash, Chris, Berg, Maxine, Gottman, Felicia, Hodax, Hannah, Eds, Goods from the East, 1600 to 1800, Trading Eurasia. Basingstoke, UK, Palgrave Macmillan, 2015, ISBN 9781137403933 Neerstrash, Chris, Rivalry for Trade in Tea and Textiles, The English and Dutch East India Companies, 1700-1800, Basingstoke, UK, Palgrave Macmillan, 2015 Ormrod, David, The Rise of Commercial Empires, England and the Netherlands in the Age of Mercantilism, 1650-1770, Cambridge, UK, Cambridge University Press, 2003, ISBN 0-521-81926-1, Parthesius, Robert, Dutch Ships in Tropical Waters, The Development of the Dutch East India Company, VOC, Shipping Network in Asia, 1595-1660, Amsterdam, Amsterdam University Press, 2010, Petrum, Lodewijk, De Bekermat van der Beurs, Ho in Zeventien de EUWS Amsterdam de Modern Andelenhandel Onstand, Amsterdam, Atlas, 2011, in Dutch, Petrum, Lodewijk, The World's First Stock Exchange, How the Amsterdam Market for Dutch East India Company Company shares became a modern securities market, 1602-1700. Translated from the Dutch by Lynn Richards, New York, Columbia University Press, 2014, Quatras, Jeffrey, Handbook of Research on Stock Market Globalization, Cheltenham, Edward Elgar Publishing, 2012, Quatras, Jeffrey, Equity Capital, From Ancient Partnerships to Modern Exchange Traded Funds, Routledge International Studies in Business History, New York, Routledge, 2016.
Goldstein, Hall, Arndt, Schepen met Geld, De Handelsmunten van der Verenig der Oostendische Compagnie, 1602 1799, The Hague, SDU, 1989, in Dutch, Prakash, Om, Bullion for Goods, European and Indian Merchants in the Indian Ocean Trade, 1500 1800, New Delhi, Manoha, 2004, Prakash, Om, On the Economic Encounter Between Asia and Europe, 1500-1800, Surrey, Ashgate Publishing, 2014, Robertson, Jeffrey S., Capitalism and Accounting in the Dutch East India Company, 1602-1623, An Historical Study of Determining Influences and Practices, PhD Thesis, School of Accounting and Finance, University of Wollongong, 2011, Robertson, Jeffrey S., Funnel, Warwick, Accounting by the First Public Company, The Pursuit of Supremacy, Routledge, 2014, ISBN 0415716179, Sana, David E. Y., History of Greed, Financial Fraud from Tulip Mania to Bernie Madoff, New Jersey, Wiley, 2010, Schmidt, Ava Hard, Al, Eds, Kauflerute als Kolonialherren. Die Handelswelt der Niederlande vom Cap der Gutten Hoffnung bis Nagasaki, 1600-1800, Bamberg, Buchner, 1988, in German, Smith, B. Mark, A History of the Global Stock Market, From Ancient Rome to Silicon Valley, Chicago, Eel, University of Chicago Press, 2003, Smith, B. Mark, The Equity Culture, The Story of the Global Stock Market, New York, Farrar, Strauss and Giroux, 2003, Souza, George Bryan, Portuguese, Dutch and Chinese in Maritime Asia, c. 1585-1800, Merchants, Commodities and Commerce, Farnham, Surrey, UK, Burlington, Vermont, Ashgate, 2014, ISBN 978-1-4724-1708, Steensgard, Niels, The Asian Trade Revolution of the 17th Century, The East India Companies and the Decline of the Caravan Trade, Chicago and London, University of Chicago Press, 1973, Stevens, Harm, Dutch Enterprise and the VOC, 1602-1799, Zutphen, Wahlberg, Peirce, 1998, ISBN 9057,000,000, 300,192 Van Lent, Vim, Managing an Early Modern Giant, Issues and Initiatives at the Dutch East India Company, These de Doctorate, PhD Thesis, ESSEC Business School, France, 2014, Van Lottem, J., Across the North Sea, The Impact of the Dutch Republic on International Labour Migration, c. 1550-1850, Amsterdam, Dam, Accent, 2007, Van Newkirk, Marius, Dutch Golden Glory, The Financial Power of the Netherlands Through the Ages, Harlem, Becht, 2005, Wallerstein, Emmanuel, The Modern World System II, Mercantilism and the Consolidation of the European World Economy, 1600-1750. University of California Press, 1989, 397 pp. Ward, Kerry, The Bounds of Bondage, Forced Migration from Batavia to the Cape of Good Hope during the Dutch East India Company era, c. 1652-1795, Ph.D. Dis, University of Michigan, 2002, Ward, Kerry, Networks of Empire, Forced Migration in the Dutch East India Company, Studies in Comparative World History, Cambridge University Press, 2008, ISBN 0521885868, Willemsen, RTH, Cabal AAN de Amsterdam ze Beurs, Causvelupen Wardering van het Andeel VOC en de 18 EEUW, Amsterdam, NI, Instituut voor Beleggingsstrategie, 2004, in Dutch. 
Woodfin, Thomas McCall, The Cartography of Capitalism, Cartographic Evidence for the Emergence of the Capitalist World System in Early Modern Europe, Ph.D. Dis. Texas A&M University, 2007. Topic Science, Technology, and Culture in the VOC World Abbing, Michiel Roskam, Rembrandt's Elephant, The Story of Hansken, Amsterdam, Leporello Uchevere, 2006, ISBN 978-90-808745-6-5, Ariese, C. Silla, A Twisted Truth. The VOC Ship Batavia, Comparing History and Archaeology, BA Thesis, Institution for Historiska Studia, Göteborg's Universite, 2010, Atwater, Gretchen D., The Impact of Trade by the Dutch East India Company on 17th Century Netherlandish Art, Ph.D. Dis, University of Kansas, 1991, Bala, Poonam, ed., Medicine and Colonialism, Historical Perspectives in India and South Africa, London, Pickering and Chateau, 2014, ISBN 978-18-48934-65-8 Bartels, M. H., Kordfunke, E. H. P., Safeche, H. Eds, Hollanders Uitn Thuis. Archaeology, Geschiedenis en Bewistery Gegerende de VOCTIJD in de Oost, de West en Thuis. Kultuurhistorie van de Nederlands Expansie, Hilversum, Verloren, 2002 in Dutch Beekman, E. M., Troubled Pleasures, Dutch Colonial Literature from the East Indies, 1600-1950, Oxford, Clarendon Press, 1996 Bethlehem, J., Meyer, A. C., Eds., VOC en Kultuur, Wetenschappelige en Kultuur Relaties tussen Europa en Azië 10 Tider van der Verenig de Oostendische Compagnie, Amsterdam, Skiphauer en Brinkman, 1993, in Dutch, Blushe, Leonard, Bitters Brood, en Colonial Huelijksdrama in de Gouden EEUW, Amsterdam, Uitgeveri Balance, 1998, in Dutch, Blushe, Leonard, Ooms, I, Eds, Kenneth en Compagnie. De Verenig de Oostendische Compagnie en de Moderne Wetenschap Knowledge and the Company. The Dutch East India Company and Modern Science, Amsterdam, Balance, 2002 in Dutch Blushe, Leonard, Bitter Bonds, a colonial divorce drama of the 17th century. Translated from the Dutch by Diane Webb, Princeton, N.J., Marcus Wiener Publishers, 2002 Bonds, Wellmode M., Kinderen van de Verenig de Oost Industrie Compagnie. De Levenslopen en Carrières van de in Azie geboren zonen en doctors van VOC Dianaren in de 18 EEUW, Master Thesis, Universiteit Leiden, 2015 in Dutch Boomgaard, Peter, ed., Empire and Science in the Making, Dutch Colonial Scholarship in Comparative Global Perspective, 1760-1830, New York, Palgrave Macmillan, 2013, Brook, Tim Timothy, Vermeer's Hat, The Seventeenth Century and the Dawn of the Global World, Profile Books, 2008, 272 pp. Bruin, Iris, Ships Surgeons of the Dutch East India Company, Commerce and the Progress of Medicine in the Eighteenth Century, Leiden, Leiden University Press, distributed by the University of Chicago Press, 2009, 388 pp. Cook, Harold J. Matters of Exchange, Commerce, Medicine, and Science in the Dutch Golden Age, Yale University Press, 2008, pp. 576 Corrigan, Karina H., Van Kampen, Jan, Dierks, Femke, Blyberg, Janet C. Eds, Asia in Amsterdam, The Culture of Luxury in the Golden Age, Yale University Press, 2015, ISBN 9780000. 180 billion 300 million 212,877 De Jong, Johan, Navigating Through Technology, Technology and the Dutch East India Company VOC, in the 18th century
Elementary, Ensrede, University of Twente, 2016 De Stumes, Marcel, Cartes Hollandaises. La cartographie de la Compagnie des Indes Orientales, 1593-1743. Le Mapper Monde de Petrus Plancius Grave par Josua van den Ender, 1604, d'après l'unique exemplaire de la Bibliothèque nationale de Paris, Saigon, 1941, in French, Dupre, Sven, Luthi, Christophe, Eds, Silent Messengers, The Circulation of Material Objects of Knowledge in the Early Modern Low Countries, Low Countries Studies on the Circulation of Natural Knowledge, Volume 1. Munster, Lit Fur Larg, 2011, Dupre, Sven, Cook, Harold J. Eds, Translating Knowledge in the Early Modern Low Countries, Low Countries Studies on the Circulation of Natural Knowledge, Volume 3. Munster, Lit Fur Larg, 2012, Egerton, Coral America, Health and Disease on the Dutch High Seas, An Analysis of Medical Supplies from Batavia, Virgil, Drac and Z. Wyck, Master's Thesis, Texas A&M University, 2014, Franson, Hans, Malaby, W.D., Kate Barock and the Contribution of Anton Anreith, A Stylistic Survey of Architectural Decoration and the Applied Art Arts at the Cape of Good Hope, 1652–1800, Stellenbosch, Rapid Access Publishers, 2014, Friedrich, Suzanne, Brendeke, Arndt, Aaron Price, Stefan, Eds, Transformations of Knowledge in Dutch Expansion, Pluralisierung and Autoritat, 44, Walter de Gruyter GmbH, 2015, 292 pp, Gusse, Egon, N. Narco Courage Beschreibung, and Study na de Bildwarming in Het Reerschrift van Philippus Baldius, 1672, Dis, L.I.C. Geschiedenis, Universität Gent, 2007, in Dutch, Henniger, J., Hendrik Adrian van Reed tot Drakestein, 1636-1691, and Hortus Malabaricus, A Contribution to the History of Dutch Colonial Botany, Rotterdam, A. A. Balkema, 1986, Hertros, Frazee, Ho Kennis van China na Europa K. W. A. M., De Rol van Jesuit and N. V. O. C. Dianaren, circa 1680-1795, How Knowledge Came from China to Europe, the role of Jesuits and VOC officials, c. 1680-1795, Ph.D. Dis, Vrij Universiteit Amsterdam, 2014, in Dutch, Hochstrasse, Julie Berger, Still Life and Trade in the Dutch Golden Age, Yale University Press, 2007, pp. 320, Hobbing, A.J., Nikolai's Witson and Shipbuilding in the Dutch Golden Age, Texas A&M University Press, College Station, 2012, Hugen, Siegfried, De Jong, Jan L., Colfin, Elmer, Eds, The Dutch Trading Companies as Knowledge Networks, Intersections, Brill, 2010, 448 pp, Jackson, Terence, Network of Knowledge, Western Science and the Tokugawa Information Revolution, Honolulu, Hawaii University Press, 2016, ISBN 9780824853587, Johnson, Hiroko, Western Influence on Japanese Art, The Akita Ranga Art School and Foreign Books, Boston, Hote Publishing, 2005, Jonka, Menet, Al, Eds, Van Veleli Plumage. Zeventy and AEUWSE Waterworth Deckeningen van Andries Beekman, Nijmegen, Van Tilt, 2014, Keen, Donald, The Japanese Discovery of Europe, 1720-1830, Routledge, 2010, 274 pp, Keo, Marsley L., Dutching at Home and Abroad, Dutch Trade and Manufacture of Foreign Materials and Landscapes in the Golden Age, M.A. and Art 
History, University of Wisconsin Madison, 2006, KNAAP, Garrett, Krugnagelin en Christenen, De Verenig de Oost Indus J. Compagnie en de Bevoking van Ambon, 1656 1696, Cloves and Christians, The Dutch East India Company and the Population of Ambon, 1656 1696, Leiden, KITLV, 2004, in Dutch, KNAAP, Gerrit R., AL, Eds, Groot Atlas van de Verenig de Oost Indus J. Compagnie, Comprehensive Atlas of the Dutch United East India Company, Vorburg, Uchaveri Asia Mayor, 2007, in Dutch, Kulen, Ben, N. Seerbequain Middle, Ondervi N. Kirk Onder de 17 E. E. U. W. S. E. V. O. C., Kampen, Koch, 1993, in Dutch, Kulen, Ben, V. O. C. and Ondervi, N. Inventarizati, Armersfort, De Vray Uchaver, 2011, in Dutch, Lavage, Maria S., Francois Valentine Zoud N. N. R. E. U. W. Oost Indien and the Dutch Frontispiece in the 17th and 18th centuries, University of Miami, Scholarly Repository, Open Access Theses, 2008, Manilal, K. S., Hortus Malabaricus and the Socio-Cultural Heritage of India, Calicut, Indian Association for Angiosperm Taxonomy, 2012, Manjusha, Karupath, Staging Asia, The Dutch East India Company and the Amsterdam Theatre, Leiden, Leiden University Press, 2017, Margoxi, Dorniel, Commercial Visions, Science, Trade, and Visual Culture in the Dutch Golden Age, University of Chicago Press, 2014, pp. 336, North, Michael, Kunst und Commerz im Goldenen Zeitalter, zur Sozialgeschichte der Niederländische Malerie des 17. Jarindertz, Cologne, Bolau Verlag, 1992, in German, North, Michael, Art and Commerce in the Dutch Golden Age. Translated from the German by Catherine Hill, New Haven, Yale University Press, 1997 North, Michael, ed., Artistic and Cultural Exchanges Between Europe and Asia, 1400–1900, Rethinking Markets, Workshops and Collections, Burlington, VT, Ashgate, 2010 North, Michael, Kaufman, Thomas de Costa, ed., Mediating Netherlandish Art and Material Culture in Asia Amsterdam Studies in the Dutch Golden Age, Amsterdam, Amsterdam University Press, 2014 Numata, Giro, Western Learning, A Short History of the Study of Western Science in Early Modern Japan. Translated from the Japanese by R.C.J. Batschifner, Tokyo, Japan Netherlands Institute, 1992 Olsen, Penny, Upside Down World, Early European Impressions of Australia's Curious Animals, Canberra, National Library of Australia, 2010 Paisy, Rude, Zeus Karten voor de VOC. Het kartenmakers bedrage af van de kamer Zeeland in de 17 de en 18 de EUW, Zutphen, Wahlberg Purse, 2010, in Dutch, Razel, M.M. Azizul Islam, the 17th century Dutch travel account and the production of knowledge on Asia, a study of Vervarelijk Skip Broek van T. Oost Indisch Jack Ter Schelling, M.A. Thesis, Leiden University, 2012 Roberts, Lissa, ed., Centers and Cycles of Accumulation in and Around the Netherlands During the Early Modern Period, Zurich and Berlin, Lit Verlag, 2011 Rukmarika, L.C., The Zuel Logical Exploration of Southern Africa, 1650–1790, Rotterdam, A. A. Balkema, 1989 Schmidt, Benjamin, Inventing Exoticism, Geography, Globalism, and Europe's Early Modern World, Philadelphia, University of Pennsylvania Press, 2015, pp. 448 Schrade, Stephanie, A. Al, Eds, Rembrandt and the Inspiration of India, J. 
Paul Getty Museum, 2018, ISBN 978-1-60606-552-5 Sugita, Genpaku, Rangaku Kotohajimi, Dawn of Western Science in Japan. Translated from the Japanese by Matsumoto Ryozo and Kyuka Aichi, Tokyo, Hokuseido Press, 1968 Sutton, Elizabeth A., Capitalism and Cartography in the Dutch Golden Age, Chicago, University of Chicago Press, 2015, ISBN 978-0-226-25478-4 Swan, Claudia, Schiebinger, Londa, Eds, Colonial Botany, Science, Commerce, and Politics in the Early Modern World, Philadelphia, University of Pennsylvania Press, 2005, ISBN 978-0-8122-3827-3 Unger, Richard W., Dutch Shipbuilding Before 1800, Ships and Guilds Aspects of Economic History, The Low Countries, No. 2, Assen, Van Gorkum, 1978 Valentine, François, Oud Nieuw Oostindien, Amsterdam, 1726 in Dutch Van Duivenvoord, Wendy, Dutch East India Company Shipbuilding, The Archaeological Study of Batavia and Other 17th-Century VOC Ships, College Station, TX, Texas A&M University Press, 2015, ISBN 978-162 3491796 Van Oers, R. Dutch Town Planning Overseas During VOC and WIC Rule, 1600-1800, Zutphen, Wahlberg Purse, 2000 Van Mill, P. Charlu, M. Eds, de VOC in de Kart Gekiken, Cartographie en Navigatie van de Verenig de Oostendische Compagnie, 1602-1799 Maps and Charts of the VOC, Cartography and Navigation of the Dutch East India Company, 1602-1799, The Hague, Martinus Niehoff, 1988 in Dutch, Weststein, T. Jorink, Eric, Scholten, Fritz, Eds, Netherlandish Art in its Global Context, Netherlands Yearbook for History of Art, 66. Leiden, Brill, 2016, ISBN 978-90-04-33497-7. Topic VOC Military and Political History Borschberg, Peter, The Singapore and Malacca Straits, Violence, Security and Diplomacy in the 17th Century, Singapore, NUS Press, 2010, Borschberg, Peter, Admiral Matalief Singapore and Johor, 1606-1616, Singapore, NUS Press, 2016, ISBN 978-981-4722-18-6, Brandon, Pepine, Masters of War, State, Capital, and Military Enterprise in the Dutch Cycle of Accumulation, 1600-1795, Leiden, Brill, 2014, Brandon, Pepine, War, Capital, and the Dutch State, 1588-1795, Historical Materialism, Volume 101, Leiden, Brill, 2015, De Ayong, D. Het Kraigswezen onder de Oostendische Compagnie, The Hague, Van Stockham en Zoon, 1950, in Dutch, KNAAP, Garrett, Teitler, G. Eds, De Verenig de Oostindische Compagnie, Tussen Orlog en Diplomatie, The Dutch East India Company, Between War and Diplomacy, Leiden, KITLV, 2002, in Dutch, KNAAP, Garrett, De Core Business van de VOC, Markt, Mark den Mentaliteit van het Overzees Perspectief, Utrecht, Universiteit Utrecht, 2014, in Dutch, KNAAP, Garrett, De Jong, Michiel, Den Heijer, Henk, Orlogen Overzee, Militaire Optreden door Compagnie en Start Boot in Europa, 1595-1814, Amsterdam, Uchebery Boom, 2015, ISBN 9 trillion 
1.789.089.533.586 in Dutch, McLeod, N. De Oost Indus J. Compagnie als Zemogentied in Azi, 2 Vols, Ryswijk, Blankord and Schoonhoven, 1927, in Dutch, Milo, Th. De Invloed van de Zemacht op de Geschiedenis der Verenig de Oostlandische Compagnie, The Influence of Sea Power on the History of the United East India Company, The Hague, 1946, in Dutch, Mostert, Tristan, Chain of Command, The Military System of the Dutch East India Company, 1655-1663, MA Thesis, University of Leiden, 2007, Newhoff, Johan, Het Gesenschap der Neerlandsche Oost Industrie Compagnie, AAN den Gruten Tartarischen Kamp, den Tegenwerdigen Kaiser van China, an embassy from the East India Company of the United Provinces to the Grand Tartar Kamp, Emperor of China, Amsterdam, 1665, in Dutch Tolboom, Joeri, de Voc als Imperialistische Macht. De Machtsverspreiding van de VOC in Azië, 1602-1650, Bachelor Thesis, Utrecht University, 2014, in Dutch, Van den Bosch, Cohen, the VOC, Trading Company or Imperial War Machine. An Inquiry into the Grand Strategy of the VOC, 1701-1705, Bachelor Thesis, Utrecht University, 2013, Van Ittesem, Martin Julia, Prophet and Principal, Hugo Grotius, Natural Rights Theories and the Rise of Dutch Power in the East Indies, 1595-1615. Leiden and Boston, Brill, 2006. Topic VOC Maritime History VOC in the Age of Exploration Ames, Glenn J., The Globe Encompassed, The Age of European Discovery, 1500-1700. Pearson Prentice Hall, 2008. Anderson, Graham, The Merchant of the Ziharan, Isaac Gilsman's and the Voyages of Abel Tasman, Wellington, T. Papa Press, 2001, Ariese, C. Silla, Databases of the People Aboard the VOC Ships Batavia, 1629, and Zewijk, 1727, An Analysis of the Potential for Finding the Dutch Castaways Human Remains in Australia, Australian National Centre of Excellence for Mar Maritime Archaeology, Department of Maritime Archaeology, Western Australian Museum, 2012. Bonke, H. De Zeven Reisen van de Jonge Leve, Biographie van N. Voc Skip, 1760-1781. The Seven Voyages of the Jonge Leve, a biography of a VOC ship, Nijmegen, Sunday, 1999. In Dutch, Bonteco, Willemus Brandt's, Memorable Description of the East Indian Voyage, 1618-25. Translated from the Dutch by C. B. Bod Hodgkinson, with an introduction and notes by Peter G. E. Y. L., London, G. Routledge and Sons, 1929 Day, Allen, The A to Z of the Discovery and Exploration of Australia, Scarecrow Press, 2009, ISBN 978-0-8108-6810-6 De Vlaming, Willem, De Ontdekkingsreis van Willem Hessels, De Vlaming in de Jaren 1696-1697. Edited by Gunter Schilder, 2 vols. WLV, vols. LXXVIII, LXXIX, The Hague, Martinus Niehoff, 1976 in Dutch, Drake Brockman, Henrietta, Voyage to Disaster, The Life of Francisco Pelsart covering his Indian report to the Dutch East India Company and the wreck of the ship Batavia in 1629 off the coast of Western Australia together with the full text of his journals, concerning the rescue voyages, the mutiny on the Abrolis Islands and the subsequent trials of the mutineers. 
Translated from the Dutch by E. D. Drock, Sidney, Angus and Robertson, 1963, Dyker, Edward, The Dutch in Australia, Australian Ethnic Heritage Series, Melbourne, Air Press, 1987, Dyker, Edward, ed., The Discovery of Tasmania, Journal Extracts from the Expeditions of Abel Jansoon Tasman and Mark Joseph Marion de Fresne, 1642 and 1772, Hobart. Art, St. David's Park Publishing, Tasmanian Government Printing Office, 1992, pp. 106 Dyker, Edward, Mirror of the Australian Navigation by Jacob Le Maire, a facsimile of the Spiegel der Australische Navigati, being an account of the voyage of Jacob Le Maire and Willem Schouten published in Amsterdam in 1622. Horden House for the Australian National Maritime Museum, Sydney, 1999, 202 pp. Halmeyer, Hans, Vuk, Dick, Fluiton, Katten en Fregatten, De Schepen van de Verenig de Oost Industrie Compagnie, 1602-1798, Harlem, De Boer Maritime, 2002, in Dutch, Edwards, Hugh, Islands of Angry Ghosts, Murder, Mayhem and Mutiny, the Story of the Batavia. Originally published in 1966. New York, William Morrow & Co., 1966, HarperCollins, 2000 Edwards, Hugh, The Wreck on the Half Moon Reef, Adelaide, Rigby Ltd., 1970 Fitzsimmons, Peter, Batavia, Betrayal, Shipwreck, Murder, Sexual Slavery, Courage, A Spine-Chilling Chapter in Australian History, Sydney, Random House Australia, 2011, Goronsky, Jersey, Kiss, Bass, Starkvis van Bertselier, Adilia, Hollandia Compendium, A Contribution to the History, Archaeology, Classification and Lexicography of a 150 feet. Dutch East Indiamon 1740-1750, Amsterdam, Rijksmuseum, 1992 Goronsky, Jersey, De Hollandia en de Amsterdam, Twee Schepen en en Bedrige F. Organisation en materiel culture van de VOC in Amsterdam in de Jaren 1740 to 1750. The Hollandia and the Amsterdam, two ships and a company. The organisation and material culture of the Dutch East India Company in Amsterdam, 1740 to 1750. Ph.D. Dis. Leiden University, 1994. In Dutch. Gerritsen, Rupert, Kramer, Max, Slee, Colin, The Batavia Legacy, The Location of the First European Settlement in Australia, Hutt River, 1629. Geraldton, Sun City Print, 2007. Goddard, Philippe, The First and Last Voyage of the Batavia, Perth, Abrolis, 1994. Green, Jeremy N., Treasures from the Virgil Drag, Gilt Dragon, Perth, Western Australian Museum, 1974. Green, Jeremy N., The Loss of the Veronique de Oostendische Compagnie Jacked, Virgil Drag, Western Australia, 1656. An historical background and excavation report with an appendix on similar loss of the fluid, Lastrager, two volumes, Oxford, British Archaeological Reports, 1977. Green, Jeremy N., The Loss of the Veronique de Oostendische Compagnie Retouristship, Batavia, Western Australia, 1629. An Excavation Report and Catalogue of Artifacts, Oxford, British Archaeological Reports, 1989 Here's, J.E., Het Andeel der Nederlanders in de Rontdekking van Australie, 1606-1765, Leiden, Brill, 1899, in Dutch Here's, J.E., The Part Borne by the Dutch in the Discovery of Australia, 1606-1765, published by the Royal Dutch Geographical Society in commemoration of the 25th anniversary of its foundation, 1899, 
Here's J.E. Ed. Abel Jansoon Tasman's journal of his discovery of Van Diemen's Land and New Zealand in 1642, with documents relating to his exploration of Australia in 1644. Amsterdam, Frederick Muller, 1898. Henderson, Graham, Unfinished Voyages, Western Australian Shipwrecks, 1622–1850, Netherlands, University of Western Australia Press, 1980. Henderson, J., Sent Forth a Dove, The Discovery of Doofkin, Netherlands, University of Western Australia Press, 1999, 232 pp. Heert, Alfred, Wortham, Christopher, A. L., Eds, European Perceptions of Terra Australis, Farnham, Ashgate, 2011. Hobbing, A. Flat, Emka, Cor, De Shepen van Abel Tasman, The Ships of Abel Tasman, Hilversum, Uchiveri Verloren, 2000, in Dutch. Hunter, Douglas, Half Moon, Henry Hudson and the Voyage that Redrew the Map of the New World, Bloomsbury Press, 2009, 336 pp. Kenny, John, Before the First Fleet, European Discovery of Australia, 1606-1777. Kangaroo Press, 1995, 192 pp. Lays, Simon, The Wreck of the Batavia. A True Story, New York, Thunder's Mouth Press, 2005. McHugh, Evan, 1606, An Epic Adventure, Sydney, University of New South Wales Press, 2006. Mundell, Rob, Great Southland, How Dutch Sailors Found Australia and an English Pirate Almost Beat Captain Cook, ABC Books, 2016, ISBN 978-0733332371. Murdoch, Priscilla, Doofkin and the First Discoveries of Australia. Artaman, NSW, Antipodean Publishers, 1974. Much, T.D., The First Discovery of Australia, with an account of the voyage of the Doofkin and the career of Captain Willem Jantz, Sydney, 1942, reprinted from the Journal of the Royal Australian Historical Society, Volume. 28, Part 5 Nichols, Robert, Woods, Martin Eds, Mapping Our World, Terra Incognita to Australia, Canberra, National Library of Australia, 2013, ISBN 978-0-642-27809-8 Pelsart, Francisco, The Batavia Journal of Francisco Pelsart Edited and translated by Marit van Hoostie, Fremantle, W.A., Western Australian Maritime Museum, 1998 Peters, Nonya, The Dutch Down Under, 1606-2006, Nedlands, University of Western Australia Press, 2006 Playford, Philip, The Wreck of the Joutdorp on the Western Australian Coast in 1712 Nedlands, Royal Western Australian Historical Society, 1960. Playford, Philip, Carpet of Silver, The Wreck of the Joutdorp, Nedlands, University of Western Australia Press, 1996. Playford, Philip, Voyage of Discovery to Terra Australis by Willem de Vlaming in 1696-97. Includes Journal of Willem Vlaming translated from an early 18th century manuscript held in the Archives Nationales de France, Perth, Western Australian Museum, 1998, Pearson, Michael, Great Southern Land, The Maritime Exploration of Terra Australis, Canberra, Department of Environment and Heritage, 2005, Quanchi, Max, Robson, John, Historical Dictionary of the 
discovery and exploration of the Pacific Islands, Lanham, M.D. and Oxford, Scarecrow Press, 2005, Richards, Michael, O'Connor, Mora, Eds, Changing Coastlines, Putting Australia on the World Map, 1493-1993, Canberra, National Library of Australia, 1993, Robert, Willem C.H., The Explorations, 1696-1697, of Australia by Willem de Vlaming. Extracts from two log books concerning the voyage to and explorations on the coast of Western Australia and from other documents relating to this voyage, original Dutch texts, Amsterdam, Philo Press, 1972, Robert, Willem C. H., The Dutch Explorations, 1605-1756, of the North and Northwest Coast of Australia. Extracts from journals, logbooks and other documents relating to these voyages, original Dutch texts, Amsterdam, Philo Press, 1973, Ryan, Simon, The Cartographic Eye, How Explorers Saw Australia, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, 1996, Salmond, Anne, Two Worlds, First Meetings Between Maori and Europeans, 1642-17. 1972, Honolulu, University of Hawaii Press, 1991, Schilder, Gunter, Australia Unveiled, The Share of the Dutch Navigators in the Discovery of Australia. Translated from the German by Olaf Richter, Amsterdam, Theatrum Orbis Terrarum, 1976, Schilder, Gunter, Voyage to the Great South Land, Willem de Vlaming, 1696-1697. Translated by C. De Heer, Sydney, Royal Australian Historical Society, 1985, Schilder, Gunter, in the Steps of Tasman and de Vlaming. An important cartographic document for the discovery of Australia, Amsterdam, Nico Israel, 1988, Schilder, Gunter, Koch, Hans, Sailing for the East, History and Catalogue of Manuscript Charts on Vellum of the Dutch East India Company, VOC, 1602-1799, Brill, 2010, ISBN 9789061900. 942603. Sharp, Andrew, The Discovery of Australia, New York, Oxford University Press, 1963. Sharp, Andrew, The Voyages of Abel Jansoon Tasman, Oxford, Clarendon Press, 1968. Shaw, Lindsay, Wilkins, Wendy, Eds, Dutch Connections, 400 Years of Australian Dutch Maritime Links, 16 1906-2006, Sydney, Australian National Maritime Museum, 2006, Sigmund, J.P., Zauderbahn, L.H., Dutch Discoveries of Australia, Shipwrecks, Treasures and Early Voyages Off the West Coast, Adelaide, Rigby, 1979, Sigmund, J.P., Zauderbahn, L.H., Nederlanders Ontek and Australi, Sheep's Archaeologist J. Von Stenor, Op het Zoutland, Amsterdam, De Batafje Leeuw, 1988, in Dutch, Slot, B.J., Abel Tasman and the Discovery of New Zealand, Amsterdam, Otto Kramwinkel, 1992, Staple, F.W., De Oostendische Compagnie en Australie, Amsterdam, Van Kampen, 1937, in Dutch, Stein, Stephen K., The Sea in World History, Exploration, Travel, and Trade, Santa Barbara, California, ABC Clio, 2017, Suore, Thomas, Early Mapping of the Pacific, The Epic Story of Seafarers, Adventurers, and Cartographers Who Map the Earth's Greatest Ocean, Singapore, Periplus Editions, 2004, Tasman, Abel, The Journal of Abel Jans Tasman, 1642, with documents relating to his exploration of Australia in 1644.
edited by G. H. Kennehan, Adelaide, Australian Heritage Press, 1960, Tasman, Abel, Het Journal van Abel Tasman, 1642-1643, Eds, Viveke Roper and Diederik Wilderman, The Hague, National Archief, 2006, in Dutch, Van du Ivenvoord, Wendy, The Batavia Shipwreck, An Archaeological Study of an Early 17th Century Dutch East Indiaman, P. PhD Dis. Texas A&M University, Department of Anthropology, 2008, Van Zanden, Henry, 1606, Discovery of Australia, Perth, Rio Bay Enterprises, 1997, Veth, Peter, Sutton, Peter, Neil, Margot, Strangers on the Shore, Early Coastal Contacts in Australia, Canberra, National Museum of Australia Press, 2008, ISBN Nine trillion seven hundred and eighty one billion eight hundred and seventy six million nine hundred and forty four thousand six hundred and thirty six Walker, James Backhouse, Abel Jansoon Tasman, His Life and Voyages, and the Discovery of Van Diemen's Land in sixteen forty two. Hobart, Government Printer, eighteen ninety six. Topic VOC historiography Falk, G. L., Van Dyke, F., Courtlang, D. J., Gastra, F. S., The Archives of the Dutch East India Company, VOC, and the Local Institutions in Batavia, Jakarta, Brill, 2007, ISBN 9789004163652, Blushe, Leonard, Ross, R., Winius, G. D., Eds, All of One Company, The VOC and Biographical Perspective. Essays in honor of Professor. M.A.P. Malink Roloch under the auspices of the Center for the History of European Expansion, Rijksuniversiteit Leiden, Utrecht, H.E.S., 1986. Gastra, Fem, De Geschiedenis van de VOC, Zutphen, 1991, in Dutch. Gastra, Fem, The Dutch East India Company, Expansion and Decline, Zutphen, Wahlberg, Purse, 2003. KNAAP, Garrett, Gulage, Ron, Eds, Het Groot VOC Boek, Zwolle, W. Books, 2017, in Dutch. Landwehr, J., Van der Kropt, P., VOC, A Bibliography of Publications Relating to the Dutch East India Company, 1602-1800, Utrecht, HES, 1991, Mailing Groloch, M.A.P., Van Opstal, M.E., Schutt, G.J., Eds, Dutch Authors on Asian History, A Selection of Dutch Historiography on the Verenig de Oostendische Compagnie, Dordrecht, K.I.T.L.V., 1988, Mailing Groloch, M.A.P., Raven, R., Spijkerman, H., Eds, De Archiven van de Verenig de Oostendische Compagnie, 1602-1795, The Archives of the Dutch East India Company, 1602-1795, S. Gravenhager, S. D. U. Uchevary, 1992, in Dutch, Gerritsen, Rupert, ed., A Translation of the Charter of the Dutch East Indies Company, Verenig de Oostendische Compagnie or VOC, granted by the States General of the United Netherlands, 20 March 1602. Translated from the Dutch by Peter Reinders. Canberra, Australia on the Map Division of the Australasian Hydrographic Society, 2009. Topic VOC People Anderson, John, The Navigator, The Log of John Anderson, VOC Pilot Major 1640 
Edited by Victor Entoven, Steve Murdoch, and Isla Williamson, Leiden, Brill, 2010, ISBN 9789004189317 Barend van Heften, Marriage K. Oost in die Gespiegeld. Nicolas de Graaf, en Schrijvend Chirurgien in Dienst van de VOC, Zutphen, 1992, in Dutch, Barend van Heften, Marriage K, Plekenpol, Hetty, Eds, Wouter Schouten, Dichter en VOC Chirurgien. 36 Gedichten bij de Oost Indische Voyage, Zutphen, Wahlberg Purse, 2012, in Dutch, Baraveld, Dirk J., Tegen de Heeren van de Voc. Isaac Le Maire en de Ontdekking van Karp Horn, The Hague, SDU, 2002, in Dutch, Blushe, Leonard, De Moor, Yarp, en Switzer's Leven in de Tropen, De Lokgevathlen van Kapitein Ely Rippen in Dienst van de Voc, 1618-1626, Amsterdam, Prometheus, 2016, in Dutch, Boucher, M., Raper, Peter E., Eds, Robert Jacob Gordon, Cape Travels, 1777-1786, 2 vols, Horton, South Africa, The Brenthurst Press, 1988 Bozeken, Anna J., Simon van der Stel N. C. Kinders, Karpstad, Nassau B. Perk, 1964 in Afrikaans Bozeken, Anna J., Jan van Riebeek N. C. Gessen, Cape Town, Tafelberg, 1974 in Afrikaans Bromer, B. To my dear Peter Naliger, grandfather and granddaughter in VOC time, 1710-1720, Brill, 2015, ISBN 9789004289666 in Dutch Bruijn, J. R. Lucassen, J. Eds, op de Scheppen der Oost Industrie Compagnie. Vijf Artikelen van J. de Hullu, Groningen, Walters Nordhoff, Baumers Boekhuis, 1980, in Dutch, Bruijn, J. R., Shippers van de Voc in de Arctiende EUW. AAN de Wallen op Z, Commanders of Dutch East India Ships in the 18th Century, Amsterdam, De Batavtje Leeuw, 2008, in Dutch, Cullinan, Patrick, Robert Jacob Gordon, 1743-1795, The Man and His Travels at the Cape, Cape Town, Winchester Strook, 1992, Mike, Batavia's Graveyard, The True Story of the Mad Heretic Who Led History's Bloodiest Mutiny, New York, Crown, 2002, ISBN 9780609607664 Dodens, Anne, Mulder, Leek, Eds, De Memoirs van Hendrik Breton Offwelder du Stere Zyde van de Voc, Amsterdam, De Prom, 2003, in Dutch, Dornbos, Klaas, Skipbroek in Oman. De Overlevingsticht van 30 Drenkelingen van TVOC Skip Amstelveen door de Woestein van Zoud Arabi, 1763. Gebeseerd op het journal van Cornelis EYK's, Amsterdam, Amsterdam University Press, 2014 in Dutch Godi Molsbergen, EC, Jan van Riebeek en Zijntijd. En stuck zeventiende EUWS Oost Indy, Jan van Riebeek and His Times, a piece of 17th century East Indies, Amsterdam, P. N. van Kampen en Zoon, 1937, in Dutch, Gray, Howard, The Batavia Saga and the Courageous Weber Hayes, Abrolis Islands, Western Australia, Geraldton, Geraldton Greenough Regional Library, 2008, Heek, Jaysbert, Terregnar de Oost, de Rice van Voc Chirurgien Jaysbert Heek, 1654-1656
Besorgt en Ingelide door Baren Jan Terwiel en Peter Kirsch, Zutphen, Wahlberg, 2017 in Dutch, Jung, Karl, Karos und Kimono, Hottentotten und Japaner im Spiegel des Reiseberichts von Karl Peter Thunberg, 1743-1828, Stuttgart, Franz Steiner Verlag, 2002 in German, Lequin, Frank, ed., The Private Correspondence of Isaac Titz Singh, 2 vols, Amsterdam, J. C. Gieben, 1990 Maury, Perry, Van Sterkenberg, Pete, Eds, Verdrinkens on de Water, De Memoirs van Voc Matrus Jan Ambrosius Horn, 1758-1778, Zutphen, Wahlberg Purse, 2014 in Dutch, Newhoff, Johan, Voyages and Travels to the East Indies, 1653-1678, 70, Singapore, Oxford University Press, 1988 Norrell, Klaas, Anthony van Diemen. Van Bankroetie tot Landvoegerd. Wageningen, Zommer and Koning, 1942 in Dutch, Parmentia, Jan, Lahoven, Ruer J. Eds, De Aventuren van Nvoc Soldaat, Het Dagboek van Carolus van der Hague, 1699-1705. Zutphen, Wahlberg Purse, 1994 in Dutch, Parmentia, Jan, Davids, C. A., Everard, J., Paper, Plancius en Porcelain, De Rijs van het Skip Swarte Liu Nara J. N. Bantam, 1601-1603, Zutphen, Wahlberg Purse, 2003 in Dutch, Pelsart, Francisco, Ongelukkig Voyage, Van T. Skip Batavia, Nader de Oost Indien Unlucky Voyage of the Ship Batavia. English translation by Willem Siebenhaar, first published in the Western Mail, 1897 in Dutch Peters, Marion, Mercator Sapiens de Wise Koopman. Het Worldwide Ondertsuk van Nicolais Witsen, 1641-1717, Burgemeester en VOC Bewindheber van Amsterdam, Ph.D. Dis, University of Groningen, 2008, in Dutch, Peters, Marion, de Wise Koopman. Het Worldwide Ondertsuk van Nicolais Witsen, 1641-1717, Burgemeester en VOC Bewindheber van Amsterdam, Amsterdam, Bert Bakker, 2010, in Dutch, Raat, Alexander J.P., The Life of Governor Joan Gideon Lowton, 1710-1789, A Personal History of a Dutch Virtuoso, Hilversum, Utjeveri Verloren, 2011, Ripon, Ali, Voyages et Aventures du Capitaine Ripon au Grande Indes, Journal Inédit d'un Mercenaire, 1617-1627 Voyages and Adventures of Captain Ripon in Greater India, Unpublished Journal of a Mercenary, 1617-1627, Yves Giraud, ed. Thonan les Bains, Haute Savoie, Editions de l'Alberon, 1990 in French, Ripon, Ali, Captain Captain Rippon's Maritime Adventures in the East Indies, The Diary of a Mercenary Soldier, 1617-1627. Translated from the French by Lai Hui Yoon, Yuan Liu Publishing, 2012, Schmulkalden, Kasper, Die Wundersamen Reisen des Kasper Schmulkalden nach West und Ostindien, 1642-1652. Edited by Wolfgang Joost, Leipzig, Brockhaus, 1983 in German Schouten, Joost, Karen, François, A True Description of the Mighty Kingdoms of Japan and Siam. Originally in Dutch 1663, edited by C. R. Boxer, New York, 1971 Schouten, Wouter, Oost Industrie Voyage, Amsterdam, Van Meurs and Van Sommeren, 1676 Sprout, Rude, J. P. Cohen, Dagen en Daden in Dienst van de VOC, Houten, de Haan, 1988 in Dutch, Tolkens, Joyce, Jan Pieterzoon Cohen, Bedwinger van Indy, Kampen, 
Koch Omnibook, 2007, in Dutch, Van der Kruis, Dirk, ed., Mercenaires Francais de la VOC, La Route des Indes Hollandaises au XVIIe siècle, Le Journal de Jean Guiden de Chambel, 1644-1651, Suivi en annex de la relation d'un voyage aux Indes Orientales par un gentilhomme Francais, 1630-1636, Paris, Chandy. 2003, in French, Van der Heiden, Franz Jans, Vervarelijk Skip Broek van Oost Indisch Jack Ter Schelling, On de Het Land van Bengal, Amsterdam, Van Meers and Van Sommeren, 1675, in Dutch, Van der Lee, Tun, Jan Heigen. Het Gedroom de Leven van de Grondlegger van de VOC, Amsterdam, Balance, 2016, in Dutch, van der Stel, Simon, Simon van der Stel's journey to Namaqualand in 1685. With a revised introduction by G. Waterhouse, transcription of the original text by G. C. De Wet. English translation by R. H. Pfeiffer, Cape Town, Human and Russo, 1979, Van der Weel, H. B., in Die Kunst en Wettenschap gebrucht, Gerrit Klaesun Klink, 1646-1693, Meester Kunstschilde van Delft en Koopman in Dienst van der Verenig de Oostendische Compagnie, Hilversum, Verloren, 2002, in Dutch, Van Leden, W. P., Jan van Riebeek Tussen Wallens Skip. En on dat zoek na de beeldvorming over Jan van Riebeek in Nederland en Zuid-Afrika omstreeks 1900, 1950 en 2000, Hilversum, Verloren, 2005, in Dutch, van Opstal, M.E. ed. De Rijs van de Vloot van Peter Willems. The Hof na Azi, 1607-1612 The Voyage of the Fleet of Peter Willems the Hof to Asia, 1607-1612, S. Gravenhager, Martinus Niehoff, 1972 in Dutch, Van Putten, L.P., Ambitier en Onvermagen, Governors General van Nederlands Indy, 1610-1796. Rotterdam, 2002, in Dutch, Van Riebeek, Jan, 1652-1662, Dagregister gehouden by den Oppercoopman Jan Anthonisch van Riebeek. In Bosman, D.B. and B. Thorne, eds. Dagregister gehouden by den Oppercoopman Jan Anthonisch van Riebeek, 3 vols. Treated as a sequence of eleven manuscripts, Cape Town, Balkema, 1952-1957, in Dutch, Van Rossum, Matthias, Workers van der Wereld, Globalisering, RB den Interkultureller und Moetingen tussen Asiatische en Europese Zielieden in Dienst van de VOC, 1600-1800, Hilversum, Verloren, 2014, ISBN 978 90-8704-419-0 in Dutch, Van Wamelen, Carla, Family Life under de VOC. En Handelskampagne in Huelikes en Gezenzaken. Hilversum, Verloren, 2014, 592 pp, ISBN 9789087044000 Rotterdam, 1967 Menno, Antonio van Diemen, De Opkomst van de VOC in Azië, Antonio van Diemen, The Rise of the VOC in Asia, Amsterdam, Palace, 2011, in Dutch, Zandli, Keys, the Dutch East India Company in the 17th century, Life and Work of Zacharias Wagener, 1614-1668. Nagasaki, Holland Village, 1987. Topic VOC in Europe Beers, J.K., Bakker, C., Westfriesen na de Oost. De Kammers der VOC T. Horn en Enkhausen en Hun Recruiteringsgebied, 1700 1800, Horn, 1990, in Dutch, Bergvelt, Eleanor, Jonker, Michiel, Wiegman, Agnes, Eds, Schatten in Delft. 
Burgers Versemelin, 1600 to 1750, Delft and Zwoller, 2002, in Dutch, Bonke, Hans, Al, Texel en de Voc, Schepenop de Reed Texelars in de Oost, Texel, Maritime en Jutters Museum, 2002, in Dutch, Bonke, Hans, Bosses, Cartier, Heron Investoren. De Bewindhebbers van der Westfriesche Kammers van der VOC, Gentlemen Invest, the directors of the West Frisian Chambers of the VOC, Harlem, Horn, Enkhausen, 2002, in Dutch, Breet, Michael, Stride om de VOC Miljonen, Slag in de Haven van het Norsbergen, 12 Augustus 1665. Zutphen, Wahlberg Purse, 2007, in Dutch, Chains, Matthias, Zeus Schepen voor Azi, Het Schiepsbordbedrage F van de Kammer Zeeland van de VOC in de Eerste Helft van de 18 de EUW, Dis, LIC. Geschiedenis, Universiteit Gent, 2008, in Dutch, Dalder, R., Scholter, F., Eds, Rotterdam en de VOC. Bulletin Historisch Museum Rotterdam II, Rotterdam, 1988, in Dutch, De Vos, Hermann, Metzni Jagt en Cake van Wint. Leven en werken op Scheppen van de VOC Kammer Enkhausen en andere notities UIT het Enkhauser Stadsarchief, Horn, Stichting Brendan van het Westfries Archief, 2009, in Dutch, Dielstra, Hepke, van Octrui tot FOOI. De Friesche Stride voor Medezegenschap in de VOC, Master Thesis, Universiteit Leiden, 2017, Goronski, Jersey, de Equipage van de Hollandia en de Amsterdam. VOC Bedridge Viaid in 18 de EUWS Amsterdam, Amsterdam, Bataftje Liu, 1996, in Dutch Grim, Peter, Heeren in Zaken, de Kammer Rotterdam van de Verenig de Oostendische Compagnie, Gentlemen in Business, the Rotterdam Chamber of the Dutch East India Company, Zutphen, Wahlberg Purse, 1994, in Dutch, Horsmeyer, Carol, van Koningsbrugge, Hans, Eds, Around Peter the Great, Three Centuries of Russian-Dutch Relations, Groningen, Inos, 1997, Houtziger, H. L., A. L., Eds, Delft en de Oostendische Compagnie, Amsterdam, Rodopi, 1987, in Dutch, Kist, J. B., A. L., Eds, Van Voc tot Werkspoor. Het Amsterdamser Industrieterrein Oostenburg, Utrecht, Stichting Matrijs, 1986, in Dutch, Rogerman, Thomas, de Voc en de Gouden EUW, Master Thesis, Universiteit Gent, 2010, in Dutch, Ronning, Bjorn R., Akarendum, The Story of the Runde Treasure, Oslo, Norsk Numismatisk Vorlag, 1979, Van der Heiden, Manen, Van Van der La, Paul, Eds, Rotterdamers en de VOC. Handelskompagnie, Stad en Burgers, 1600-1800, Amsterdam, Bert Bakker, 2002, in Dutch, Van Dillen, J.G., Het Oudster Andeelhoudersregister van de Kammer Amsterdam der Oostindische Compagnie, The Hague, Niehoff, 1958, in Dutch, Van Dermy, Maud, Zoud Nederlanders in Dienst van de Verenig de Oostindische Compagnie, Tweed Health Dark Tienda EUW, Dis, LIC. Geschiedenis, Universiteit Gent, 2008, in Dutch, Van Gelder, Roloff, Wagenaar, L., Sporen van de Compagnie. De VOC in Nederland, Amsterdam, 1988, in Dutch, Van Gelder, Roloff, Het Aventuur. Duitsers in Dienst van de VOC, 1600-1800, Nijmegen, Sunday, 1997, in Dutch, Wagenaar, Lodewijk, de VOC in Zeeland. 
N. Wanderling Door Middelberg N. N. Tock Door Walcheren, Stichting VOC Publicities Zeeland, Middelberg, 1987, in Dutch, Wieringer, F.M., ed., De Verenigde Oostendische Compagnie in Amsterdam, Verslag van N. Workgroep. Amsterdam, Universiteit van Amsterdam, 1982, in Dutch. Topic VOC in Africa Adhikari, Muhammad, The Anatomy of a South African Genocide, The Extermination of the Cape San Peoples, Athens, O, Ohio University Press, 2011, Barend van Heften, Marriage K, Parman, Bert, De Karp, Goy de Hoop Harvewege Indy. Bloomleasing van Karptexten UIT de Compagnie Tide, Hilversum, Verloren, 2003, in Dutch, Bergerman, Carl J., Council of In, Justice, Crime, Status, Punishment and the Decision Makers in the 1730s Cape Justice System, MA Thesis, University of Cape Town, 2011, B. Wenger, A., de Karp de Goy de Hoop, N. Nederlands Vestigingskolonie, 1680-1730, Amsterdam, Prometheus and Bert Bakker, 1999, in Dutch, Bozeken, Anna J., Nederlandsche Commissarissen AAN de Karp, 1657-1700, S. Gravenhager, M. Niehoff, 1938, in Dutch, Bozeken, Anna J., Slaves and Free Blacks at the Cape, 1658-1700, Cape Town, Tafelberg, 1977, Bota, C.G., Social Life in the Cape Colony in the 18th Century, Cape Town, Juta & Co., 1926, Bota, C.G., Social Life in the Cape Colony with Social Customs in South Africa in the 18th Century, Cape Town, C. Struke, 1970, Bota, C.G., The French Refugees at the Cape, 1919, Reprint, Cape Town, Town, C. Struke, 1970, Boucher, M., French Speakers at the Cape in the First Hundred Years of Dutch East India Company Rule, The European Background, Pretoria, University of South Africa, 1981, Brenner, Ashley T., The Dutch Have Made Slaves of Them All, and, They Are Called Free, Slavery and Khoisan Indentured Servitude in the 18th Century Dutch Cape Colony, M.A. Thesis, Emma University, 2009, Brink, Avon, Places of Discourse and Dialogue, A Study in the Material Culture of the Cape During the Rule of the Dutch East India Company, 1652-1795, Unpublished PhD Thesis, University of Cape Town, 1992, Brink, Avon, They Came to Stay, Discovering Meaning in the 18th Century Cape Country Dwelling, Stellenbosch, Sun Press, 2008, Breyer, Lynn, Theron, Francois, The Huguenot Heritage, The Story of the Huguenots at the Cape, Deep River, Chameleon Press, 1987, Coetzen, Peter, Die Huge Note van Seward Africa, 1688-1988, Cape Town, Tafelberg Publishers Limited, 1988, in Dutch, Kutsi, Liza Mari, Clothing, Gender and Social Social Identity at the Cape of Good Hope, 1652-1795, M.A. Dissertation, University of Johannesburg, 2015, De Kock, Victor, Those in Bondage, An Account of the Life of the Slave at the Cape in the Days of the Dutch East India Company, London, Allen & Unwin, 1950, Dooling, Wayne, Slavery, Emancipation and Colonial Rule in South Africa, Athens, Ohio, Ohio University Press, 2008, Du Plessis, I.D., The Cape Malays, Cape Town, Maskew Miller, 1944, Elphick, Richard, Davenport, Rodney, Eds, Christianity in South Africa, A Political, Social, and Cultural History, Berkeley, University of California Press, 1997, Forey, Johan, An Inquiry into the Nature, Causes and 
redistribution of wealth in the Cape Colony, 1652 to 1795. PhD dissertation, University of Utrecht, Franken, J. L. N. Die Hugenote A. N. Die Karp, Pretoria, Die Staatsdrucker, 1978. In Dutch, Fredrickson, George M. White Supremacy: A Comparative Study in American and South African History. New York, Oxford University Press, 1981. Gerstner, Jonathan Neal, The Thousand Generation Covenant, Dutch Reformed Covenant Theology and Group Identity in Colonial South Africa, 1652-1814, Leiden, E.J. Brill, 1991, Guillaume, Herman, Dutois, André, Africana Political Thought, Analysis and Documents, Volume 1, 1780-1850, Berkeley, University of California Press, 1983, Guillaume, Herman, Elphick, Richard, Eds, The Shaping of South African Society, 1652-1840, Middletown, Wesleyan University, University Press, 1988, ISBN 978-0819562111, Guillaume, Herman, The Afrikaners, Biography of a People. London, Hearst and Company, 2003, Gody Molsbergen, E.C., Risen in Zoud Africa in De Holland CTIJD, Ishtadil, Tartan Nahet Norden, 1652 1686, S. Gravenhager, Martinus Niehoff, 1976, in Dutch, Gody Molsbergen, E.C., Risen in Zoud Africa in De Holland CTIJD, Tweed Deal, Tartan Nahet Norden, 1686-1806, S. Gravenhager, Martinus Niehoff, 1976, in Dutch, Groniewald, Gerald, Kinship, Entrepreneurship and Social Capital, Alcohol Pactors and the Making of a Free Burger Society in Cape Town, 1652-1795, Ph.D. Dissertation, University of Cape Town, Cape Town, 2009, Hendricks, Hoob, Ed., Namibia and the Netherlands, 350 Years of Relations, Windhoek, Namibia, Embassy of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, 2006, Hogg, J., Personalia of the Germans at the Cape, 1652-1806, Archives Yearbook for South African History, Cape Town, Archives of the Union of South Africa, 1946, Hugen, Siegfried, Creed, Knowledge and Colonialism, 18th Century Travelers in South Africa, Leiden, Brill, 2009, pp. XII plus 273 pp. Hunt, John, Dutch South Africa, Early Settlers at the Cape, 1652-1708, Leicester, UK, Matador, 2005, ISBN 978-1904744. 955, James, Wilmot G., Simons, Mary, Eds, Class, Cast and Color, A Social and Economic History of the South African Western Cape, New Brunswick, N.J., Transaction Publishers, 1992, Johnson, David, Imagining the Cape Colony, History, Literature and the South African Nation, Edinburgh, Edinburgh University Press, 2012, Canemeyer, J.C. C. Die Afrikaans Literaire, 1652-2004, Karpstad, Human and Russo, 2005, in Afrikaans, Keegan, Timothy, Colonial South Africa and the Origins of the Racial Order, Charlottesville, University Press of Virginia, 1996, Leftwich, Adrian, Colonialism and the Constitution of Cape Society under the Dutch East India Company, Ph.D. Thesis, University of York, 1976, LeMay, GHL, The Afrikaners, An Historical Interpretation, Oxford, Blackwell, 1995, Lucas, Gavin, An Archaeology of Colonial Identity, Power and Material Culture in the Dwarves Valley, South Africa, New York, Springer, 2006, Mahida, Ibrahim Muhammad, History of Muslims in South Africa, 
A Chronology, Durban, Arabic Study Circle, 1993, Malam, Paul, South Africa's Racial Past, The History and Historiography of Racism, Segregation and Apartheid, Burlington, VT, Ashgate, 2001, Marais, J.S., The Cape Colored People, 1652-1937, 1939, Reprint, Johannesburg, Witwatertron University Press, 1968, Marx, Anthony W., Making Race and Nation, A Comparison of South Africa, The United States and Brazil, New York, Cambridge University Press, 1998, Mason, John Edwin, Social Death and Resurrection, Slavery and Emancipation in South Africa, Charlottesville, University of Virginia Press, 2003, Menzel, O.F., Life at the Cape in the Mid-18th Century, Being the Biography of Rudolf Siegfried Allemann, Cape Town, Van Riebeek Society, 1919, Mitchell, L.J., Belongings, Property and Identity in Colonial South Africa, An Exploration of Frontiers, 1725C.1830, New York, Columbia University Press, 2009, Maury, P.J., A Concise History of Dutch Mauritius, 1598-1711, Studies from the International Institute for Asian Studies. Routledge, 1998, 220 pp Nadu, Ravania, A Glimpse at the 17th Century Cape Climate of Southern Africa, Documentary-Based Evidence from the Jan van Riebeek Diaries, Master Dis, University of the Witwatersron, Johannesburg, September 2016, Newton King, Susan, Masters and Servants on the Cape Eastern Frontier, 1760-1803, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, 1999, Penn, Nigel, Rogues, Rebels and Runaways, 18th Century Cape Characters. Cape Town, David Phillip, 1999, Penn, Nigel, The Forgotten Frontier, Colonist and Khoisan on the Cape's Northern Frontier in the 18th Century, Athens, Ohio University Press, 2005, Raffadine, M.A., Government Perceptions of Cape Muslim Exiles, 1652-1806, M.A. Thesis, University of Cape Town, 1995, Rama, Parbhavati, A Forgotten Diaspora, Forced Indian Migration to the Cape Colony, 1658-1834, Ph.D. Dis, University of the Western Cape, May 2015, Raven Hart, Roland, ed., Cape Good Hope, 1652-1702, The First Fifty Years of Dutch Colonization as Seen by Callers, Two Vols, Cape Town, A. A. Balkema, 1970. Richter, Borbala Moria, Processes and Outcomes of Societal Multilingualism in the VOC Governed Cape, 1652 1795, Dis, University of Pex, 2010, Ross, Robert, Cape of Torments, Slavery and Resistance in South Africa, London, Routledge and Keegan Paul, 1983, Ross, Robert, Van Duen, Peter, The Economy of the Cape Colony. Colony in the 18th century, Leiden, Center for the History of European Expansion, 1987, Ross, Robert, Beyond the Pale, Essays on the History of Colonial South Africa, Johannesburg, Witwatersrand University Press, 1994, Ross, Robert, Status and Respectability in the Cape Colony, 1750-1870, A Tragedy of Manners, Cambridge, Cambridge University University Press, 1999, Ross, Robert, A Concise History of South Africa, Cambridge Concise Histories, Cambridge, UK, Cambridge University Press, 1999, ISBN 978-0-521-57578-2, Shapara, Isaac, ed., The Early Cape Hottentots, Described in the Writings of Olfert Dapper, 1668, 
Willem ten Rijn, 1686, and Johannes Gulielmus de Grevenbroek, 1695. The original texts, with translations into English by I. Shapera and B. Farrington, Cape Town, The Van Riebeek Society, 1933, Westport CT, Negro Universities Press, 1970, Sherman, Carol, Cape Lives of the Eighteenth Century, Pretoria, Protea Boakhouse, 2001, Sherman, Carol, Early Slavery at the Cape of Good Hope, 1652-1717, Pretoria, Protea Book House, 2007, Sherman, Carol, Portrait of a Slave Society, The Cape of Good Hope, 1717-1795, Pretoria, Protea Boakhouse, 2012, Schreer, Carmel, ed., Historical Archaeology in South Africa, Material Culture of the Dutch East India Company at the Cape, Walnut Creek, CA, Left Coast Press, 2014, Shell, Robert, The Establishment and Spread of Islam at the Cape from the Beginning of Company Rule to 1838. B.A. Ons, University of Cape Town, 1974, Shell, Robert, Children of Bondage, A Social History of the Slave Society at the Cape of Good Hope, 1652-1838, Hanover, Conn, Wesleyan University Press, 1994, Singh, Dalip, From Dutch South Africa to Republic of South Africa, 1652-1994. The Story of Three and a Half Centuries of Imperialism, New Delhi, Allied Publishers, 2010, Slay, Dan, Die Bootpost, VOC Bootpost on de KAAPSE Bestior, 1652-1795, Pretoria, Haum, 1993, in Afrikaans, Stapleton, Timothy J., A Military History of South Africa, From the Dutch Khoi Wars to the End of Apartheid, Santa Barbara, C.A., Prager, 2010, Terrablanche, Sampi, A History of Inequality in South Africa, 1652-2002, Peter Maritzburg, University of Natal Press, 2002, Thiel, George McCall, History of South Africa under the Administration of the Dutch East India Company, 1652-1795. Naboo Press, 2010, 474 pp. Thiel, George McCall, History of the Boers in South Africa, or, The Wanderings and Wars of the Emigrant Farmers from their leaving the Cape Colony to the acknowledgement of their independence by Great Britain. Greenwood Press, 1970, ISBN 0-8371-1661-9. Toffer, Tariq, The Shaping and Picturing of the Cape and the Others, Representation of the Colony, Its Indigenous Inhabitants and Islam During the Dutch and British Colonial Periods at the Cape 17th-19th Centuries, MA Thesis, University of the Witwatersrand, Johannesburg, 2013, Ulrich, Nicole, Counter Power and Colonial Rule in the 18th Century Cape of Good Hope, Belongings and Protest of the Laboring Poor, PhD Thesis, University of the Witwatersrand, Johannesburg, South Africa, 2011. Valentine, Francois, Description of the Cape of Good Hope with Matters Concerning It, Amsterdam, 1726, edited and annotated by Professor. P. Certain, Marge. B. Raven Hart, Dr. W. J. de Kock. Van der Merwe, P. J., The Migrant Farmer in the History of the Cape Colony, 1657-1842. Translated from the Dutch by Roger B. Beck, Athens, Ohio, Ohio University Press, 1995. Vestigen, M., De Indische Zeeherberg, De Stichting van Zoud Afrika door de VOC, Zaltbommel, 2001 in Dutch Viljoen, Russell, Jan Paerl, Akoikoi in Cape Colonial Society, 1761-1851, Boston, M.A., Brill, 2006 
Welch, Sydney, Portuguese and Dutch in South Africa, 1641–1806, Cape Town, Juta Press, 1951 Warden, Nigel, Slavery in Dutch South Africa, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, 1985 Warden, Nigel, Van Heningen, Elizabeth, Bickford Smith, Vivian, Cape Town, The Making of a City, Cape Town, David Phillip, 1998 Warden, Nigel, Groniewold, G. Eds, Trials of Slavery, Selected Documents Concerning Slaves from the Criminal Records of the Council of Justice at the Cape of Good Hope, 1705–1794, Cape Town, Van Riebeek Society for the Publication of South African Historical Documents, 2005 Warden, Nigel, Contingent Lives, Social Identity and Material Culture in the VOC World, Rondebosch, Historical Studies Department, University of Cape Town and ABC Press, 2007 Warden, Nigel, The Making of Modern South Africa, Conquest, Apartheid, Democracy, 4th ed., Oxford, Blackwell, 2007 Warden, Nigel, ed., Cape Town Between East and West, Social Identities in a Dutch Colonial Town, Hilversum, Verloren, 2012 Warden, Nigel, Russell, Penny, eds., Honourable Intentions, Violence and Virtue in Australian and Cape Colonies, c. 1750–1850. London, Routledge, 2016. Topic. VOC in South and West Asia, including the Indian subcontinent. Alexander, P.C., The Dutch in Malabar, Anamalai Naga, Anamalai University, 1946. Anthonish, R.G., The Dutch in Ceylon, An Account of Their Early Visits to the Island, Their Conquests and Their Rule Over the Maritime Regions During a Century and a Half, Colombo, C.A.C. Press, 1929 Arasaratnam, S., Dutch Power in Ceylon, 1658-1687, Amsterdam, Jambatan, 1958 Arasaratnam, S., Merchants, Companies and Commerce on the Coromandel Coast, 1650-1740, Delhi, Oxford University Press, 1986 Arasaratnam, S., Maritime Trade, Society and European Influence in Southern Asia, 1600-1800, Aldershot, Variorum, 1995 Arasaratnam, S., Ceylon and the Dutch, 1600 1800, External Influences and Internal Change in Early Modern Sri Lanka, Aldershot, Variorum, 1996. Ashfaku, Nadra, The Dutch East India Company and the Mughal Administration, PhD thesis, Aligarh Muslim University, 2009. Valdius, Philip, A True and Exact Description of the Most Celebrated East India Coasts of Malabar and Coromandel. Translated from the Dutch original, 1672, London, 1703. Bhattacharya, Baswati, The Dutch East India Company on the Coromandel Coast, 1740-1780, A Study of Its Decline, Ph.D. Thesis, Visva Bharati University, Santini Ketan, 1993. Bess, Lennart, Gommens, Joss, Kreutzer, Jays, Dutch Sources on South Asia, c. 1600-1825, Volume 1, Bibliography and Archival Guide to the National Archives at The Hague, New Delhi, Manoha, 2001. Bess, Lennart, Dutch Sources on South Asia, c. 1600-1825, Volume 2, Archival Guide to the Repositories in the Netherlands Other than the National Archives, New Delhi, Manoha, 2008. 
Vess, Lennart, Kreutzer, Jays, Dutch Sources on South Asia, c. 1600-1825, Volume 3, Archival Guide to Repositories Outside the Netherlands, New Delhi, Manoha, 2015, Brohir, Richard Leslie, Links Between Sri Lanka and the Netherlands, A Book of Dutch Ceylon, Colombo, Netherlands Alumni Association of Sri Lanka, 1978 Brouwer, C.G., Kauerende Komtaden, De Verenig der Oostendische Kompanie in German, 1614-1655, Kauer and Cash, The Dutch East India Company in Yemen, 1614-1655, Amsterdam, 1988, in Dutch. Brouwer, C. G., Kaplanian, A., Early 17th Century Yemen, Dutch Documents Relating to the Economic History of Southern Arabia, 1614-1630, Leiden, Brill, 1988, Brouwer, C. G., Dutch Yemeni Encounters, Activities of the United East India Company, VOC, in South Arabian Waters since 1614. Amsterdam, De Vloed Rarab, 1999 Dutta, Kalakinkar, Dutch in Bengal and Bihar, 1740-1825 AD, Patna, Motilal Banasidas, 1986 De Silva, R. K., Buma, W. G. M., Illustrations and Views of Dutch Ceylon, 1602-1796, a comprehensive work of pictorial reference with selected eyewitness accounts, London, Serendib Publications, 1988. Damon, Clemens, Maps in De Heer's Journal, Cartographic Reflections of VOC Policy on Ceylon, 1698, MA Thesis, Leiden University, 2018. Dewasiri, Nirmal Ranjit, Peasant in Transition, Agrarian Society in Western Sri Lanka under Dutch Rule, 1740-1800, PhD Thesis, Leiden University, 2007 Dewasiri, Nirmal Ranjit, The Adaptable Peasant, Agrarian Society in Western Sri Lanka under Dutch Rule, 1740-1800, Leiden, Brill, 2008 Divlink, Jürgen, Der Kampf vom Zimt und Betelnis, Der Krieg zwischen der VOC und dem Königreich Handy 1761 bis 1766. Hamburg, Diplomica Verlag, 2014, ISBN 978-3-8428-9258-0. Dreyer, Jays, Private Trade and Informal Networks in VOC Bengal, 1702-1796, The Case Studies of Governor Baron Van Eck and Governor Vanette in the 18th Century World System, Bachelor Thesis, Leiden University, 2014, Akama, Kate J., Slavery in Dutch Colombo, A Social History. MA Thesis, University of Leiden, 2012, Floor, Willem, Faffery, M.H., The First Dutch-Persian Commercial Conflict, The Attack on Kuisham Island, 1645, Costa Mesa, C.A., Mazda Publishers, 2004, Floor, Willem, The Rise and Fall of Nader Shah, Dutch East India Company Reports, 1730-1747, Washington D. C. Mage Publishers, 2009, Gommens, Joss, The Unseen World, India and the Netherlands from 1550, Amsterdam, Rijksmuseum and Van Tilt, 2018, Gunuadina, K.W., The Foundation of Dutch Power in Ceylon, 1638-1658, Amsterdam, 1958, 196 pp., Juryance, M.W., Catalogue of the 
archives of the Dutch central government of Coastal Ceylon, 1640-1796, Colombo, Ceylon Government Press, 1943, Kale, O&C, The Dutch in India, Delhi, Macmillan, 1981, Kelagama, Saman, Madawela, Roshan, 400 Years of Dutch Sri Lanka Relation, 1602-2002, Colombo, Institute of Policy Studies, 2003, Koshi, M. O., The Dutch Power in Kerala, 1729-1758, New Delhi, Matal Publications, 1989, Krishna, Iyer, S., Travancore Dutch Relations, 1729-1741, Trivandrum, India, C. B. H. Publications, 1995, Lequin, Frank, Het Personeel van de Verenig de Oost Industrie Compagnie in Azië en de Arctien de EUW, Miren Het Beegzonder in de Vestiging Bengalen, Alphen Aan den Rijn, 2005, in Dutch, Narain, Brij, Sharma, SR, Eds, A Contemporary Dutch Chronicle of Mughal India, Calcutta, Suzel Gupta, 1957, Nelson, W.A., The Dutch Forts of Sri Lanka, The Military Monuments of Ceylon, Scotland, Edinburgh, Canongate Publishing Limited, 1984, Panikar, K.M., Malabar and the Dutch, Bombay, Tarapuravala, 1931, Paranavitana, K.D., Land for Money, Dutch Land Registration in Sri Lanka, Colombo, 2001, Paranavitana, K.D., De Silva, R.K., Maps and Plans of Dutch Ceylon, a representative collection of cartography from the Dutch period, Colombo, Cultural Fund, Sri Lanka Netherlands Association, 2002, Peters, Marion H., De La Porte, Ferry André, in Steengeschreven, Levin N. Sturven van Voc Dianaren op de Kust van Coromandel in India, written in stone, The Lives and Deaths of Voc Servants on the Coast of Coromandel in India, Amsterdam, Stichting Historisch Ondertzuk in War den Beeld, 2002, in Dutch, Pyrrhus, P. E. Some documents relating to the rise of the Dutch power in Ceylon, 1602 1670, from the translations at the India Office, Colombo, CAC Press, 1929, Pyrrhus, P. E. Ceylon and the Hollanders, 1658 1796, Telepoli, American Ceylon Mission Press, 1918, Poonen, T. I., Dutch Beginning in India Proper, 1580-1615, University of Madras, 1933, Poonen, T. I., A Survey of the Rise of the Dutch Power in Malabar, 1603-78, Trichnopoly, St. Joseph's Industrial School Press, 1948, Poonen, T. I., Dutch Hegemony in Malabar and its collapse, 1663-1795, Trivandrum, University of Kerala, 1978, Prakash, Om, The Dutch Factories in India, 1617-1623, a collection of Dutch East India Company documents pertaining to India, New Delhi, Munashiram Manoharlal, 1984, pp. XXIV plus 332, Prakash, Om, the Dutch East India Company and the Economy of Bengal, 1630-1720, Princeton University Press, 1985, 303 pp. Prakash, Om, Precious Metals and Commerce, the Dutch East India Company and the Indian Ocean Trade, Variorum Collected Studies Series, Routledge, 1994, ISBN 978-0860784. 340, Prakash, Om, The Dutch Factories in India, a collection of Dutch East India Company documents pertaining to India, Volume 2, 1624-1627, New Delhi, Manoha, 2007, pp. 413, Radwan, and Boss, The Dutch in Western India, 1601-1632, A Study of Mutual Accommodation, Columbia, Mo, South Asia Books, 1978, 
1668, Ravenheart, R., The Dutch Wars with Candy, 1764-1766. Colombo, Government Press, 1964. Rachaudery, Tappan, Jan Company in Coromandel, 1605-1690, A Study in the Interrelations of European Commerce and Traditional Economies, The Hague, Martinus Niehoff, 1962. Roloche, Antoinette P. De Vestiging der Nederlanders ter Kuste Malabar, S. Gravenhager, Martinus Niehoff, 1943, in Dutch. Sir Jacob, H. K., De Nederlanders in Kerala, 1663-1701, De Memories en Instructies betreffende het commandement Malabar van de Verenig de Oost Indus J. Compagnie, The Dutch in Kerala, 1663-1701, The Memorandums and Instructions Concerning the Malabar Commandment of the Dutch East India Company, S. Gravenhager, Martinus Niehoff, 19 76, in Dutch. Sir Jacob, H. K., The Rajas of Kochi, Kings, Chiefs and the Dutch East India Company, 1663-1720, New Delhi, Munashiram Manoharlal, 2000. Schricker, A., Dutch and British Colonial Intervention in Sri Lanka, 1780-1815, Expansion and Reform, Boston, Brill, 2007. Seashan, Radhikar, Trade and Politics on the Coromandel Coast, 17th and Early 18th Centuries, Delhi, Primus Books, 2012. Singh, Anjana, Fort Kochi in Kerala, 1750-1830, The Social Condition of a Dutch Community in an Indian Milieu at Boston, Brill, 2010 Samasarana, M.S., The Relationship Between VOC Trade and Dutch Forts in Sri Lanka, M.A. Thesis, Postgraduate Institute of Archaeology, University of Kelania, August 2011 Stolter, Carolian, Dutch Sources on South Asia, c. 1600-1825, Vol. 5, Philip Angels Deek Sorters, Vaishnava Mythology from Manuscript to Book Market in the Context of the Dutch East India Company, c. 1600-1672, New Delhi, Manoha, 2012, ISBN 978-81-7304-9. 932-3 Terpstra, H. De Vestiging van de Nederlanders aan de Kust van Coromandel, Groningen, 1911, in Dutch Terpstra, H. De Nederlanders in Boer Indie, Amsterdam, 1947, in Dutch Valentine, François, François Valentine's Description of Salon First published in 1726. Translated and edited by Sinapa Arasaratnam, London, Hakluyt Society, 1978. Van der Berg, J., Gayetti, A., Groot, P., Eds, The Dutch in Malabar, Selection from the Records of the Madras Government, No. 13. Madras, printed by the Superintendent, Government Press, 1911. Van der Pol, Bork, De VOC in India. En Rice Langs Nederlands Erfgoid in Gujarat, Malabar, Coromandel en Bengalen, Zutphen, Wahlberg Purse, 2011, in Dutch. Van Dulm, Fritz, Zonder Eigen Guin en Glory, Mr. Iman Wilhelm Falk, 1736-1785, Governor en Director van Salon en Onderhorigeden. Hilversum, Verloren, 2012, in Dutch. Van Gelder, Geert Jan, De Moor, Ed, Eds, Eastward Bound, Dutch Ventures and Adventures in the Middle East, Amsterdam, 1994. Vink, Marcus, Winius, George, The Merchant Warrior Pacified, The VOC, The Dutch East India Company, and Its Changing Political Economy in India, Delhi, Oxford University Press, 1991. 
Vink, Marcus, Dutch Sources on South Asia, c. 1600-1825, Volume 4, Mission to Madurai, Dutch Embassies to the Nyaka Court of Madurai in the 17th century, New Delhi, Manoha, 2012, ISBN 978-81-7304-931-6, Vink, Marcus, Encounters on the Opposite Coast, The Dutch East India Company and the Nyaka State of Madurai in the 17th Century, European Expansion and Indigenous Response, Brill, 2015, ISBN 9789004272637, Van den Belt, Albert, Het VOC Bedrefop Salon, en Vorname Vestiging van de Oost Industrie Compagnie in de 18 de EEUW, Zutphen, Wahlberg Purse, 2008, in Dutch. Van Gore, J., Jan Compagnie as Schoolmaster, Dutch Education in Salon, 1690-1795, Groningen, Walters Nordhoff, 1978, Van Lohausen, Jan, The Dutch East India Company in Mysore, 1762-1790, Springer, 1961, ISBN 9789004286559, Van Putten, L.P., Koopman en Diplomaat, Governors en Director en Van Salon, 1640-1796. Rotterdam, Ger Goose, 2006, in Dutch, Van Santen, Hans, De Verenig de Oost Industrie Compagnie in Gujarat en Hindustan, 1620-1660, Dissertati Leiden, Meppel, Crips Repro, 1982, in Dutch, Van Santen, Hans, VOC Dianar in India, Gelensen de Jong in Het Land van de Groot Magol, Franeke, Van Wijnen, 2001, ISBN 90-5194-210-9, in Dutch, Van Santen, Hans, Ok Bizoek Bij de Groot Magol, Twee Hofreisen van de VOC na de Groot Magol in India, 1662 and 1711-1713, Leiden, Sidestone Press, 2016, in Dutch, Wagenaar, Lodewijk, Gaul, VOC Vestiging in Salon. Beschrijving van en koloniale samenleving aan de vooravond van de Singeles opstaan tegen het Nederlands Gezag, 1760, Gaul, VOC Settlement in Salon. An account of a colonial community on the eve of the Sinhalese uprising against the Dutch, 1760, Amsterdam, de Batafje Leeuw, 1994, in Dutch, Wagenaar, Lodewijk, Kaneel and Oliphanton, Sri Lanka and Nederland since 1600. Nijmegen, Van Tilt, Amsterdam, Rijksmuseum, 2016, ISBN 9789460042737, in Dutch, Wagenaar, Lodewijk, Cinnamon and Elephants, Sri Lanka and the Netherlands from 1600. Nijmegen, Van Tilt, Amsterdam, Rijksmuseum, 2016, ISBN 9789460042836. Topic VOC in Southeast Asia, including the East Indies, Akveld, Leo, Ed, Machtstrade om Malacca. De Rijs van VOC Admiral Cornelis Cornelis. Matalief na Oostazi, 1605-1608, Zutphen, Wahlberg Purse, 2013, in Dutch, Andy Lolo, TR, de VOC in de Indonesie Scharkapel, Handeldrijven en Koloniseren, Den Haag, Jakarta, Ambassade van de Republic Indonesia, P.T. Vali Pustaka, 2002, in Dutch, Blushay, Leonard, Strange Company, Chinese Settlers, 
Mestizo Women and the Dutch in VOC Batavia, Dordrecht, Forest Publications, 1986, Blushet, Leonard, N.I.E., Denning, Trans, and Eds, The Chinese Annals of Batavia, The Kai Ba Lidai Shiji and Other Stories, 1610-1795, Leiden, Boston, Brill, 2018, ISBN 978-90-04-35670-2, Borschberg, Peter, Journal, Memorials and Letters of Cornelis Matelief de Jonge, Security, Diplomacy and Commerce in 17th Century Southeast Asia, Singapore, NUS Press, 2015, Brosius, John R., De Conning van Siam. Het Relas van de Verenig de Oostendische Compagnie in Thailand, Horn, 1996, in Dutch, Brummelhaus, Han Ten, Merchant, Courtier and Diplomat, A History of the Contacts Between the Netherlands and Thailand, Lochem, Tidstrom, 1987, Book, WJM, de Oostindische Compagnie en Quinnum. De betrekkingen der Nederlanders met Annem in de Rex VIIEEUW, Amsterdam, H. J. Paris, 1929, in Dutch, Castellan, Peter, ed., Strange Events in the Kingdoms of Cambodia and Laos, 1635-1644. Translated, annotated and introduced by Karul Kirsten, Bangkok. White Lotus Press, 2003, ISBN 974-4800-283, De Rover, Arend, De Jackdops Andelhout. De VOC en de Tweedeling van Timor in de Zeventien de EUW, Zutphen, Wahlberg, Purse, 2002, in Dutch, De Witt, Dennis, History of the Dutch in Malaysia, Petaling Jaya, Malaysia, Nutmeg Publishing, 2009, Dyke, Willow, 17th Century Burma and the Dutch East India Company, 1634-1680, Singapore University Press, 2006, ISBN 978-9971693046, Federson, Carl Frederick, Principal Pragmatism, VOC Interaction with Makassar, 1637-68, and the Nature of Company Diplomacy, Doctoral Thesis, Leiden University, 2016, Grine, Keys, Nas, Peter J. M., Eds, Jakarta Batavia, Socio-Cultural Essays, Leiden, KITLV Press, 2000, Hoang, An Tuan, Hoang, An Tuan, Silk for Silver, Dutch Vietnamese Relations, 1637 1700, Leiden, Brill, 2007, ISBN 9789004156012, Hoang, An Tuan, Hoang, An Tuan, ed. Tu Liu Cathay Kong Tai Dong An Ha Lan Va An Ve Ki Cho Dang In Go I The Kai 17, Hanoi, Hanoi Public Publishes, Hanoi, Enna Schwat Ban Hanoi, 2010, in Vietnamese, Horst, J. Ter, Muskiatungat, en Vergeten Geschiedenis van de VOC in Cambodia, Amsterdam, Atlas Contact, 2014, in Dutch, Hussen, Norden, Trade and Society in the Straits of Malacca, Dutch Malacca and English Penang, 1780-1830, Copenhagen, Nordic Institute of Asian Studies. Studies, 2007, ISBN 9971693542, Kleinen, J., Van der Zwan, Bert, Moors, Hans, Van Zeeland, Tun, Liu en Drac, Fieriu en Nederland en Vietnam, Amsterdam, Boom, 2007, in Dutch, Kleinen, J., Van der Zwan, Bert, Moors, 
Hans, Van Zeeland, Tun, Lion and Dragon, Four Centuries of Dutch-Vietnamese Relations, Amsterdam, Boom, 2008, Kleinen, J, Hoang, An Tuan, Al, Su Tu Vie Rong, Bon the Kai Quan He Ha Lan, Vietnam, Lion and Dragon, Four Centuries of Dutch-Vietnamese Relations, Hanoi, The Joy Publishes, Hanoi, Enna Schwat Ban The Joy, 2008, in Vietnamese, KNAAP, Garrett, Sutherland, Heather, Monsoon Traders, Ships, Skippers and Commodities in 18th Century Makassar, Leiden, KITLV Press, 2004, ISBN 90-6718-232-X, Lewis, Diane, Jan Compagnie in the Straits of Malacca, 1641-1795, Athens, Ohio, Ohio University, Center for International Studies, 1995, ISBN 9780896801875, Lohanda, Mona, Niemeyer, Hendrik E. Marginalia to the Daily Journals of Batavia Castle, 1659-1799. A digitized contemporary chronological entry to archives of the Dutch East India Company VOC, Jakarta, Arsip National Republic Indonesia, The Courts Foundation, 2013 McVeigh, Pamela Ann, I Am the Devil's Own, Crime, Class, and Identity in the 17th Century Dutch East Indies, Ph.D. Dis, University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, 1995 Muller, Hendrik P.N., De Oost Industrie Compagnie in Cambodia en Laos, Versameling van Bescheiden van 1636 tot 1670, The Dutch East India Company in Cambodia and Laos, a collection of documents from 1636 to 1670, The Hague, Martinus Niehoff and Linschoten Vereniging, 1917, in Dutch, Nagtegal, Lucas, Riding the Dutch Tiger, The Dutch East India India Company and the northeast coast of Java, 1680–1743. Verhandelingen van het Koninklijk Instituut voor Taal, Land en Volkenkunde 171 Leiden 1996 Niemeyer, Hendrik E., Batavia, en Coloniale Samenleving in de 17 de EEUW, Amsterdam, Utjeveri Balance, 2005 in Dutch Ota, Asushi, Changes of Regime and Social Dynamics in West Java, Society, State and the Outer World of Banton, 1740–1830 TANAP Monographs on the History of the Asian-European Interaction 2, Leiden and Boston, Massachusetts Massachusetts, Brill Publishers, 2006, pp. XX plus 275, ISBN 90-04-15091-9 Rabin, Remco, Pombidra, Dirivat na Eds, In the King's Trail. An 18th-century Dutch journey to the Buddha's footprint. Theodorus Jacobus van den Heuvel's account of his voyage to Phra Futhabat in 1737. Bangkok, Royal Netherlands Embassy, 1997 Rabin, Remco, Bosma, Ulbi, Willems, Vim, de Geschiedenis van Industrie Nederlanders, Amsterdam, Bert Bakker, 2006 in Dutch Rabin, Remco, Bosma, Ulbi, being Dutch in the Indies, A History of Creolization and Empire, 1500-1920. Translated from the Dutch by Wendy Schaffer, Athens, Ohio, Ohio University Press, Singapore, NUS Press, 2008 Ruingsilp, Barwon, Dutch East India Company Merchants at the Court of Ayutthaya, Dutch Perceptions of the Thai Kingdom, c. 
1604-1765, Brill, 2007, ISBN 90-04-15600-3 Smith, George Vanal, The Dutch in 17th Century Thailand, Illinois, Center for Southeast Asian Studies, 1977 Steenbrink, Carroll, Dutch Colonialism and Indonesian Islam, Contacts and Conflicts, 1596-1950. Translated from the Dutch by Jan Steenbrink and Henry Janssen, Amsterdam, Redopi, 1993 Steenbrink, Carol, Aratonang, Jan Sihar eds, A History of Christianity in Indonesia, Boston, M.A., Brill, 2008 Stevens, Harm, Bitter Spice, Indonesia and the Netherlands from 1600. Amsterdam and Nijmegen, Rijksmuseum and Van Tilt, 2015, ISBN 9789460042515 Taylor, Jean Gelman, The Social World of Batavia, European and Eurasian in Dutch Asia, Madison, Y., University of Wisconsin Press, 1983 Terpstra, H., De factore der Ustendische Compagnie T. Patani, The Hague, Martinus Niehoff, 1938 in Dutch, Van den Muesenberg, Otto, Four Centuries of Dutch-Philippine Economic Relations, 1600-2000, Manila, Royal Netherlands Embassy, 2000 Van der Brugge, Ph., Malaria en Malaise. De VOC in Batavia in de 18 EEUW, Amsterdam, de Batavia Liu, 1994 in Dutch, Van der Kran, Alphonse, Murder and Mayhem in 17th Century Cambodia, Anthony Van Diemen vs. King Ramadi Party I, Chiang Mai, Silkworm Books, 2009, Van Goens, Rickloff, Javarens Reis, de Bezoeken van NVOC Gezant AAN Hel Het Hof van Mataram, 1648–1654 Javanese Journeys, The Visits of a VOC Envoy to the Court of Mataram, 1648–1654. Edited by Daja van Weaver, Amsterdam, Terra Incognita, 1995 in Dutch Van Claveren, J.J., The Dutch Colonial System in the East Indies, The Hague, J.J. Van Claveren, 1953 Van Neel, Robert, Java's Northeast Coast, 1740–1840, A Study in Colonial Encroachment and Dominance. Leiden, Research School CNWS, Leiden University, 2005 Voss, Rienaut, Koopman en Koning, de VOC en de Melis Tin Handel, 1740-1800, Utrecht, 1990, Ph.D., presented to the University of Utrecht, in Dutch. Voss, Rienaut, Gentle Janus, Merchant Prince, The VOC and the Tightrope of Diplomacy in the Malay World, 1740-1800. Translated from the Dutch by Beverly Jackson, Leiden, KITLV Press, 1993. Weavers, Robert C. M., The Dutch Settlement of Malacca, Influence of the Ideas of Simon Stephen on the Design of the Town and Fort of Malacca, Lambert Academic Publishing, 2016, ISBN 978-3-659-90958-0 Wijojo, Muradin Satrio, The Revolt of Prince Nuku, Cross-Cultural Alliance Making in Maluku, c. 1780-1810. Leiden and Boston, Brill, 2009. VOC in East Asia Andrade, Tonio, How Taiwan Became Chinese, Dutch, Spanish, and Han Colonization in the 17th Century, New York, Columbia University Press, 2007. 
Lusche, Leonard, Falkenberg, R., Johann Neuhoff's Bild und van n. Reis, 1655 1657, Middelburg, Stichting VOC Publicities, 1987, in Dutch. Lusche, Leonard, Sao, Yung Ho, Chang, Xu Sheng, Eds, Tai Wan Shi Tang In, Wen Shu Mu Lu, Shi, Ho Lan Tung Yin Tu Kung Ssu Yu Quan Tai Wan Tang and Mu Lu, Tao Wan Shi Dang and Wen Shu Mu Lu Shi He Lan Dong Yin Du Gong Si Yu Guan Tao Wan Dang and Mu Lu The Taiwan Related Archival Catalogue of the Dutch East India Company, Taipei, National Taiwan University Press, 19 1997, in Chinese. Blushe, Leonard, Kai, Hongsheng, Al, Eds, Hang Xiang Zhu Jiang, Helen Ren Zai Wanan, 1600-2009, Hang Xiang Zhu Jiang He Lan Rain Zai Huanan, 1600-2000, Nian, Sailing to the Pearl River, Dutch Enterprise in South China, 1600 to 2000, Guangzhou, Guangzhou Publishing House, 2004, in Chinese. Blushe, Leonard, Van Loon, Floris Jan, China en de Nederlanders, Geschiedenis van de Nederlands Chinese Betrekkingen, 1600-2007, Zutphen, Wahlberg Purse, 2008. Blushe, Leonard, Van Opstal, M. E., Sao, Yung Ho, Eds, De Dagregisters Van Het Castile Zeelandia, Taiwan, 1629-1662, Daily Records Kept in the Castle Zeelandia, Taiwan, 1629-1662, S. Gravenhager, Niehoff, 1986, Volume 1, 1629-1641, in Dutch, Blushe, Leonard, Mill W. E., Sao, Yung Ho, Eds, De Dagregisters Van Het Castile Zeelandia, Taiwan, 1629-1662, Den Haag, Instituut voor Nederlandsgeschiedenis, 1995, Volume 2, 1641-1648, in Dutch. Blushe, Leonard, Mild, W. E., Sao, Yung Ho, Eds, De Dagregisters Van Het Castile Zeelandia, Taiwan, 1629-1662, Den Haag, Instituut voor Nederlandsgeschiedenis, 1996, Volume 3, 1648-1655, in Dutch. Blushe, Leonard, Everts, Natalie, Mild, W. E., Sao, Yung Ho, Eds, De Dagregisters Van Het Castile Zeelandia, Taiwan, 1629 1662, Den Haag, Instituut voor Nederlandsgeschiedenis, 2000, Vol. 4, 1655 1662, in Dutch. Blushe, Leonard, Remelink, Willem, Smits, Evo, Eds, Bridging the Divide, 400 Years, The Netherlands Japan, Leiden, Hote Publishing, 2000. Blushe, Leonard, Everts, Natalie, Vreck, Avelian, Eds, The Famosan Encounter. Notes on Formosa's Aboriginal Society, a selection of documents from Dutch archival sources, 4 vols, Taipei, Sheng Yi Museum of Formosan Aborigines, 1999, 2000, 2006. Blushe, Leonard, Viole, Cynthia, The Dashima Dagregisters, Their Original Tables of Contents, Volume. IX, 1780 to 1790, Leiden, Institute for the History of European Expansion, 1996. Blushe, Leonard, Viole, Cynthia, The Dashima Dagregisters, Their Original Tables of Contents, Volume. X, 1790 to 1800, Leiden, Institute for the History of European Expansion, 1997. Blushe, Leonard, Viole, Cynthia, The Dashima Dagregisters, Their Original Tables of Contents, Volume. 
11, 1641-1650, Leiden, Institute for the History of European Expansion, 2001, Blushet, Leonard, Violet, Cynthia, The Dishima Dagregisters, Their Original Tables of Contents, Volume 12, 1650-1660, Leiden, Institute for the History of European Expansion, 2005, Blushet, Leonard, Violet, Cynthia, The Dishima Dagregisters, Their Original Tables of Contents, Volume 13, 1660-1670, Leiden, Institute for the History of European Expansion, 2010 Blushet, Leonard, ed., Around and About Formosa, Essays in Honor of Professor Sao Yung Ho, Taipei, Sao Yung Ho Foundation for Culture and Education, 2003 Boxer, C.R., Jan Compagnie in Japan, 1600-1850, An Essay on the Cultural Artistic and Scientific Influence Exercised by the Hollanders in Japan from the 17th to the 19th centuries, Den Haag, 1950. Campbell, William, Formosa under the Dutch, described from contemporary records, Second Rev., Enlarged Ed., 2 vols. London, Keegan Paul, Trench, Trubner, 1903. Chiclin, Martha, Cultural Commerce and Dutch Commercial Culture, The Influence of European Material Culture on Japan, 1700-1850, Studies in Overseas History 5. Research School CNWS, Leiden University, 2003, 284 pp. Cheng, Xiaogang, De Voc en Formosa, 1624–1662, en Vergeten Geschiedenis, Ph.D. Dissertation, Leiden University, 1995 in Dutch Cheng, Wei Chung, War, Trade and Piracy in the China Seas, 1622–1683, Leiden, Brill, 2013 Chu, H. S. I. N. Hui, The Colonial Civilizing Process in Dutch Formosa, 1624-1662 Tanip Monographs on the History of Asian-European Interaction, Brill Academic, 2008, 346 pp. Klulo, Adam, The Company and the Shogun, The Dutch Encounter with Tokugawa Japan. Columbia University Press, 2014, 352 pp. Covell, Ralph R., Pentecost of the Hills in Taiwan, The Christian Faith Among the Original Inhabitants, Pasadena, C.A., Hope Publishing House, 1998. Coyet, Frederick, Neglected Formosa, a translation from the Dutch of Frederick Coyet's T. Verwerloos de Formosa. Edited and translated from the Dutch by Inez de Beauclair, San Francisco, Chinese Materials Center, 1975 De Haan, Jan, Fitzky, Menno, De Small Brug, Japan and Nederland since 1600. Nijmegen, Van Tilt, Amsterdam, Rijksmuseum, 2016, ISBN 9789460042263 De Haand, Jan, Fitzky, Menno, A Narrow Bridge, Japan and the Netherlands from 1600. Nijmegen, Van Tilt, Amsterdam, Rijksmuseum, 2016, ISBN 9789460042805 De Lang, William, Pars Japonica, The First Dutch Expedition to Reach the Shores of Japan, Floating World Editions, 2006, ISBN 1-891640-23-2 Goodman, Grant K., Dutch Impact on Japan, 1640–1853, Leiden, E.J. Brill, 1967 
Goodman, Grant K., Japan and the Dutch, 1600–1853, Richmond, Curzon Press, 2000. Goodman, Grant K., Japan, The Dutch Experience, New York, Bloomsbury, 2012 Hesselink, R. H., De Gavangen and Uit Nambu. Noir Geschied Verhaal over de VOC in Japan, Zutphen, Wahlberg Purse, 2000 in Dutch Haynes, Paul a.k.a. Han, Jiabao, Zheng, Weijung a.k.a. Cheng, Wei Chung, Helen Shi Dai Taiwan de Jing Ji, Tu Dai Yu Shui Wu, He Lorn Shi Dai Tor Wan de Jing Ji, Tu Dai Yu Shui Wu Economy, Land Rights and Taxation in Dutch Formosa, Taipei, Appleseed Publishing, 2002, in Chinese. Haynes, Paul, Han, Jiabao, Cheng, Wei Chung, Helen Shidai Taiwan Jailing Ji Hunyin Yu Zili Denglubu, Heilorn Shidai Tor Wan Gaoling Ji Hunyin Yu Shili Deng Lubu Dutch Formosan Placard Book, Marriage, and Baptism Records, Trans, Taipei, Sao Yung Ho Foundation for Culture and Education, 2005, in Chinese. Yanello, Tiziana, Shogun, Komojin e Rangakusha. La Compagnie del Indie e l'Apertura del Japon a la Tecnologia Occidentale ne Sicoli XVI 18, Padova, Libriri Universitaria, 2012, ISBN 978 88 6292 317 0. In Italian, Jerg, CJA, Porcelain and the Dutch China Trade. Translated from the Dutch by Patricia Wardle, The Hague, Martinus Niehoff, 1982 Kaempfer, Engelbert, Kaempfer's Japan, Tokugawa Culture Observed. Translated and edited by Beatrice M. Bodart Bailey, Honolulu, University of Hawaii Press, 1999 Kang, P. Day, Ji Min Xiang Xiang Yu Dai Fang Lu Bian, Helen Dong Yindu Gong Si Yu Taiwan Yuan Zhu Min, Ji Min Xiang Xiang Yu Da Fang Lu Bian He Lorn Dong Yindu Gong Si Yu Taiwan Yuan Zhu Min Colonial Imagination and Local Variations, The Dutch East India Company and the Famosan Austronesians, Taipei, 2016, ISBN 9789570 1,848,137 in Chinese Ledyard, Gary, The Dutch Come to Korea, An Account of the Life of the First Westerners in Korea 1653-1666, Royal Asiatic Society Korea Branch, 1st edition, 1971 Lequin, Frank, ed. Isaac Titzing, 1745–1812, En Passive or Japan. Levin en Werk van de Grondlegger van de Europese Japanologie, Alphen Aan den Rijn, Canaletto, Repro Holland, 2003, in Dutch. Lequin, Frank, ed. Isaac Titzing in China, 1794-1796, Het Onuit Jegeven Journal van Zijn Ambassade na Peking, Alphen Aan den Rijn, Canaletto, Repro Holland, 2005, in Dutch, Lu, Yong, The Dutch East India Company's Tea Trade with China, 1757-1781, Brill, 2007, ISBN 9 Trillion seven hundred and eighty nine billion four million one hundred and fifty five thousand nine hundred and ninety two Massarella, Derek, A World Elsewhere Europe's Encounter with Japan in the Sixteenth and Seventeenth Centuries, Yale University Press, nineteen ninety, pp. XIII plus four four two Mirt, Christoph, Het Copper van der Shogun. 
Koperhandel in der Dagregisters van der Schema in de Laatste Jaren van de Verenig der Oost Industrie Compagnie, Dis, Master in de Geschiedenis, Universiteit Gent, 2009, in Dutch, Moldenhauer, Jerg, the Dutch East India Company in Fuzhou and the Dutch Merchants Image of China, c. 1660c.1690, Master Thesis, Leiden University, 2013, Mostert, Tristan, Van Kampen, Jan, Silk Thread, China and the Netherlands from 1600. Amsterdam and Nijmegen, Rijksmuseum and Van Tilt, 2015, ISBN 9789460042508, Mulder, W. Z., Hollanders in Gerardo, 1597-1641, Harlem, Fibula van Discherk, 1984, Nashid, Oscar, Die Biesihungen der Niederlandischen Osten Kompanie zu Japan im Siebzenten Jahren Dirt, Leipzig, Frischer, 1897, in German, Nakamura, Takashi, Wu, Misha, Weng, Jiayin, Al, Eds, Helen Shi Dai Taiwan Shi Yan Ju, Heilon Shi Dai Taiwan Shi Yan Ju Research on Taiwanese History under the Dutch Rule, Taipei, Daoxiang Press, 1997, in Chinese, Palamek, Yeda, after all ambivalence, the situation of North Formosa and its inhabitants in the 17th century, research master thesis, Leiden University, 2012, Roper, Vibeke, Walraven, Baudevine, Eds, De Wereld van Hendrik Hamel, Nederland en Korea in de 17 de EUW, Amsterdam, Sunday, 2003, in Dutch, Roper, Vibeke, Walraven, Baudevine, Vise, Jean-Paul, Eds, Hamel's World, A Dutch-Korean Encounter in the 17th Century, Amsterdam, Sunday, 2003, Screech, Timon, Ed, Japan Extolled and Decried, Carl Peter Thunberg's Travels in Japan, 1775-1776, New York, NY, Routledge, 2005, Screech, Timon, Ed, Japan Extolled and Decried, Carl Peter Thunberg and the Shogun's Realm, 1775-1796, London and New York, Routledge, 2005, Screech, Timon, Ed., Secret Memoirs of the Shoguns, Isaac Titsing and Japan, 1779-1822, New York, NY, Routledge, 2005, ISBN 0-7007-1720-X, Savinia, Henny, Het Journal van Hendrik Hamel, De Verbezingwekende Lokgevathlen van Hendrik Hamel en Andere Skipbroeklingen van Het VOC Skip de Spurwa in Korea, 1653-1666, Rotterdam, Donker, 2003, in Dutch, Shepard, John Robert, Statecraft and Political Economy on the Taiwan Frontier, 1600-1800, Stanford, Stanford University Press, 1993, pp. XVII plus 596, ISBN 0-8047-2066-5, Shimada, Ryuto, The Intra-Asian Trade in Japanese Copper by the Dutch East India Company during the 18th century, TANAP Monographs on the History of Asian-European Interaction, Brill, 2005, ISBN 978-9004150928, Stellingworth, J., De Deeper Water and Van Nagasaki, Nederlands Japanse Betrekkingen said it distincting Van de Schema, Franica, 1983, in Dutch, Sun, Jing, The Illusion of Verisimilitude, Johan Neuhoff's Images of China, PhD Dissertation, Leiden University, 2013, Suzuki, Yasuko, Japan Netherlands Trade, 1600-1800, The Dutch East India Company and Beyond. 
Trans-Pacific Press, 2012, 298 pp. Sai, Shi Shan Henry, Maritime Taiwan, Historical Encounter with the East and the West, R. Monk, N. Y., M. E. Sharp, 2009, Ulrichs, Friedrich A., Johann Neuhoff's Blick auf China, 1655-1657, Die Kupferstisch in seinem Chinabuch und die HRE Working auf den Verlager Jacob of Van Meurs, Sinologica Coloniensa 21, Wiesbaden, Harrisowitz Verlag, 2003, in German, Van Amstel, AAD, Barbaran, Rebellen en Mandarinen, de VOC in de Slag met China in de Gauden EEUW. Amsterdam, Thoris, 2011, in Dutch. Van Brahm Hauptgist, André Everard, An Authentic Account of the Embassy of the Dutch East India Company, to the Court of the Emperor of China, in the years 1794 and 1795. London, R. Phillips, 1789 Van der Velde, Paul, Vimolen, Tun, The Dashima Dagregisters, Their Original Tables of Contents, Volume. 3, 1700-1710, Leiden, Centre for the History of European Expansion, 1990 Van der Velde, Paul, The Dashima Dagregisters, Their Original Tables of Contents, Vol. IV, 1710-1720, Leiden, Centre for the History of European Expansion, 1989 Van der Velde, Paul, The Dashima Dagregisters, Their Original Tables of Contents, Vol. V, 1720-1730, Leiden, Centre for the History of European Expansion, 1990 Van der Velde, Paul, The Dashima Dagregisters, Their Original Tables of Contents, Vol. VI, 1730-1740, Leiden, Centre for the History of European Expansion, 1991 Van der Velde, Paul, The Dashima Dagregisters, Their Original Tables of Contents, Vol. 7, 1740-1760, Leiden, Centre for the History of European Expansion, 1993 Van der Velde, Paul, Viole, Cynthia, The Dashima Dagregisters, Their Original Tables of Contents, Vol. 8, 1760-1780, Leiden, Center for the History of European Expansion, 1995 Van Gulik, Willem R., Al. Eds., In the Wake of the Liefde, Cultural Relations Between the Netherlands and Japan Since 1600. Amsterdam, De Batafcha Liu, 1986 Van Hove, H.J., Hollanders in Korea, Utrecht, Spectrum, 1989 Vermolen, Tun, The Dashima Dagregisters, Their Original Tables of Contents, Vol. I, 1680-1690, Leiden, Center for the History of European Expansion, 1986 Vermolen, A.C.J., The Dashima Dagregisters, Their Original Tables of Contents, Vol. 2, 1690-1700, Leiden, Center for the History of European Expansion, 1987 Weng, Jia Yin, Helen Shidai Taiwan Shi De Liang Shu Xing Wen Ti, He Lorn Shi Dai Tao Wan Shi De Liang Zhu Xing Wen Ti The Question of Continuity in the History of Taiwan's Dutch Period, Taipei, Dao Xiang, 2008 in Chinese Wills, John E., Pepper, Guns, and Parleys, The Dutch East India Company and in China, 1662-1681, Harvard University Press, 1974 Yang, Yan Ji, Heju Shidai Taiwan Shi, Heju Shidai Taiwan Shi History of Taiwan in the Dutch Occupation, Taipei, Lianjing Press, 2000 in Chinese Zheng, Weijung, a.k.a. 
Cheng, Wei Chung, Helen Shidai de Taiwan Shehui, Ziranfa de Nanti Yu Wen Minghua de Li Chung, Heilon Shidai de Tor Wan Shihui Ziranfa de Nanti Yu Wen Minji Hua de Li Sheng Taiwan Society under Dutch rule, issues in natural law and process of civilization. Taipei, Chanwei, 2004, in Chinese. Topic. Journal articles, scholarly papers, essays, and book chapters Topic General history Adams, Julia 1996, Principles and Agents, Colonialists and Company Men, The Decay of Colonial Control in the Dutch East Indies. American Sociological Review 61 1, 12 28. Andaya, B. W. Malacca under the Dutch, 1641 1795. In Kerile Singh Sandhu and Paul Wheatley, eds. Malacca, The Transformation of a Malay Capital, c. 1400 1980. Kuala Lumpur, Oxford University Press, 1983. Andaya, L. Y. 1976, de VOC en de Melis in de 17 de N18 de EEUW, in MAP Malink Roloche, ed. de VOC in Azi, Bossum, Fibula van Dieshoek, 1976, pp. 107 to 56, in Dutch, Andrade, Tonio, 1997, Political Spectacle and Colonial Rule, The Landag on Dutch Taiwan, 1629 to 1648. Itinerario 21 3, 57 to 93 Andrade, Tonio 2005, Pirates, Pelts, and Promises, The Sino-Dutch Colony of 17th Century Taiwan and the Aboriginal Village of Favorilang. The Journal of Asian Studies 64 2, 295 to 321 Barons, René J. 1988, the Long Road to Livorno, the Overland Messenger Services of the Dutch East India Company in the 17th century. Itinerario 12 2, pp. 24-43. DOI 10.1017 SO1651153000047080 Bax A Martin CJ M. 1974, De Liefde, a Dutch East Indiaman lost on the outskerries, Shetland, in 1711. International Journal of Nautical Archaeology and Underwater Exploration 3 1, 81-90 Bess, Leonard 2016, Sultan Among Dutchmen. Royal Dress at Court Audiences in South India, as portrayed in local works of art and Dutch Embassy reports, 17th-18th centuries. Modern Asian Studies 50, 6, 1792-1845 Blushay, Leonard 1985, An Insane Administration and an Unsanitary Town, The Dutch East India Company and Batavia 1619-1799, In Colonial Cities, ed. Robert J. Ross and G. J. Telkamp, Dordrecht, Martinus Niehoff, 1985, pp. 65 to 85. Borschberg, Peter, 2009. The Johor VOC Alliance and the Twelve Years' Truce: Factionalism, Intrigue, and International Diplomacy. C. 1606 to 1613. International Law and Justice Working Papers, New York University School of Law, Working Paper 2009 8, 2009 Borschberg, Peter 2017, The Value of Admiral Matilieff's Writings for Studying the History of Southeast Asia, c. 1600-1620. Journal of Southeast Asian Studies 48 3, 414-435 DOI 10.1017 SO022463417005 X Boucher M1981 The Cape Passage Some Observations on Health Hazards Aboard Dutch East Indemen Outward Bound 
Historia 26, 1, 24 to 36. Boxer, C.R. 1963. The Dutch East Indiamen, their sailors, their navigators, and life on board. 1602 to 1795. Greenwich, The Society for Nautical Research, 1976. First printed in Mariner's Mirror 49, 2, 81 to 104. Boxer, C.R. 1973. Treasure from the Sea: Shipwrecks of Dutch East Indiamen, 1629 to 1749. History Today 23 to 766 minus 775. Bruin, Iris, 1994. The Health Care Organization of the Dutch East India Company at Home. Social History of Medicine 7 3, 359–81 Bruin, J.R. 1980, Between Batavia and the Cape, Shipping Patterns of the Dutch East India Company. Journal of Southeast Asian Studies 11 2, 251–265 Bruin, Yarp R., Van Eyck van Heslinger, Els S. Mutiny, Rebellion on the Ships of the Dutch East India Company. The Great Circle 4 1, 1 1–9 Brains, Willem Frederick Jacob Mortzer 1992, Navigation on Dutch East India Company ships around the 1740s. The Mariner's Mirror 78 2, 143–54 Book, WJM 1936, La Compagnie des Indes Neerlandises et l'Indochine. Bulletin de l'École Française d'Extreme Orient 36 to 37, p. 97 to 196 and p. 121 to 237. In French, Berger, M. 2003. The Forgotten Gold: The Importance of the Dutch Opium Trade in the 17th Century. Idos 2 by Apt. Sur, 2017, The Dutch East India Company Through the Local Lens, Exploring the Dynamics of Indo-Dutch Relations in 17th Century Bengal. Indian Historical Review 44 one 62-91 Cariotti, Patrizia 2011, 17th Century Nagasaki, in Trepo for the Zheng, the VOC and the Tokugawa Bakufu, Chapter 3, in, François Gapulu ed., Gateways to Globalization, Edward Elgar Publishing, 2011, pp. 51-65 Chowdhury, K.N., Israel, J.I. 1991, the English and Dutch East India Companies and the Glorious Revolution of 1688-9, in Jonathan I. Israel, ed. The Anglo-Dutch Moment. Essays on the Glorious Revolution and its World Impact Cambridge UP, 1991, ISBN 0-521-39075-3, pp. 407-438 Cheng, Wei Chung 2014, The Emergence of Taiyuan Harbour in 1624, Converged Consequences of Two Remote Wars. Cultural Interaction Studies of Seaport Cities 11, pp. 268-310 Clulo, Adam 2006, Pirating in the Shogun's Waters, The Dutch East India Company and the Santo Antonio Incident. Bulletin of Portuguese Japanese History 13, December 2006, 65 to 80. Delmas, Adrian, 2007. The Role of Writing in the First Steps of the Colony: A Short Inquiry in the Journal of Jan van Riebeek, 1652 to 1662. In Contingent Lives: Social Identity and Material Culture in the VOC World, ed. Nigel Warden, Cape Town, Royal Netherlands Embassy, 2007. Delmas, Adrian, 2012. From Traveling to History: An Outline of the VOC Writing System During the 17th Century, translated from the French by Christine Bull. In Adrian Delmas and Nigel Penn, Eds. Written Culture in a Colonial Context: Africa and the Americas, 1500 to 1900. Leiden, Brill, 2012. 
2012, Dumoutier, G. 1895, Les Comptoirs Hollandais de Faux Hino Focac, Pre Hung Yen, Tonkin, Oxvie Siecle. Bulletin de Geographie Historique Descriptive, 1895, p. 220-228. In French, Gastre, Femme S. 1997, Friesland en de VOC, in Ph. H. Broeker and A. Janse, eds, Negen eeuw in Friesland Holland, Geschiedenis van en hart liefdeverhouding, Zutphen, 1997, pp. 184-196, in Dutch, Gastra, Fem S. The Organization of the VOC, translated from the Dutch by Rosemary Robson MacKillop, in, The Archives of the Dutch East India Company VOC, and the Local Institute Institutions in Batavia, Jakarta, Brill, 2007, pp. 13 to 60. Gastra, Fem South, 2009. Soldiers and Merchants: Aspects of Migration from Europe to Asia in the Dutch East India Company in the 18th Century. In Wim Kloester, ed. Migration, Trade and Slavery in an Expanding World. Leiden, Boston, Brill, 2009, pp. 99 to 100. 19 Glickman, Stephanie 2018, The Company One Keeps, View of Ambon CA, 1617 in the Dutch East India Company's socio-political landscape. JHNA, Journal of Historians of Netherlandish Art 10 1, Gwelke, Leonard 1976, Frontier Settlement in Early Dutch South Africa. Annals of the Association of American Geographers 66 1, 25-42 Hauptmann, Lawrence M., Knapp, Ronald G. 1977, Dutch Aboriginal Interaction in New Netherland and Formosa, An Historical Geography of Empire. Proceedings of the American Philosophical Society 121 2, 166 to 182 Hoang, An Tuan, Hoang, An Tuan 2005, Kong Tai Dong and Ha Lan O Dang in Goai, 1637 to 1700, Tu Liu Va Nung Van De Nien Ku, The Dutch East India Company in Tonkin, 1637 to 1700, Documents and research issues to be considered. Tap Chinin Kulich Su 3 2005, pp. 30-41, in Vietnamese Halen, Anne 2017, Mobility and Consistorial Discipline in Dutch Formosa, an Examination of Kirkbook, 1643-1649, Taiyuan Consistory. Taiwan Historical Research 24 1-36 Haynes, Pohl 2005, A Note on Western Impact on Dutch Formosa, 1624-1662 Itinerario 29 93-109 DOI, 10.1017, SO1651153000194 Hoffman, E. 1972, Early Policies in the Malacca Jurisdiction of the United East India Company, the Malay Peninsula and Netherlands East Indies Attachment. Journal of Southeast Asian Studies 3 1, 3 38 Husson, Norden 2002, A Tale of Two Colonial Port Towns in the Straits of Malacca, Dutch Malacca and English Penang. Journal of the Malaysian Branch of the Royal Asiatic Society 75 2, 65-98 JOU, Kyung Chul 2003, Globalization Avant la Lettre, The Dutch East India Company on Asian Waters. Entreprises A Histoire 32 1, 59-71 Keo, Marsley L. 2015, Dutch Batavia, Exposing the Hierarchy of the Dutch Colonial City. 
JHNA, Journal of Historians of Netherlandish Art 7 to 1 Kist, J. Bass, 1998, Integrating Archaeological and Historical Records in Dutch East India Company Research, in Lawrence E. Babbitts and Hans van Tilburg, eds, Maritime Archaeology, a reader of substantive and theoretical contributions, New York, Plenum Press, 1998, pp. 39-47. Kleinen, J. Trong, Van Bin, Verenig de Oost Industrie Compagnie (VOC), Materials on Relations Between the Dutch East India Company and the Nawian Lords in the 17th and 18th Centuries, in Ancient Town of Hoyen, pp. 37 to 48. Klein, P. W. 1986. De Tonkinese Japanse Zijdehandel van de Verenig de Oost Industrie Compagnie en het Inter Asiatische Ver. Here in the 17 EEUW, the Tonkinese Japanese silk trade of the Dutch East India Company and the Inter Asian trade movement in the 17th century. In Buigen en Bewegen, de historicus in het Spanningsveld tussen economie en cultuur move and exercise, the historian in the tension between economy and culture, edited by W. Freehoff and M. Hyamstra, Tilburg, Gianneton, 1986, pp. 152-177. In Dutch Kuiman, Merjam 2015, the Dutch VOC mentality. Cultural policy as a business model. In L'Internationale September 23, Kotelawele, D.A. 1995, The VOC in Sri Lanka, 1688-1766, Problems and Policies, in K. M. de Silva, ed., History of Sri Lanka, Vol. 2, c. 1500-1800, Paradenia, University of Paradenia, 1995, pp. 200 133 to 80 Kotelawele, DA 1995 The Administration of Justice under the VOC in History of Sri Lanka Volume Lee C 1500 to 1800 pp 356 to 374 Paradenia University of Paradenia 1995 Marangian Kareen 2000 Unseen Paradise The Image of Holland in the Writings of Ando Shuki, in the Japanese and Europe, Images and Perceptions, 2000, edited by Bert Edstrom. Mitchell, Wolfgang, 1993, Travels of the Dutch East India Company in the Japanese Archipelago, in Lutz Walter, ed., Japan, A Cartographic Vision, München, Prestel Verlag, 1993, pp. 31-39 Mizutani, Takeshi, Nakamura, Setsuko, 1998, Dutch Influence on the Reception and Development of Western-Style Expression in Early Modern Japan, 64th IFLA General Conference, August 16 to August 21, 1998. Mochizuki, Mir M. 2010. The Movable Center: The Netherlandish Map in Japan. In Michael North, ed. Artistic and Cultural Exchanges Between Europe and Asia, 1400 to 1900. Rethinking Markets, Workshops and Collections. Burlington, VT, Ashgate, 2010. Monique. Thomas 2009, L'Evropé du Nord et l'Extreme Orient au Temps de la VOC. Quelk's Remarks Introductives. Deshima, Revue de Histoire Globale des Pays du Nord 3-275-283, in French, Nagel, Jürgen G. 2006, Kapsiedler, Malukenhandler, Japanreisende. Deutsche in Führungspositionen der Niederländischen Ostindien Company, in M. A. Denzel, Deutsche Erlitten in Übersee, Street. Catherine, 2006, pp. 291-318. 
In German, Nguyen, Quang Nok, Nguyen, Quang Nok, 1994, some features on the Dutch East India Company and its trade office at Pho Hien, in the Association of Vietnamese Historians and People's Committee of Hai Hung Province, ed. Pho Hien, the center of international commerce in the 17th-18th centuries. Hanoi, The Joy Publishers, Hanoi, Enna Schwab Ban The Joy, 1994 North, Michael 2010, Production and Reception of Art Through European Company Channels in Asia, in Michael North ed., Artistic and Cultural Exchanges Between Europe and Asia, 1400–1900, Rethinking Markets, Workshops and Collections, Burlington, VT, Ashgate, 2010 Ustendi, Gert 2003, Squaring the Circle, Commemorating the VOC After 400 Years. Bijdragen tot de Taal, Land en Volkenkunde 159, 135-161 Pennings, JCM, 1992, Origin and Administration of the VOC Archives, in MAP. Mailink Roloche, Al, Eds, De Archiven van de Verenigde de Oostendische Compagnie, 1602-1795, The Archives of the Dutch East India Company, 1602-1795, S. Gravenhager, S. D. U. Utjeveri, 1992, Prakash, Om, 1983, The Dutch East India Company Documents as Source Material on Indian History. Itinerario 7, 2, 38 to 50 Rietbergen, PJAN, 1986, Whitson's World, Nicolas Whitson, 1641 to 1717, Between the Dutch East India Company and the Republic of Letters, in Leonard Blushe, AL, Eds, All of One Company, The VOC in Biographical Perspective, Utrecht, HES, 1986, Sir Jacob, HK, 2003, Father and Son Van Goens in Action, War and Diplomacy in the Relations between the Malabar Rulers and the Dutch East India Company, 1658–1682, in K. S. Matthew ed., Maritime Malabar and the Europeans, 1500–1962, Gagaon, Hope India, 2003, pp. 313–27 Scaliot, Marie Odette, 1998, Tui and Verenig de Oost Industrie Compagnie, in Coos van Brekel, Al, Eds, Indy Omli, Fier eu en Schilderkunst in Nederlands Indy, Amsterdam, Koninkly JK Instituut voor de Tropen, 1998, in Dutch, Schnurman, Claudia, 2003, Wherever Profit Leads Us, To Every Sea and Shore, The VOC, The WIC, and Dutch Methods of Globalization in the 17th Century. Renaissance Studies 17, 3, 474 to 493. Slot B J. 1994. Les Néerlandais et la fragmentation de la terre australe in Découvertes européennes et nouvelle vision du monde. Publications de la Sorbonne, Paris, 1994. Pp. 79 to 116. In French, Sluter, Engel, 1942. Dutch. Maritime Power and the Colonial Status Quo, 1585-1641, Pacific Historical Review 11, 1, 29-41 Taylor, Jean Gelman, 2012, The Global Corporation Comes to Indonesia, The VOC, in Global Indonesia by Jean Gelman Taylor, London, Taylor and Francis, 2012, pp. 34-60 Tracy, James D. 99, Asian Despotism. Mughal government as seen from the Dutch East India Company factory in Surat. Journal of Early Modern History 3, 3 256 280. Tracy, James D. 2015, Dutch and English Trade to the East, the Indian Ocean and the Levant, to about 1700, in Jerry H. Bentley, Sanjay Subramaniam, Mary E. Wiesner Hanks, Eds, Cambridge World History, Volume 6, The Construction of a Global World, 1400 1800 CE. 
Part 2, Patterns of Change, Cambridge University Press, 2015, pp. 240-262 Twidal, Headley, 2013, Writing the Company, From VOC Dagregister to Slays Aland. South African Historical Journal 65 1, 125-52 Van den Heuvel, Danielle 2005, B.I.J. Utlandie van Harman. Echtgenotes van VOC Zeeleden, Ungemonstert voor de Kammer Enkhausen 1700-1750. Tideschrift vor Social en Economische Geschiedenis, Low Countries Journal of Social and Economic History 5 1, 126-156, in Dutch Van der Heiden, Mannen 2002, Achterblijvers, Rotterdamse Vruwen en de VOC, 1602-1750, in, Mannen van der Heiden en Paul van der La eds, Rotterdamers en de VOC, Handels Compagnie, Staden Burgers, 1600-1800, Amsterdam, 2002 in Dutch Van Meersbergen, Guido 2016, Dutch and English Approaches to Cross-Cultural Trade in Mughal India and the Problem of Trust, 1600-1630, in Kashir A.P. Antunez and Emilia Polonia eds. Beyond Empires, Global, Self-Organizing, Cross-Imperial Networks, 1500-1800 European Expansion and Indigenous Response, 21, Brill, ISBN 9789004304962, pp. 1-1, 68 Van Rossum, Matthias 2011, De Intra-Asiatische Vaart, Schepen, De Asiatische Zeman and De Ondergang van de VOC, Intra-Asiatic Trade, Ships, The Asian Sailor and the Demise of the Dutch East India Company. Tideschrift vor Social en Economische Geschiedenis 8 32 32-69 in Dutch, Van Rossum, Matthias, 2012, A Moorish World Within the Company, the VOC, Maritime Logistics and Subaltern Networks of Asian Sailors. Itinerario, International Journal on the History of European Expansion and Global Interaction 36 39-60 Van Rossum, Matthias Amok, Mutinies and Slaves on Dutch East Indemen in the 1780s. International Review of Social History 58-109-130 Van Rossum, Matthias Lost in Translation. Maritime Identity and Identification in Asia under the VCC. Journal for Maritime Research 16 2, 139-52 Van Rossum, Matthias, Goldemond, Merritt 2014, Slavenage, Buden recht onder de VOC, en inleiding op nieuwe verkenningen. Acta Historica 3 4, 5-10. In Dutch, Van Rossum, Matthias, 2014, to sell them in other countries and to make their profit. The Dynamics of Private Slave Trade and Ownership under the Dutch East India Company VOC. Serfdom and Slavery in the European Economy 11th-18th Centuries. Proceedings of the XLV Setemana di Studi, Prato, 2014, pp. 593 to 618. Van Rossum, Matthias, 2015, Vervloekte De VOC, Slavenhandel en Slavenage in Asi. Tideschrift voor Social en Economische Geschiedenis 12, 4, 29 to 58. In Dutch, Van Rossum, Matthias, 2015, claiming their rights. Indian sailors under the Dutch East India Company, VOC, in M. Fasaro, B. Orlair, R. Blakemore, T. Van Est, Eds, Labour, Law and Empire, London, Palgrave, 2015, pp. 263 to 267. Van Rossum, Matthias, Lucassen, Jan, 2016, Smokeloon en Zilverstroman. 
Illegal export van Edelmetall via de VOC. Tide Schrift vor Social en Economist Che Geschiedenis 13, 1, 99-134. In Dutch, Van Rossum, Matthias, 2016, Working for the Devil, Desertion in the Eurasian Empire of the VOC, in, M. Van Rossum and J. M. Camp, Eds, Desertion in the Early Modern World, A Comparative History, London, Bloomsbury, 2016, pp. 127-160 Van Rossum, Matthias, 2017, Sampans, Hout en Slaven. De overzeesinfrastructuur voor sheepsbouw en onderhoud van de Verenig de Oost Industrie Compagnie, VOC, in Zoud en Zoudoost Azie. Tideschrift vor Ziegeschiedenis 36, 2, 3 21, in Dutch, Van Rossum, Matthias, 2018, Dutch East India Company in Asia, 1595 1811, in, C. Anderson, ed., A Global History of Convicts and Penal Colonies, Bloomsbury, 2018, pp. 157 182, Van Veen, Ernst, 2003, How the Dutch ran a 17th-century colony, the occupation and loss of Formosa, 1624–1662, in, Leonard Blushay, ed., Around and About Formosa, Essays in Honor of Professor Sao Jung Ho, Taipei, Sao Jung Ho Foundation for Culture and Education, 2003, pp. 141–60 Verhoeven, FRJ, 1964, The Lost Archives of Dutch Malacca, 1641 to 1824, Journal of the Malaysian Branch of the Royal Asiatic Society, 37, 2, 11 to 28. Viljoen, Russell South, 1995, Disease and Society, VOC Cape Town, Its People, and the Smallpox Epidemics of 1713, 1755, and 1767. Clio 27 to 22 minus 45 Wagenar, Lodewijk, 2014. Troubles in Siam: The Last Years of the Dutch East India Company's Lodge in Ayutthaya, 1760 to 67. Journal of Burma Studies 18, 2, 291 to 344. Weber's, Robert C. M. Ahmed, Yahya, 2014. Interpretation of Simon Stevens' Ideas on the Veronique de Oostendische Compagnie, United East Indies Company, Settlement of Malacca. Planning Perspectives 29, 4, 543 to 555. Weizenbeek Althaus, TF, 1987, Invlode van de VOC op het Dagelijks Leven in Delft, in, HL. Houtziger, AL, Eds, Delft en de Oostendische Compagnie, Amsterdam, 1987, pp. 99-117, in Dutch. Wills Jr., Johnny, 2015, The Seventeenth-Century Transformation, Taiwan under the Dutch and the Cheng Regime. In Taiwan, A New History, edited by Murray A. Rubenstein, 2015, pp. 84-106, Warden, Nigel, 2007, VOC Cape Town as an Indian Ocean Port, in Himanshu Prabha Ray and Edward A. Alpers, Eds, Cross Currents and Community Networks, The History of the Indian Ocean World, Oxford, Oxford University Press, 2007, pp. 142-62. Topic economic, financial and business history Arasaratnam, S. 1967, the Dutch East India Company and its Coromandel Trade, 1700-1740. Bijdragen tot de taal, Land en Volkenkunde deal 123, 3 de AFL, pp. 325-346 Arasaratnam. South, 1967, Dutch commercial policy in Ceylon and its effects on the Indo-Ceylon trade, 1690 to 1750. 
Indian Economic and Social History Review 4, 2, 109 to 130 Arasaratnam, South, 1968. Some notes on the Dutch in Malacca and the Indo-Malayan trade, 1641 to 1670. Journal of Southeast Asian History 10, 3, 480 to 90. DOI 10.1017 SO217781100005032 Arasaratnam S 1973 Monopoly and Free Trade in Dutch Asian Commercial Policy Debate and Controversy within the VOC Journal of Southeast Asian Studies 4 1 1 to 15 Arasaratnam South 1979 Dutch Commercial Policy and Interests in the Malay Peninsula 1750 to 1795 in Blair B Kling and MN Pearson Eds The Age of Partnership Europeans in Asia Before Dominion Honolulu University Press of Hawaii 1979 pp 159 to 190 Arasaratnam South 1985 Elements of Social and Economic Change in Dutch Maritime Ceylon Sri Lanka 1658 to 1796 Indian Economic and Social History Review 22 1, 33-54. DOI, 10.1177, 1946 Aryasashiskal, Superporn 2004, The So-Called Tin Monopoly in Ligor, The Limits of VOC Power Vis-a-Vis -a, -vis a Southern Thai Trading Polity. Itinerario 28, 3, 89 to 106. DOI 10.1017 SO1651153001985972 BAARs G 2015 From the Dutch East India Company to the Corporate Bill of Rights Corporations and International Law in U Matei and J Haskell Eds Research Handbook on Political Economy and Law Edward Elgar 2015 ISBN 9 trillion 781 1781,005,347 pp 260 to 279 Bhattacharya Baswati 1995 The Dutch East India Company and the Trade of the Chuliars in the Bay of Bengal in the late 18th century in KS Matthew Ed Mariners Merchants and Oceans Studies in Maritime History New Delhi Manoha 1995 pp 347 to 361 Blushay Leonard 1979 Chinese Trade to Batavia during the days of the VOC Archipel 18 to 195 minus 213 Blushay, Leonard 1986 The VOC and the junk trade to Batavia a problem in administrative control in Leonard Blushay Strange Company Chinese settlers mestizo women and the Dutch in VOC Batavia Leiden KITLV Press 1986 pp 97 to 155 Blushay Leonard 1996, No Boats to China, The Dutch East India Company and the Changing Pattern of the China Sea Trade, 1635–1690 Modern Asian Studies 30 1, 51–76 DOI 10.1017 S0026749X0014086 Kampferman, Keys, Cook, TE 2004 The Profits of the Dutch East India Company's Japan Trade Abacus 40 1, 49 to 75 Chang Pin TSUN 2009 The Rise of Chinese Mercantile Power in VOC Dutch East Indies Chinese Southern Diaspora Studies Vol. 3 Cheng, Wei Chung 2017, The Dutch deserter Hugo Rosane and his activities in East Asian waters during the Ming Qing transition. 
Crossroads, Studies on the History of Exchange Relations in the East Asian World 16-141-160 Cheng, Wei Chung Emergence of Deer Skin Exports from Taiwan under VOC 1624-1642 Taiwan Historical Research 24, 3, 1 to 48. Cheng, Wei Chung, 2018. Puchik of India and Radix China: Herbal Exchange Around Maritime Asia via the VOC during the 17th and 18th centuries. Journal of Social Sciences and Philosophy Research Center for Humanities and Social Sciences, Academia Sinica 30 1, 75-117 Davids, Carol 2012, White Collar Workers of the VOC in Amsterdam, 1602-1795, in, Marcel van der Linden and Leo Lucassen eds, Working on Labor, Essays in Honor of Jan Lucassen, Leiden, 2012, pp. 191 to 212 degrees. Carol, 2005. Zoud Nederlands Kapital in de VOC en de Voorkampagne in Nord Zoud in Oost Indisch Perspectief. Vlissingen, 2005, pp. 81 to 89. In Dutch, De Klein, Marcel, 2003, De Verenigde Oost Industrie Compagnie en de Import van Spesserien, Gebruiks en Seerplanten. Scientiarum Historia, Tidschrift voor de Geschiedenis van de Wetenschappen en de Genieskunde 29, 147-166, in Dutch, De Jong, Abe, Gelderblom, Oscar, Jonker, Joost, An Admiralty for Asia, Isaac Le Maire and Conflicting Conceptions about the Corporate Governance of the VOC, Working Paper Erasmus Research Institute of Management, 2010 De Jong, Abe, Jonker, Joost, Roal, Eilsher 2013, Dutch Corporate Finance, 1602-1850, ERIM Reports Series Reference No Errors 2013-008 F&A, De Jong, Matty 2008, Shareholder Activists Avant La Lettre, The Complaining Shareholders in the Dutch East India Company, Research Department of the Supreme Court of the Netherlands Netherlands, 2008, De Swart, Pym, 2012, Population, Labor and Living Standards in Early Modern Ceylon, an Empirical Contribution to the Divergence Debate. Indian Economic and Social History Review 49 365-398 De Svart, Pym Real Wages at the Cape of Good Hope, A Long-Term Perspective, 1652-1912 Low Countries Journal of Social and Economic History 1028-58 De Svart, Pym 2016, Globalization in the Early Modern Era, New Evidence from the Dutch Asiatic Trade, c. 1600-1800. The Journal of Economic History 76 02, 520 to 558 Du, Thi Tui Lan Du, Thi Tui Lan 2008, V Su Tun Tai Kua Thung Diem Ha Lan O Fo Heen The Kai 17. Tap Chinin Kulich Su 8 to 64 minus 75, in Vietnamese Du Plessis, Sophia, Du Plessis, Stan 2012, Happy in the Service of the Company, The Purchasing Power of VOC Salaries at the Cape in the 18th Century. Economic History of Developing Regions 27 1, 125-49 Feenstra, A. 2014, Dutch Coins for Asian Growth, VOC Duton to Assess Java's Deep Monetization and Economic Growth, 1724-1800.
Tide Schrift vor Social and Economist Che Geschiedenis 11, 3, 153 to 184. Floor, Willem, 1996. The Dutch and the Persian Silk Trade. In Charles Melville, ed. Safavid Persia, London, I. B. Taurus, 1996. Pp. 323 to 27. Floor, Willem, 2005. Dutch Trade in Afsharid Persia, 17. 1830 to 1753. Studia Aranica 34, 1, 43 to 93. Johan Boschoff, W. 2008. Explaining the ship traffic fluctuations in the early Cape settlement, 1652 to 1793. South African Journal of Economic History 23 1-2, 1-27 Forey, Johan, Boschoff, W. 2010, the Significance of the Cape Trade Route to Economic Activity in the Cape Colony, a Medium-Term Business Cycle Analysis. European Review of Economic History 14-469-503 Forey, Johan, von Fintel, Dieter 2011, A History with Evidence, Income Inequality in the Dutch Cape Colony. Economic History of Developing Regions 26 16-48. DOI, 10.1080, E, Johan, U. Wise, J. Luxury Product Consumption in 18th Century Cape Colony Households. Tide Schrift vor Social en Economist Che Geschiedenis, Low Countries Journal of Social and Economic History 9, 2, 29 60. DOI, 10.18352, TSEG.2644E, Johan, Johann, Siliers, Jean, 2012, New Estimates of Settler Life Span and Other Demographic Trends in South Africa, 1652 1948. Economic History of Developing Regions 27 2, 61-86 DOI, 10.1080, E, Johan, Janssen, A., Seabritz, K. Public Finances and Private Company Rule, The Dutch Cape Colony 1652-1795. New Country 63-51-71 4 e, Johan, Van Zanden, Jan Luton 2013, GDP in the Dutch Cape Colony, the National Accounts of a Slave-Based Society. South African Journal of Economics 81 4, 467-490. DOI, 10.1111, Saya.12010 e, Johan, 2013, The Remarkable Wealth of the Dutch Cape Colony, Measurements from 18th Century Probate Inventories. The Economic History Review 66, 2, 419-48. DOI, 10. 1111, J. 1468-0289.2012.00662, X. Forey, Johan, 2013, Slaves as Capital Investment in the Dutch Cape Colony, 1652-1795, in E. Hillbom and P. Svensson, eds. Agricultural Transformations in a Global History Perspective, London, Routledge, 2013, pp. 100. 36 to 159 Forey, Johan 2014 The Quantitative Cape A Review of the New Historiography of the Dutch Cape Colony South African Historical Journal 66 1 142 to 168 
DOI 10.1080/0258247.2014.891646e. Johann von Fintel, Dieter, 2014. Settler Skills and Colonial Development: The Huguenot Wine Makers in 18th Century Dutch South Africa. The Economic History Review 67, 4, 932 to 963. DOI 10.1111/1468-0281.1. Johan Vaughan, Dieter, 2012. The Dutch East India Company and Accounting for Social Capital at the Dawn of Modern Capitalism, 1602 to 1623. Accounting, Organizations and Society 37 5, p. 342-360. DOI, 10.1016, j.aos.2012.03.002 Gastra, Fem 1981, The Shifting Balance of Trade of the Dutch East India Company, in Blushe, Leonard and Gastra, Fem Eds, Companies and Trade, Essays on Overseas Trading Companies during the Ancien Regime, Leiden, Leiden University Press, 1981 Gastra, Fem, 1983 the Exports of Precious Metal from Europe to Asia by the Dutch East India Company, 1602–1795, in Richards J. F. Ed., Precious Metals in the Late Medieval and Early Modern Worlds, California, Carolina Academic Press, 1983 Gastra, Fem, 1986, The Dutch East India Company and its Intra-Asiatic Trade in Precious Metals, in the Emergence of a World Economy, 1500 to 1914 part 1 papers of the 11 international congress of economic history edited by Wolfram Fischer Marvin McInnes and Jürgen Schneider Stuttgart F Steiner Verlag Wiesbaden GmbH 1986 Gastra Fem 1994 private money for company trade the role of the bills of exchange in financing the return cargoes of the VOC. Itinerario 13, 1, 65 to 76. Gastra, Fem, 1996. The role of British capital in financing the trade of the VOC factory in Bengal. C.1760-1795. In J. Everart and J. Parmentier, Eds. Shipping, Factories and Colonization. Brussels, Koninklijke K. Academie voor Overzees Wetenschappen. 1996, pp. 21 to 28. Gelderblom, Oscar. 2009. The organization of long distance trade in England and the Dutch Republic, 1550 to 1650. In Oscar Gelderblom, ed. The political economy of the Dutch Republic. Surrey, Ashgate. 2009. pp. 223 to 254. Gelderblom, Oscar. De Jong, Abe. Jonker. Yoast, 2011, An Admiralty for Asia, Business Organization and the Evolution of Corporate Governance in the Dutch Republic, 1590-1640, in J.G. Koppel, ed., Origins of Shareholder Advocacy, New York, Palgrave Macmillan, 2011, pp. 29-70 Gelderblom, Oscar, De Jong, Abe, Jonker, Yoast, 2011, Permanent Capital and Risk Management, The Case of the VOC Insurance Contract of 1613, Working Paper, Utrecht University Gelderblom, Oscar, 2012, The Golden Age of the Dutch Republic, in Londe, David S., Mokir, Joel, Baumol, William J. Eds., The Invention of Enterprise, Entrepreneurship from Ancient Mesopotamia to Modern Times, Princeton University Press, 2012, p. 156-82 Gelderblom, Oscar, Schalk, Rubin, Jonka, Joost Schipper and Op de Asiatische Wart. De financiering van de VOC Kammerenkhausen, 1602-1622. 
Bijdragen en Mededelingen betreffende de Geschiedenis der Nederlanden, The Low Countries Historical Review 127, 4, 3 27 Gewertz, Franklin A. 2004, the European Origins and the Spread of Corporate Board of Directors. Stetson Law Review 33 Gewertz, Franklin A. 2004, the Historical and Political Origins of the Corporate Board of Directors. Hofstra Law Review 89 Golay, Benjamin, Cody, Peter 2018, Four Centuries of Return Predictability. Journal of Financial Economics 127 2, 248-263 Green, Eric 2014, The Economics of Slavery in the 18th Century Cape Colony, Revising the Niebuhr Domar Hypothesis. International Review of Social History 59 1, 39-70 Groniewold, Gerald 2007, N. Dienstag in Wunder, Entrepreneurs, Social Capital and Identity in Cape Town, c. 1720-1750. South African Historical Journal 59 1, 126-152 Groniewold, Gerald 2012, A Class Apart, Symbolic Capital, Consumption and Identity Among the Alcohol Entrepreneurs of Cape Town, 1680-1795. South African Journal of Cultural History 26 14-32 Groniewold, Gerald 2012, An Early Modern Entrepreneur, Hendrik Oostwald Eckstein and the Creation of Wealth in Cape Town, 1702-1741. Kronos, Southern African Histories 35 1, 6 31 Groniewold, Gerald 2012, More Comfort, Better Prosperity, and Greater Advantage, Free Burgers, Alcohol Retail and the VOC Authorities at the Cape of Good Hope, 1652-1680. Historia 57 1, 1 to 21 Groniewold, Gerald 2014, Entrepreneurs and the Making of a Free Burger Society, in Nigel Warden ed., Cape Town Between East and West, Social Identities in a Dutch Colonial Town, Johannesburg, Jarsen R. and Hilversum, Verloren, 2012, Athens, O., Ohio University Press, 2014, pp. 45-64 Hall, Kenneth R. 2018, the Coming of the West, European-Cambodian Marketplace Connectivity, 1500–1800, in T. O. Smith, ed., Cambodia and the West, 1500–2000, Palgrave Macmillan, 2018, pp. 7–36 Hansman, Henry, Pajondler, Mariana, 2014, The Evolution of Shareholder Voting Rights, Separation of Owners ownership and consumption. Yale Law Journal 123 Heinrich, Adam R. 2017, Historical Zoarchaeology of Colonialism, Mercantilism, and Indigenous Dispossession, The Dutch East India Company's Meat Industry at the Cape of Good Hope, South Africa, in Umberto Alberella, Mauro Rizzetto, Hannah Russ, Kim Vickers, Sarah Viner Daniels eds, The Oxford Handbook of Zoarchaeology, Oxford, Oxford University Press, 2017, pp. 479 to 495. Haynes, Paul, Han, Giabau, 2001. Deer hunting in Formosa under the Dutch occupation: In missionary approaches and linguistics in mainland China and Taiwan. Louvain Chinese Studies, 1059-100. Leuven, F. Verbiest Foundation and Leuven University Press, 2001 Hoang, An Tuan, Hoang, An Tuan 2006, Mao Dik Te Lua Kua Kong Tai Dong and Ha Lan Voi Dang Ngoi, 1637 1670, The Dutch East India Company, Tonkin Silk Trade, 1637 1670. 
NCLS 310-20, in Vietnamese, Hoang, An Tuan, Hoang, An Tuan, the VOC import of monetary metals into Tonkin and its impact on the 17th century Vietnamese economy. Journal of Historical Studies 2, 2 62 79 Shao, Frank South T. Shao, Mei Chu W. 2002, Taiwan in the Global Economy, Past, Present, and Future, in Taiwan in the Global Economy, From an Agrarian Economy to an Exporter of High Tech Products, edited by Peter C. Y. Chow, Westport, CN, Prager, 2002, pp. 160. 61 to 222 Irwin, Douglas A. 1991. Mercantilism as strategic trade policy: the Anglo-Dutch rivalry for the East India trade. The Journal of Political Economy 99, 6, 1296 to 1314 Irwin, Graham West, 1970. The Dutch and the Tin Trade of Malaya in the 17th Century. In Jerome Chen and N. Tarling, Eds. Studies in the Social History of China and Southeast Asia. London, Oxford University Press, 1970. Pp. 267 to 87. Jonka, Yo. Gelderblom, Oscar 2004, Completing a Financial Revolution, The Finance of the Dutch East India Trade and the Rise of the Amsterdam Capital Market, 1595–1612. Journal of Economic History 64 3, 641–672. DOI, 10. 1017, S00220507040029-2 X Jonka, Joost, Gelderblom, Oscar, De Jong, Abe, 2013, The Formative Years of the Modern Corporation, The Dutch East India Company VOC, 1602-1623. The Journal of Economic History 73, 4, pp. 1050-1076. DOI 10.1017 SOO2205071300879 Jonka, Joost, Gelderblom, Oscar, Dari Mattiachi, Giuseppe, Perotti, Enrico C. 2013. The Emergence of the Corporate Form. Amsterdam Center for Law and Economics Working Paper No 2013-02, 49 pp. DOI, 10.2139, SSRN.2223905 Canapathy Pillai, V. Helen or Costly Bride, The VOC and the Cinnamon Trade of Sri Lanka, 1766-1796. Modern Sri Lanka Studies 2 1, 133 to 146 Kim Dong Yub 2011 The Impact of the Dutch East India Company VOC on the Evolution of Southeast Asian Economy An earlier version of the article was presented at the 2011 Fall Academic Conference of the Korean Association of Southeast Asian Studies on November 21 2011 Ku Hui Wen 20 11, Deer Hunting and Preserving the Commons in Dutch Colonial Taiwan. Journal of Interdisciplinary History 42 2, 185 to 203 Ku, Hui Wen 2015, Weather, Harvests, and Taxes, A Chinese Revolt in Colonial Taiwan. Journal of Interdisciplinary History 46, 1, 39 to 59. Kotelawele, D.A. 1967. Agrarian Policies of the Dutch in Southwest Ceylon, 1743 to 1767. AAG Bijdragen 14 to 3 minus 34 Kotelawele, DA 1995 The VOC in Sri Lanka 1658 to 1796 Social and Economic Change in the Maritime Regions in KM de Silva ed History of Sri Lanka Volume 2 C 1500 to 1800 
Peridenia, University of Peridenia, 1995, pp. 417 to 51. Kral, Diane, Kasapillai, Jayapalan, 2014. The Dutch East India Company's Tax Farming in 18th Century Malacca: A Journal of Tax Research, 12, 1, 253 to 81. Kiriasis, Nicholas C. Metaxas, Theodore, 2011. Path Dependence and Change and the emergence of the first joint stock companies. Business History 53 363–374. DOI, 10.1080, Kiriazis, Nicholas C., Economu, Emmanuel M. L. 2015, the First Globalized Economy, Privateers, Joint Stock Companies, Commerce and the Rise of the United Provinces. International Journal of Social Science Research 3, 2, 86 to 106. Lava, Michael. 2012. Skins in the Game: The Dutch East India Company, Deer Skins, and the Japan Trade. World History Bulletin 28, 2. Lucas, Gavin. 2006. The Archaeology of Dutch Capitalism and the Colonial Trade. In, Gavin Lucas, An Archaeology of Colonial Identity, Power and Material Culture in the Dwarves Valley, South Africa, New York, Springer, 2006 Lucassen, Jan 2004, A Multinational and Its Labor Force, The Dutch East India Company, 1595-1795. International Labour and Working Class History 66, pp. 12-39. DOI, 10.1017, SO1475479040001584, Macaulay, Catherine R. 2015, Capitalism's Renaissance. The Potential of Repositioning the Financial Meta-Economy. Futures 68 to 5-18. DOI 10.1016 J Futures .2014.10.016 Malinowski, Mikolai. 2012. The Costs and Benefits of Microfinance. The Market for Dutch East India Company Transport Briefen in 18th Century Amsterdam. Social and Economic History Annals 1 72, pp. 15-44 Medanic, Deborah Hicks 2018, Chapter 1, How Our Governance System Began, The First Limited Liability Corporation, In the Governance Revolution, What Every Board Member Needs to Know, Now, by Deborah Hicks Medanic, Boston, Walter de Gruyter, 2018 Nadri, Goulam A. 2007, Commercial World of Manchajikasheji and the Dutch East India Company, a study of mutual relationships. Modern Asian Studies 41 315-342 Nadri, Goulam A. 2008, Gujarat in Asian and Euro-Asian Trade, The Dutch East India Company, in Goulam A. Nadri, 18th Century Gujarat, The Dynamics of Its Political Economy, 1750-1800, Brill, 2008, pp. 85-128 Nadri, Goulam A. 2008, The Dutch Intra-Asian Trade in Sugar in the 18th Century. International Journal of Maritime History 20 1, 63-96 Nadri, Goulam A. 2015, Sailors, Zivakopas, and the Dutch East India Company, The Maritime Labour Market in 18th Century Surat. Modern Asian Studies 49 336-364. DOI, 10.1017, S0026749X130004499 Nakamura, Takashi Helen Tong Ji Chia de Taiwan Nei Dai Zhu Shui, Taxes in Dutch Colonial Taiwan. 
In Helen Shi Dai Taiwan Shi Yan Ju, edited by Misha Wu, Weng Jia Yin, al. Research on Taiwanese History under the Dutch Rule, Taipei, Dorshang Publisher, 1997. In Chinese, Neil, Larry, 2005. Venture Shares of the Dutch East India Company in the Origins of Value: The Financial Innovations That Created Modern Capital Markets. Gertzman and Rauenhorst, eds. Oxford. University Press, 2005, pp. 165 to 175. Nguyen, Van Chen, Nguyen, Van Chen, 2005, Thung Diem Ha Lan O Fo Hien, Dutch Trading Post in Fo Hien. Tap Chi Shua Va Ne 249, pp. 21 to 22. In Vietnamese, Nootboom, B. Constans, W. 1995, Het Gouden Cluster van de Verenigde Oostindische Compagnie. Holland Management Review 44 106 110. In Dutch, Penn, Nigel, 1992, Labour, Land and Livestock in the Western Cape during the 18th century, in W.G. James and M. Simons, Eds. Class, Cast and Color: A Social and Economic History of the South African Western Cape. New Brunswick, N.J. Transaction Publishers, 1992, pp. 2-19. Petram, Lodewijk, 2014. Contract Enforcement on the World's First Stock Exchange. In Harold James, A.L. Ed. Financial Innovation, Regulation and Crises in History. Routledge. 2014, Prakash, Om, 1972, The Dutch East India Company in Bengal, Trade Privileges and Problems, 1633-1712. The Indian Economic and Social History Review 9, 3, 258-87. DOI 10.1177/0019464620090302 Prakash Om 1991 Restrictive Trading Regimes VOC and the Asian Spice Trade in the 17th Century in RPTAK and D Rothermond Eds Emporia Commodities and Entrepreneurs in Asian Maritime Trade C 1400 to 175 Stuttgart 1991 pp 107 to 126 Prakash Om 1998 Financing the European Trade with Asia in the Early Modern Period Dutch Initiatives and Innovations Journal of European Economic History 27 1998 331 to 356 Prakash Om 1999 The Portuguese and the Dutch in Asian Maritime Trade A Comparative Analysis in Social Chowdhury and Michel Morino Eds Merchants Companies and Trade Europe and Asia in the Early Modern Era Cambridge Cambridge University Press 1999 pp. 175-189 Prakash, Om 2005, Alternative Trading Strategies, The Dutch and the English East India Companies in Asia, 1600-1650, in Jan Parmentia ed. Nord Zoud in oost Indisch Perspektief, Zutphen, Wahlberg Purse, 2005, p. 167-176 Prakash, Om 2015, The Dutch and the English East India Company's Trade in Indian Textiles in the 17th and the 18th Century, A Comparative View, in Goods from the East, 1600-1800, Palgrave Macmillan, 2015, pp. 183-194 Ross, Robert 1989, The Cape of Good Hope and the World Economy, 1652-1835, in 
Ibn R. Elphick and H. Guillaume, eds. The Shaping of South African Society, 1652–1840, Middletown, Wesleyan University Press, 1989 Schledorn, L.A. 2002, De Kammer Delft van de Voc, N. Ridge K. Bron and Oosters Porcelain N. Delft's Aardewerk, N. Economist Che Whistleverking, in E. Bergvelt, M. Jonker and A. Weekman, eds. Schatten in Delft. Burgers Versemelen, 1600 to 1750, Zwoller, Delft, 2002, in Dutch, Shimada, Ryuto, 2006, The Golden Age of Japanese Copper, The Intra-Asian Copper Trade of the Dutch East India Company, in A J H, Latham and Hater Kawakitsu, Eds, Intra-Asian Trade and the World Market. Abingdon, Routledge, 2006, Chapter 2 Shimada, Ryuto, 2013, The Long-Term Pattern of Maritime Trade in Java from the Late 18th Century to the Mid-19th Century. Southeast Asian Studies Center for Southeast Asian Studies, Kyoto University 2, 3, 475-497. DOI 10.20495 sees.2.3 underscore 475 Shinkai, Tetsuya, Okawa, Takao, Okamura, Makoto, Haramaya, Kozo, 2012. Why did the Dutch East India Co. outperform the British East India Co.? A theoretical explanation based on the objective of the firm and limited liability, discussion paper series number 96, School of Economics, Kwansei Gakuen University, Steensgaard, Niels, 1982, The Dutch East India Company as an Institutional Innovation, in Morris Amard, ed., Dutch Capitalism and World Capitalism, Capitalisme Hollandaise Capitalisme Mondial, Studies in Modern Capitalism, Etudes sur le capitalisme moderne, pp. 235-257 Stringham, Edward P. 2003, the Extralegal Development of Securities Trading in 17th-Century Amsterdam. The Quarterly Review of Economics and Finance 43 321-344. DOI 10.1016 S1062976902-00153 9 Stringham, Edward P. 2015. Markets without enforcement: Reciprocity and Reputation Mechanisms in the World's First Stock Market. In Edward P. Stringham, Private Governance: Creating Order in Economic and Social Life. Oxford, Oxford University Press, 2015 pp. 39-60 Stringham, Edward P., Carrot, Nicholas A. 2015, On the Origins of Stock Markets, in Peter J. Boetka and Christopher J. Coyne eds., The Oxford Handbook of Austrian Economics, Oxford University Press, 2015, ISBN 978-0199811762, pp. 324-344 Sukohasono, Echo G., Gafferkin, Michael J. R. 1993, the Genesis of Accounting in Indonesia, the Dutch Colonialism in the Early 17th Century. The Indonesian Journal of Accounting and Business Society 1 1, 4-26 Tanaka van Dalen, Isabel 2013, The Privileges of Working with the VOC, Supplementary Incomes of the Interpreters in Nagasaki and Canton. Itinerario, European Journal of Overseas History 37 3, 116-138. DOI 10.1017 SO1651153130008678 Sao, Yung Ho Taiwan as an intrepo in East Asia in the 17th century. 
Itinerario 21, 3, 94 to 114 Seng, Hua Pai, 2016, Sugar Cane and the Environment under Dutch Rule in 17th Century Taiwan, in Environmental History in the Making, edited by Christina Jonas de Mello, Estelita Vaz, and Ligia M. Costa Pinto, pp. 189 to 200 Ulrich, Nicole, 2010, Time, Space and the Political Economy of Merchant Colonialism in the Cape of Good Hope and VOC World. South African Historical Journal 62 3, 571–588 DOI 10.1080/02582473.2010.5199903 Unoki Co. 2013. A Seafaring Empire: In Mergers, Acquisitions, and Global Empires: Tolerance, Diversity, and the Success of M&A. By Co. Unoki, New York: Routledge, 2013. Pp. 39 to 64. Van Bokhove, Christian. Van Velzen, Tun, 2014, Loans to Salaried Employees, The Case of the Dutch East India Company, 1602 1794, European Review of Economic History 18, 1, 19 38. DOI, 10.1093, Error, Het 021 Van Dillen, J.G., 1930, Isaac Le Maire en de Handel in Action der Oost Indische Compagnie, in Economisch Historisch Jahrbuch 16, p. 26. In Dutch, Van Dillen, J. Poitras, G. Magethia, A. 2006, Isaac Le Maire and the Early Trading in Dutch East India Company Shares. Chapter 2 in G. Poitras, ed. Pioneers of Financial Economics, Vol. I. Van Dyke, Paul A. 1997, How and Why the Dutch East India Company Became Competitive in Intra-Asian Trade in East Asia in the 1630s. Itinerario 21 41-56. DOI, 10.1017, SO1651153000152291, Van Lent, Vim, Skurev, Stoyan V. Local Elites vs. Dominant Shareholders, Dividend Smoothing at the Dutch East India Company. Academy of Management Proceedings 2013, 1, p. 1127 Van Lent, Vim, Skurev, Stoyan V. 2015, Balancing Permission and Prohibition, Private Trade and Adaptation at the VOC. Social Forces 93 933-955 Van Lent, Vim 2015, The Dutch East India Company, An Early Modern Optical Illusion, in Bradley Bowden and David Lamond Ed's, Management History, Its Global Past and Present, Charlotte, N.C., Information Age Publishing, 2015, pp. 1-21 Van Lent, Vim 2016, Debt and Destruction, Resistance, Institutional Voids and the Dawn of the Multinational Enterprise, Academy of Management Proceedings 2016 1. DOI, 10.5465, AMBPP.2016.300 Van Lent, Vim, 2017, The Multiple Faces of the Span of Control, a Multilevel Analysis of the Dutch East India Company. Academy of Management Proceedings 2017 1. DOI, 10.5465, AMBPP.2017.65 Van Lent, Vim, Skurev, Stoyan V. When Too Many Are Not Enough, Human Resource Slack and Performance at the Dutch East India Company 1700-1795. Human Relations 70 11, 1293-1315 Van Rossum, Matthias 2014, The Rise of the Asian Sailor. 
Inter-Asiatic shipping, the Dutch East India Company and maritime labor markets 1500–1800, in S. Bhattacharya read, Towards a New History of Work, New Delhi, Talika Books, 2014, pp. 180–213 Van Rossum, Matthias, Mbeki, Linda 2017, Private Slave Trade in the Dutch Indian Ocean World, a study into the networks and backgrounds of the slavers and the enslaved in South Asia and South Africa. Slavery and Abolition, a Journal of Slave and Post-Slave Studies 38 1, 95-116. DOI 10.1080/0144039 extension 2016.1159004 Vasu, Rajkamal 2017 The Transition to Locked-in Capital in the First Corporations Venture Capital Financing in Early Modern Europe Kellogg School of Management Northwestern University Vern Jean Philippe 2008 The Social Construction of Competitive Advantage and the Origin of Global Capitalism, The Case of the Dutch East India Company, Academy of Management Annual Meeting Proceedings 2008 1, 1-6. DOI, 10.5465, AMBPP.2008.4274912 Vink, Marcus 2007, Freedom and Slavery, The Dutch Republic, The VOC World, and the Debate over the World's Oldest Trade. South African Historical Journal 59-19-46. DOI 10.1080/0258247070946477-1 Vink, Marcus 2007 Between Profit and Power The Dutch East India Company and Institutional Early Modernities in the Age of Mercantilism in Charles Parker and Jerry Bentley Eds Between the Middle Ages and Modernity Individual and Community in the Early Modern World Lanham Roman and Littlefield Publishing Group, 2007, pp. 285-306 Von Nordenfleicht, Andrew 2011, The Great Expropriation, Interpreting the Innovation of Permanent Capital at the Dutch East India Company, in Origins of Shareholder Advocacy, edited by Jonathan G. S. Koppel, Palgrave Macmillan, 2011, pp. 89-98 Wessel, Filippo Carlo, Ruef, Martin, 2016, Bureaucratic Innovation and the Control of Labour in the Dutch East India Company, 1700-1796. Academy of Management Annual Meeting Proceedings 2016 1, 15558 DOI 10.5465 AMBPP.2016.15558 Abstract Wessel, Filippo Carlo, Ruef, Martin 2017 Agents with Principles: The Control of Labor in the Dutch East India Company 1700 to 1796 American Sociological Review 82 5, 1009 1036 Williams, Gavin 2016, Slaves, Workers, and Wine, The DOP System in the History of the Cape Wine Industry, 1658-1894. Journal of Southern African Studies 42 5, 893-909 Williams, Gavin 2013, Who, Where, and When Were the Cape Gentry? Economic History of Developing Regions 28 2, 83-111 Warden, Nigel 2005, Artisan Conflicts in a Colonial Context, The Cape Town Blacksmith Strike of 1752. Labor History 46 2, 155-184 Yao, Keisuke The VOC and Japanese Rice in the Early 17th Century. Itinerario 19 1, 32-47
Topic Cultural and Social History Adhikari, Muhammad 2010, A Total Extinction Confidently Hoped For, The Destruction of Cape San Society Under Dutch Colonial Rule, 1700–1795. Journal of Genocide Research 12 1–2, 19–44 Alexander, Andrew 2004, Crime in the Chinese Community in VOC Cape Town, in Historical Approaches, Research Papers by History Major Students at the University of Cape Town, 2, 2004, pp. 1–14 Alexander, Andrew 2007, Negotiation, Trade and the Rituals of Encounter, An Examination of the Slave Trading Voyage of Dazon, 1775–1776. Itinerario 31 3, pp. 39–58 Alexander, Andrew 2007, Shipboard Slave Uprisings on the Malagasy Coast, the Meerman 1766 and Dazon 1775. Kronos 33, pp. 84–111 Andaya, Barbara Watson 2015, The Glocalization of Christianity in Early Modern Southeast Asia, in Oikit Jin and Hoang An Tuan eds, Early Modern Southeast Asia, 1350–1800, London, Routledge, 2015, pp. 233–249 Andaya, Barbara Watson 16, Islam and Christianity in Southeast Asia, 1600–1700, in David Thomas and John Chesworth eds, Christian-Muslim Relations, A Bibliographical History Volume 11, South and East Asia, Africa and the Americas 1600–1700, Boston, M. A., Brill, 2016, pp. 15–27 Arasaratnam, South 1960. The Use of Dutch Material for Southeast Asian Historical Writing. Journal of Southeast Asian History 3 1, 195–105. DOI, 10.1017, 57 Basani, Ezio, Tedeschi, Letitia The Image of the Hottentot in the 17th and 18th Centuries, An Iconographic Investigation. Journal of the History of Collections 2, 2 157–186 Bayers, Jacko 2016, Beyond Denial and Exclusion, The History of Relations Between Christians and Muslims in the Cape Colony During the 17th–18th Centuries with Lessons for a Post-Colonial Theology of Religions HTS Theologies Studies, Theological Studies 72 1, A3117. DOI, 10.4102, HTS, V72 I1.3117 Blushet, Leonard 1984, Dutch Protestant Missionaries as Protagonists of the Territorial Expansion of the VOC on Formosa, in Dick Kuiman and Otto van den Musenberg, AL, eds, Conversion, Competition and Conflict, Essays on the Role of Religion in Asia, Amsterdam, Vu Uchaveri, 19 1984, pp. 155-84 Blushet, Leonard 1995, Retribution and Remorse, The Interaction Between the Administration and the Protestant Mission in Early Colonial Formosa, in Gyan Prakash, ed., After Colonialism, Imperial Histories and Postcolonial Displacements, Princeton, Princeton University Press, 1995, pp. 153-84 82 Bock, Martin Jan 2014, European Artists in the Service of the Dutch East India Company, in Michael North and Thomas de Costa Kaufman eds, Mediating Netherlandish Art and Material Culture in Asia, Amsterdam University Press, 2014, pp. 177-204 Boomgaard, Peter 1993, The Development of Colonial Health Care in Java. An Exploratory Introduction
Bijdragen tot de taal, land en volkenkunde 149 77–93 Boomgaard, Peter Dutch Medicine in Asia, 1600–1900, in David Arnold ed., Warm Climates and Western Medicine, The Emergence of Tropical Medicine, 1500–1900, Amsterdam, Atlanta, Radopi, 1996, pp. 42–64 Boomgaard, Peter 2006, The Making and Unmaking of Tropical Science, Dutch Research on Indonesia, 1600–2000. Bijdragen tot de taal, land en volkenkunde 162 191–217 Borkart, Nicola 2014, Growing up in VOC Batavia, Transcultural Childhood in the World of the Dutch East India Company, in Claudia Jarzbowski and Thomas Max Safley eds, Childhood and Emotion, Across Cultures, 1450–1800, London, Routley College, 2014, pp. 42–56 Brink, Yvonne 1990, The Vorhaus as a Central Element in Early Cape Houses. Social Dynamics, A Journal of African Studies 16 1, 38–54. DOI, 10. 1080-02533959008458484 Brink, Yvonne Figuring the Cultural Landscape, Land, Identity and Material Culture at the Cape in the 18th Century. South African Archaeological Bulletin 52 166-105-112 DOI, 10.2307, Brink, Yvonne The Transformation of Indigenous Societies in the Southwestern Cape During the Rule of the Dutch East India Company, 1652–1795, in Murray, Tim ed., The Archaeology of Contact in Settler Societies, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, 2000 2004, pp. 91-108 Broomhall, Susan 2015, Quite indifferent to these things, the role of emotions and conversion in the Dutch East India Company's interactions with the Southlands. Journal of Religious History 39 4, 524-44. DOI, 10.1111-1467-9809.12267 Broomhall, Susan 2016, Dishes, Coins and Pipes, The Epistemological and Emotional Power of VOC Material Culture in Australia. In the Global Lives of Things, The Material Culture of Connections in the Early Modern World, edited by Anne Gerritsen and Giorgio Riello, London, Routledge, 2016, pp. 145-61 Broomhall, Susan 2016, Tears on Silk, Cross-Cultural Emotional Performances Among Japanese-Born Christians in 17th-Century Batavia. Pakistan Journal of Historical Studies 1, 1, 18 to 42. DOI 10.2979 PJHS 1.1.02 Broomhall, Susan 2017. Fire, Smoke and Ashes: Communications of Power and Emotions by Dutch East India Company Crews on the Australian Continent. In Fire Stories, edited by G. Moore, New York, Punctum Books, 2017 Broomhall, Susan 2017, Shipwrecks, Sorrow, Shame and the Great Southland, The Use of Emotions in 17th-Century Dutch East India Company Communicative Ritual. In Emotion, Ritual and Power in Europe, 1200-1920, Family, State and Church, edited by M. Bailey and K. Barclay, Basingstoke, Palgrave Macmillan, 2017, pp. 83-103 Broomhall, Susan 2018, Dirk Hartog's Sea Chest, An Effective Archaeology of VOC Objects in Australia, in Feeling Things, Objects and Emotions Through History, edited 
directed by Stephanie Downs, Sally Holloway and Sarah Randalls, Oxford, Oxford University Press, 2018, pp. 175-91 Cheng, Wei Chung, 2015, Sailing from the China Coast to the Pescadores and Taiwan, a comparative study of Chinese and Dutch sailing patterns. Bulletin de la Colle Française d'Extreme Orient 101-289-324 Cheng, Wei Chung Sailing from the China Coast to the Pescadores and Taiwan, a case study on Sino-Dutch nautical knowledge transfer 1622-1636. Paper presented at the 14th International Conference on the History of Science in East Asia, EHESS, Paris, International Society for the History of East Asian Science, Technology and Medicine, 2015 Cheng, Wei Chung 2015, VOC Mariners Nautical Investigations Along Two Shores of Taiwan Strait 1622-1636. Paper presented at Beyond the Silk Road, Asian Maritime History and Culture, Shanghai Pearl Hotel, China Maritime Museum, the University of Macau, University Salzburg, McGill University, Committee of China Maritime Museums, Committee of Maritime History and Culture Research, 2015 Chong, Allen 2013, Sri Lankan Ivories for the Dutch and Portuguese. JHNA, Journal of Historians of Netherlandish Art 5 2. DOI, 10.5092, JHNA, 2013.5.2.16 Kutsi, Liza Mari 2015, Fashion and the World of the Women of the VOC Official Elite. New Country, a Journal of Historical and Human Sciences for Southern Africa 73-61-87 Collins, James T. 2003, Language Death in Maluku, The Impact of the VOC. Bijdragen tot de taal, Land en Volkenkunde 159 247-289 Krone, gr. 17th-century Dutch charts of the East Indies. The Geographical Journal 102 5 sixths, 260 to 265 Dharmapalan, Biju, 2012, Hortus Malabaricus, celebrating the tricentennial of a botanic epic. SR 49 10, 26 to 28 De Groot, Erland, 2005, the earliest eyewitness depictions of Khoikhoi, Andries Beekman in Africa. Itinerario 29 1, 17 50. DOI 10.1017, SO1651153002168989 Demir, Sierard, Ormling, Fergen, 2010, Het Verhaal Acta de Grote Atlas van de Verenig de Oost Indische Compagnie, an interview met Rob van Diesen, the story behind the comprehensive atlas of the Dutch East India Company. An interview with Rob Van Diesen. Cart Thresher 29, 3, 77 to 87. In Dutch, Dooling, Wayne, 1994, The Good Opinion of Others, Law, Slavery and Community in the Cape Colony, c. 1760-1830, In Breaking the Chains, Slavery and Its Legacy in the 19th Century Cape Colony, edited by Nigel Warden and Clifton Cries, Johannesburg, Witwatersrand University Press, 1994, pp. 25-43 Dooling. Wayne 2005, The Making of a Colonial Elite, Property, Family and Landed Stability in the Cape Colony, C.1750-1834. Journal of Southern African Studies 31 147-162 Dooling, Wayne 2010, Material Culture and Colonial Networks in the Cape Colony and the Indian Ocean. South African Historical Journal 62 3, 561-570 
DOI 10.1080/0258247.2010.5199902 Du Trois, André. No Chosen People: The Myth of the Calvinist Origins of Africana Nationalism and Racial Ideology. The American Historical Review 88, 4, 920 to 952. Estriker, Stefan K. 2014. A Brief History of Wine in South Africa. European Review 22, 3, 504 to 537. DOI 10.1017/s1062798714000301 Everts, Natalie. 2017. Soraya Concepts of Marriage in 17th Century Sinkin: Impressions Gathered from the Letters of Two Dutch Missionaries. In Ya Chen Chen, ed. N. Gendering Taiwan: The Rise of Taiwanese Feminism. Springer, 2018. pp. 13 to 24. Forey. Johan, Silias, Jean, Perino, Patricio, Muller, Sean 2014, The Transmission of Longevity Across Generations, The Case of the Settler Cape Colony. Research in Social Stratification and Mobility 35-105-119-4E, Johan, Green, Eric 2015, The Missing People, Accounting for Indigenous Populations in Cape Colonial History. The Journal of African History 56 2, 195-215 Funk, Holger 2012, R. J. Gordon's discovery of the spotted hyena's extraordinary genitalia in 1777. Journal of the History of Biology 45 2, 301 to 328. Gerritsen, Anne. 2016. Domesticating goods from overseas: Global material culture in the early modern Netherlands. Journal of Design History 29 228-244 Gilbert, Mark Jason 2006, Paper Trails, Dishima Island, A Stepping Stone Between Civilizations. World History Connected 3, 3 Guillaume, Herman, Elphick, Richard 1989, The Origins and Entrenchment of European Dominance at the Cape, 1652c.1840, in R. Elphick and H. Guillaume, eds, The Shaping of South African Society, 1652-1840, Middletown, Wesleyan University Press, 1989, Groniewald, Gerald 2004, to Leibniz, from Dora, a coy prayer in the Republic of Letters. Itinerario, International Journal on the History of European Expansion and Global Interaction 28 1, pp. 29-48 Groniewald, Gerald 2010, Slaves and Free Blacks in VOC Cape Town, 1652-1795. History Compass 8 9, 964-83 DOI 10.1111 J 1478-0542.2010.00724 X Groniewald, Gerald 2011 Dynasty Building Family Networks and Social Capital Alcohol Pactors and the Development of a Colonial Elite at the Cape of Good Hope C 1760 to 1790 New Country 62 Groniewald, Gerald 2012, On Not Spreading the Word, Ministers of Religion and Written Culture at the Cape of Good Hope in the 18th Century, in Adrian Delmas and Nigel Penn eds. Written Culture in a Colonial Context, Africa and the Americas, 1500-1900, Cape Town, UCT Press, 2011, Leiden, Brill, 2012, pp. 302-323 Grove Richard 1996, Indigenous Knowledge and the Significance of Southwest India for Portuguese and Dutch Constructions of Tropical Nature. Modern Asian Studies 30 to 121 143 
DOI 10.1017 S0026749X0014104 Guelka, Leonard, Shell, Robert 1983 An Early Colonial Landed Gentry Land and Wealth in the Cape Colony 1682 to 1731 Journal of Historical Geography 9, 3, 265 286. Guelka, Leonard. 1985, the Making of Two Frontier Communities, Cape Colony in the 18th Century. Historical Reflections, Reflections Historics 12, 3, 419 448. Guelka, Leonard. 1989, the Origin of White Supremacy in South Africa, an Interpretation. Social Dynamics 15, 2, 40 45. Guelka, Leonard, Shell, Robert. 1992, Landscape of Conquest Frontier Water Alienation and Khoikhoi Strategies of Survival, 1652 1780. Journal of Southern African Studies 18, 4, 803 to 824. Hall, Martin, 1991. High and Low in the Townscapes of Dutch South America and South Africa: The Dialectics of Material Culture. Social Dynamics, A Journal of African Studies 17, 2, 41 to 75. DOI 10.1080/02533959108458512 Hall, Martin. 1993. The Archaeology of Colonial Settlement in Southern Africa. Annual Review of Anthropology 22 to 177 minus 200. Hall, Martin. 1994. The Secret Lives of Houses, Women and Gables in the 18th Century Cape. Social Dynamics 20, 1, 1 to 48. Hall, Martin. 1995. The Architecture of Patriarchy: Houses, Women and Slaves in the 18th Century South African Countryside. In D'Agostino et al. Eds. The Written and the Wrought. Complementary Sources in Historical Anthropology. Essays in Honor of James Dietz. Kroeber Anthropological Society Papers Number no. 79. Pp. 6. 61 to 73 Hall, Martin, Markel, Anne, Schreer, Carmel, 1995. The Historical Archaeology of Virgilagen, an Early Farmstead at the Cape of Good Hope. Historical Archaeology 29, 1, 10 to 34 Harmer, Deborah, 2017. Marriage and the Construction of Colonial Order, Jurisdiction, Gender and Class in 17th Century Dutch Batavia, Gender and History 29, 3, 622 to 640 Hanacom, Wouter, 2013. The Simon van der Stel Festival, Constructing Heritage and the Politics of Pad. Pageantry. Historia 58, 2, 19 to 39. Harmon, Graham, 2016, Part 2: The Dutch East India Company in Immaterialism, Objects and Social Theory, by Graham Harmon, John Wiley and Sons, 2016. ISBN 9781509500963. PP 35 to 114. Hollander, Martha, 2011. Vermeer's Robe, Costume, Commerce, and Fantasy in the Early Modern Netherlands. Dutch Crossing, Journal of Low Countries Studies 35 177-195 Huber, Johannes 1990, Chinese Settlers Against the Dutch East India Company, The Rebellion Led by Kuo Huai on Taiwan in 1652, in, E. B. Vermeer ed., Development and Decline of Fukian Province in the 17th and 18th Centuries, Leiden, E. J. Brill, 1990, Huey, Paul R. 2005, An Annotated Bibliography of Selected Sources on the Archaeology of Old World Dutch Material Culture in the 16th, 17th, and 18th Centuries. Northeast Historical Archaeology 34 1, Article 7 Hume, J. P., Martel, D. M., Judney, C. 2004, Dutch Diaries and the Demise of the Dodo. 
Nature 492 to 622 Jacobs, J. Bruce, 2014. Taiwan's colonial experiences and the development of ethnic identities: some hypotheses. Taiwan in Comparative Perspective 547-59 Jayasena, Ranjit M. 2002, Kutuwana, Archaeologische Ondertsuk van NVOC Fort in Sri Lanka, in M. H. Bartels, E. H. P. Kordfunke and H. Safeche, eds, Hollanders UIT N. Thuis. Archaeology, Geschiedenis en Bewisterie Gegerende de VOCTIJD in de Oost, de West en Thuis. Kulturhistorie van de Nederlands Expansie. Hilversum, Verloren, 2002, pp. 141 60. In Dutch, Jayasena, M. Ranjit, 2006, The Historical Archaeology of Kutuwana, a Dutch East India Company fort in Sri Lanka. Post Medieval Archaeology 40, 1, 111 128. Jayasena, Ranjit M., Floor, Peter M., 2010, Dutch Forts of 17th Century Ceylon and Mauritius, An Historical Archaeological Perspective, in E. Klinghofer, ed., First Forts, Essays on the Archaeology of Proto Colonial Fortifications, Boston, Brill, 2010, pp. 235 to 260 Jayasena, Ranjit M., Floor, Peter M., 2010, In Want of Everything. Archaeological Perceptions of a Dutch Outstation on Mauritius, 1638 to 1710. Post Medieval Archaeology 44, 2, 320 to 340. Joby, Christopher Richard, 2017, Dutch in 17th Century Japan: A Social History. Dutch Crossing, Journal of Low Countries Studies. DOI 10.1080/0309656.4.2017.1279449 Jordan, Stacy C. 2000. Coarse Earthenware at the Dutch Colonial Cape of Good Hope, South Africa: A History of Local Production and Typology of Products. International Journal of Historical Archaeology 4, 2, 113 to 143. Joshi, J and S, Kumar, Rajesh, 2002. The Dutch Physicians at Dejima or Dashima and the Rise of Western Medicine in Japan. Proceedings of the Indian History Congress 63 to 1062 minus 1072. Kang, Peter, 2008. Red-haired ancestors: Dutch experiences and memories of Sinkan people. Taiwan Historical Research 15, 3, 1 to 24. Kang, Peter, 2010. Tribal consolidation of Formosan Austronesians under Dutch East India Company. Taiwan Historical Research 17 1, 1 to 25 Kang, Peter 2017, Seeking Roots in Taiwan, Red Hair and the Dutch Princess of Eight Treasures, in J. Bruce Jacobs and Peter Kang Eds, Changing Taiwanese Identities, London and New York, Routledge, 2017 Kang, Peter 2018, The Dutch Commemorative Toponyms in the 17th Century East Asia, based on the cartographic works left by the Dutch East India Company VOC, in Morella Altic, Imre Joseph de Hart and Sutkin Vervoost eds, Dissemination of Cartographic Knowledge, Sixth International Symposium of the ECA Commission on the History of Cartography, 2016. Springer, 2018, pp. 257 to 267. Kang, Peter, 2019, Naming and Renaming on Formosa: The Toponymic Legacies of the VOC Cartographies on the 18th and 19th Century Western Maps. In Martin Storms, Mario Cams, Imre Joseph de Hart, Virgin Omeling, Eds, Mapping Asia: Cartographic Encounters Between East and West. 
Regional Symposium of the ECA Commission on the History of Cartography, 2017, Springer, 2019, pp. 95 to 109. Katzen, M. F. 1971. White Settlers and the Origin of a New Society, 1652 to 1778. In the Oxford History of South Africa, Volume 1, edited by Monica Wilson and Leonard Thompson, Oxford University Press, pp. 187 to 23. Keo, Marsley L. 2011. The Nautilus Cup between Foreign and Domestic in the Dutch Golden Age. Dutch Crossing, Journal of Low Countries Studies 35, 3, 275 285. Keo, Marsley L. 2016, Imaginary Gables The Visual Culture of Dutch Architecture in the Indies. Journal of Early Modern History 20, 5, 462 493. Kirsten, Karul, Cambodia's Muslim King, Khmer and Dutch Sources on the Conversion of King Riamethapade I, 1642 1658. Journal of Southeast Asian Studies 37 1, 1 22 Kim, Myung Yoon, Bei, Su Zheng 2015, A Research on the Exchange of Costume Culture Between Netherlands and Japan Through 17th-18th Century Dutch East India Company. The Korea Society of Costume, Journal of the Korean Society of Costume 65 4, 109-123 Kim, Myung Yoon, Bae, Su Jeng 2015, A Study on Orientalism in the Paintings of Delft School in 17th Century Netherlands. The Korea Society of Costume, Journal of the Korean Society of Costume 65 8, 136-150 Kobayashi Sato, Yoriko, Fora, Mathi The Dutch Presence in Japan, the VOC on Dishima and its impact on Japanese culture, in Michael North and Thomas de Costa Kaufman eds, Mediating Netherlandish Art and Material Culture in Asia, Amsterdam University Press, 2014, pp. 239-244 Kobayashi Sato, Yoriko 2014, Japan's Encounters with the West through the VOC Western Paintings and Their Appropriation in Japan, in Michael North and Thomas de Costa Kaufman eds, Mediating Netherlandish Art and Material Culture in Asia, Amsterdam University Press, 2014, pp. 267 to 290 Kutka, Lisette M, Mbeki, Linda, Morris, Alan G, Kars, Henk, Davies, GR 2016. Dynamics of Indian Ocean Slavery Revealed Through Isotopic Data from the Colonial Era Coven Street Burial Site, Cape Town, South Africa, 1750 to 1827. PLOS 111-6 Kutka, Lisette M., Mbeki, Linda, Kars, Henk, Davies, GR 2017, Sickly Slaves, Soldiers and Sailors. Contextualizing the Cape's 18th-19th century Greenpoint burials through isotope investigation. Journal of Archaeological Science, Reports 11, 480-490 Kowalski, Marius 2015, Poles in the Dutch Cape Colony, 1652-1814. Workwinkel, Journal of Low Countries and South African Studies 10 1, 65-96 Mice, Ben 2014, Francois Caron and his Beschrivinger van Japan, His Perception of the Japanese. Maastricht University, Open Journals Vol. 6. DOI, 10.26481, Marble.2014, V6.221 Malin, Antonia The Material World of Family and Household, The Van Sittits in 18th Century Cape Town, in L. Wadley ed., Our Gendered Past, Archaeological Studies of Gender in Southern Africa, Johannesburg, Wits University Press, 1997, pp. 
273 to 301 Malin, Antonia, 1998, Beneath the Surface, Behind the Doors: Historical Archaeology of Households in Mid 18th Century Cape Town. Social Dynamics 24, 1, 88 to 118 Manilal, KS, 1984, Hortus Malabaricus and the Ethnoiatrical Knowledge of Ancient Malabar. Ancient Science of Life 4, 2, 96 to 99 Manilal, KS, 2005, Hortus Malabaricus, A Book on the Plants of Malabar and Its Impact on the Religious of Christianity and Hinduism in the 17th Century Kerala. Indian Journal of Botanical Research 1, 1, 13 to 28 McGilvery, Dennis B. 1982, Dutch Burgers and Portuguese Mechanics, Eurasian Ethnicity in Sri Lanka. Comparative Studies in Society and History 24, 2, 253 to 263 Oberholzer, Liza Mari, 2017, Free Burger Women in the 18th Century and the Quest for Status. Historia 62, 1, 1 to 18. DOI, 10, 17,159 2309 8392-2017, V62N1A1 Paisy, Rude, 2010, Op Perkament Getty Produktien Omvang van het hydrographisch bedrage F van de VOC, drawn on parchment, production and extent of the hydrographic business of the VOC. Kart Threshore 29, 1, pp. 1 to 8. In Dutch, Paranavitana, K. D. Urigoda, C. G. 1985, the 17th century Dutch hospital in Colombo. Medical History 29, 2, 182 to 192. DOI, 10.1017, SO025727300043994 Parker, Charles H. 2014, Missionaries as Exiles, Calvinist Strategies for Restoration in Communities under the Dutch East India Company, in Timothy G. Feller, Greta Grace Croker, Charles H. Parker, and Jonathan Ray Eds, Religious Diaspora in Early Modern Europe, Strategies of Exile, London, Pickering and Chateau Publishers, 2014, Penn, Nigel, 2002, The Wife, The Farmer and the Farmer's Slaves, Adultery and Murder on a Frontier Farm in the Early 18th Century Cape. Kronos, Journal of Cape History 28 to 1 minus 20 Pen, Nigel, 2014, Casper, Krebus and the KNEGT, Rape, Homicide and Violence in the 18th Century Rural Western Cape. South African Historical Journal 66, 4, 611 to 634. Pooley, Simon, 2009. Jan van Riebeek as pioneering explorer and conservator of natural resources at the Cape of Good Hope, 1652 to 62. Environment and History 15, 1, 3 to 33. DOI, 10.3197, extension 404644 Pitloeni, Anna, Van Hal, Toon, 2016, Merchants, Scholars and Languages, The Circulation of Linguistic Knowledge in the Context of the Dutch East India Company VOC. Histoire Epistemologie Langage 38 1, 19-38. DOI, 10.1051, HEL, 2016,380,102 Randall, Tracy, 2008, Consuming Identities, Patterns of Consumption at Three Eighteenth-Century Cape Auctions, in Lawrence Fontaine, ed., Alternate Exchanges, Second-Hand Circulations from the Sixteenth Century to the Present, Oxford, Berghahn Books, 2008, pp. 
220 to 241 Rabin, Remco, 1995, Facing the Crowd: The Urban Ethnic Policy of the Dutch East India Company, 1600 to 1800, in Mariners, Merchants and Oceans: Studies in Maritime History, edited by K. S. Matthew, New Delhi, Manoha, 1995, pp. 209 to 245. Ready, Subba D. V. 1975, Willem Ten Rijn and his treatise on Asiatic leprosy. A medical classic by a Dutch physician in Java in the last quarter of 17th century. Bulletin of the Indian Institute of History of Medicine 5 3, 150-61 Romney, Susana Shaw 2015, Savage Comparisons, Dutch Cultural Distinctions in 17th Century Southern Africa and North America. Genre 48 2, 315-340 Ross, Robert 1975, The White. Population of South Africa in the 18th century. Population Studies 29 217-230 Ross, Robert 1980, The Rule of Law at the Cape of Good Hope in the 18th century. The Journal of Imperial and Commonwealth History 9 1, 5 to 16 Ross, Robert, Elborn, Elizabeth 1997, Combating Spiritual and Social Bondage, Early Missions in the Cape Colony, in Richard Elphick and Rodney Davenport eds, Christianity in South Africa, A Political, Social, and Cultural History Berkeley, University of California Press, 1997, pp. 31 to 50 Ross, Robert, 2010, Coasan and Immigrants: The Emergence of Colonial Society in the Cape, 1500 to 1800. In R. Ross, C. Hamilton and B. M. Benga, eds. Cambridge History of South Africa, Vol. I. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, 2010, pp. 168 to 210. Rubenstein, Murray, 1991. Taiwan's Development and Evolution of the Protestant Community, 1600 to 1987. In the Protestant Community on Modern Taiwan, Mission, Seminary, and Church, by Murray Rubenstein, New York, M. E. Sharp, 1991. pp. 13 to 58 Sargent, Matthew 2015 Scientists as free riders natural resource exploration and new product discovery in the Dutch East India Company in Emily Erickson ed chartering capitalism organizing markets states and publics political power and social theory volume 29 Emerald Group Publishing Limited 2015 pp 219 to 238 Scaliot, Marie Odette 1997, Une curiosité oubliée, le Livre de de San Fet stands un voyage au Indes par un voyageur hollandais du Marquis de Palmy. Archipel 54-35-62 Shreer, Carmel The Historical Archaeology of the Impact of Colonialism in 17th Century South Africa. Antiquity 62, 235, 214 to 225. Shreer, Carmel, Deacon, Jeanette, 1989. The Indigenous Artifacts from Udapost I, a Colonial Outpost of the VOC at Saldana Bay, Cape. The South African Archaeological Bulletin 44, 150, 105 to 113. Shreer, Carmel, Dietz, James, Lubinsky, David, Pogenpode, Cedric, 1990. The Chronology of Udapost I, Cape, as inferred from an analysis of clay pipes. Journal of Archaeological Science 17, 3, 269 to 300. DOI, 10.1016-0305-4403-90-900024 Y. Shreer, Carmel, Carklands, Carlees, 1991, The Beads from Udispost I, a Dutch East India Company outpost, Cape, South Africa. 
Beads, Journal of the Society of Bead Researchers 3 62 Shreer, Carmel, Kruzu Reba, Catherine, 1991, Analysis of Faunal Remains from Udapost I, an early outpost of the Dutch East India Company, Cape Province. The South African Archaeological Bulletin 46, 154, 92-106 Shreer, Carmel, Cruz Uriba, Catherine, Closer, Jane 1993, The Site History of the Historical Site at Udapost I, Cape. South African Archaeological Society Goodwin Series 721-32 Shreer, Carmel, Jordan, Stacey 2002, Material Culture and the Roots of Colonial Society at the South African Cape of Good Hope, in C.L. Lyons and J. K. Papadopoulos eds, The Archaeology of Colonialism, Issues and Debates, Los Angeles, The Getty Research Institute, 2002, pp. 241–272 Shutt, Garrett J. Between Amsterdam and Batavia, Cape Society and the Calvinist Church under the Dutch East India Company. Kronos 25 17-49 Scott, G., Hewitt, M. L. 2008, Pioneers in Ethnopharmacology, The Dutch East India Company VOC at the Cape from 1650 to 1800. Journal of Ethnopharmacology 115 3, 339-60 Seneveratni, Nadira 2010, Globalizing Hanskin, An Elephant in the Netherlands, in Lelananda Prematilica ed. Abanandanamala, Nandana Shutawong's Felicitation Volume, Bangkok, SPAFA Regional Center of Archaeology and Fine Arts, 2010, pp. 259-200 173 Scott, Christina 2010, The VOC and Swedish Natural History, The Transmission of Scientific Knowledge in the 18th Century, in Siegfried Hugen, Jan L. de Jong and Elmer Colfin eds, The Dutch Trading Companies as Knowledge Networks, Brill, 2010, pp. 361-392 Slatkers, Leonard J. 1980, Rembrandt's Elephant. Simulus, Netherlands Quarterly for the History of Art 11 1, 7-13 Ulrich Nicole 2014, Popular Community in 18th Century Southern Africa, Family, Fellowship, Alternative Networks, and Mutual Aid at the Cape of Good Hope, 1652-1795. Journal of Southern African Studies 40 6, 1139-1157 Van der Brugge, Ph. Malaria in Batavia in the 18th century. Tropical Medicine and International Health 2 9, 892-902 Van du Ivenvoord, Wendy The Use of Copper and Lead Sheathing in VOC Shipbuilding. International Journal of Nautical Archaeology 44 349-361 Van Gelder, Roloff 2004, Engelbert Kempfer as a scientist in the service of the Dutch East India Company, in Detlef Haberland ed. Engelbert Kempfer, Ein Gelertenleben zwischen Tradition und Innovation, Wiesbaden, Harassowitz, 2004, pp. 211-20 25 Van Gent, Rob H., Zaudervaart, Huib J. 2004, a bare outpost of learned European culture on the edge of the jungles of Java, Johann Moritz Moore and the emergence of instrumental and institutional science in Dutch colonial Indonesia. Isis 95 1, 1-33 Van Gent, Rob H. 2005, Observations of the 1761 and 1769 Transits of Venus from Batavia, Dutch East Indies. 
Transits of Venus, New Views of the Solar System and Galaxy, Proceedings of IAU Colloquium No. 196, pp. 67–73 Van Santen, Hans Shah Jahan wore glasses, some remarks on the impact of the Dutch East India Company on Northern India and suggestions for further research, in Gommens, J. and Prakash, O. Eds, Circumambulations in South South Asian History, Essays in Honor of Dirk H. A. Kolf, Boston, Brill, 2003, pp. 47–67 Verhoeven, F. R. J. Some Notes on the History of the Tamil Community in Dutch Malacca, 1641–1855. Proceedings of the First International Conference Seminar of Tamil Studies, Vol. I. V. L. A., Cynthia, 2014, to capture their favor, on gift giving by the VOC, in Michael North and Thomas de Costa Kaufman, eds., Mediating Netherlandish Art and Material Culture in Asia, Amsterdam University Press, 2014, pp. 291 to 320 words, Bruno E. J. S. 2002, Survey and Excavation of the Main Well in Cape Town Castle, South Africa, Fieldwork and Structural Aspects. The International Journal of National Archaeology 31 1, pp. 89–98. DOI, 10.1006, IJNA.2002.1002 Winters, Rhea, Hume, Julian P. 2016, Captive Birds on Dutch Mauritius, Bad-Tempered Parrots, Warty Pigeons and Notes on Other Native Animals. Historical Biology, an International Journal of Paleobiology 28 6, 812–822 Winters, Rhea, Hume, Julian P., Leenstra, M. 2017, a Famine in Surat in 1631 and Dodos on Mauritius, a long-lost manuscript rediscovered. Archives of Natural History 44 1, 134–150 Warden, Nigel 1999, Space and Identity in VOC Cape Town Kronos 25-72-87 Warden, Nigel 2000, VOC Cape Town, a Dutch Asian city in Africa, in S. Evers and V. Huxuming eds. Globalization and its impact in the Southwest Indian Ocean, Mauritius, International Institute for Asian Studies, 2000, Warden, Nigel 2002, Ethnic Diversity at the VOC Cape, in T. Elians ed. Domestic Interiors at the Cape and in Batavia, 1602–1795, Zwoller, Wanders Uchever, 2002, pp. 129–37 Warden, Nigel 2007, New Approaches to VOC History in South Africa South African Historical Journal 59 1, pp. 3–18 Warden, Nigel 2009, Demanding Satisfaction, Violence, Masculinity and Honor in Late 18th Century Cape Town. Kronos 35–32–47 Warden, Nigel 2010, After Race and Class, Recent Trends in the Historiography of Early Colonial Cape Society. South African Historical Journal 62 2010, Warden, Nigel 2014, Cape Slaves in the Paper Empire of the VOC. Kronos 40 1, 23–44 Warden, Nigel 2014, Unbridled Passions, Honor, and Status in Late 18th Century Cape Town, in Carolyn Strange, Robert Cribb and Christopher Forth eds. Honor, Violence and Emotion, Historical Perspectives, London, Bloomsbury Publishers, 2014, pp. 89–106 Warden, Nigel 2016, Indian Ocean Slaves in Cape Town, 1695–1807. 
Journal of Southern African Studies 42 to 389 minus 408 Zandleet Keys 1998 The contribution of cartography to the creation of a Dutch colony and a Chinese state in Taiwan Cartographica, the International Journal for Geographic Information and Geovisualization 35 3 to 4 123 to 135 DOI, 10.3138, C804-42 RT4047 W567 Zubkova, Luba 2004, Dravidian Studies in the Netherlands, Part 1 1605-1690s, Pioneers of Orientalism at the VOC. International Institute for Asian Studies Newsletter 35-14. Topic military and political history Andrade, Tonio 2004, The Company's Chinese Pirates, How the Dutch East India Company Tried to Lead a Coalition of Pirates to War Against China, 1621–1662. Journal of World History 15 4, 415–444. DOI, 10.1353, JWH.2005.0124 Andrade, Tonio 2006, The Rise and Fall of Dutch Taiwan, 1624–1662, Cooperative Colonization and the Status Model of European Expansion. Journal of World History 17 4, 429–450. DOI, 10.1353, JWH.2006.0052 Andrade, Tonio An Accidental Embassy, How Two Minor Dutch Administrators Inaugurated an Alliance with the Qing Dynasty of China, 1661–1662. Itinerario 35 77–96. DOI, 10.1017, SO1651153110006 4 Arasaratnam, S. Baron van Imhoff and Dutch Policy in Ceylon, 1736–1740 in, Biesdragen tot de Taal, Land en Volkenkunde 118, 454-468 4, Arasaratnam, South, 1971, The Indigenous Ruling Class in Dutch Maritime Salon. The Indian Economic and Social History Review 8 57-71 Arasaratnam, South 1995, The Consolidation of Dutch Power in the Maritime Regions, 1658-1687, in K. M. de Silva ed., A History of Sri Lanka, Volume 2, Sri Lanka, University of Peridenia, 1995 Arasaratnam, S. 1996, Dutch Sovereignty in Ceylon, a historical survey of its problems, in Ceylon and the Dutch, 1600–1800, edited by Sanapa Arasaratnam, Aldershot, Variorum, 1996, pp. 105–121 Ashfaku, Nadra 2006, The Dutch East India Company and the Mughal Court. Proceedings of the Indian History Congress 67 to 271 minus 274 Ashfaku, Nadra 2007 The Relations of the Dutch and the Mughal Administration under Aurangzeb Proceedings of the Indian History Congress 68 to 363 minus 369 Ashfaku, Nadra 2008 The Dutch in Coromandel and Mughal authorities after the annexation of Golconda Proceedings of the Indian History Congress 69 to 334 minus 340 Benton, Lauren, Jacob, Devon, 2011. Imperial Circuits of Law, Dutch East India Company Sovereignty. Transnational Legal Theory 2, 1, 119 to 125. 
DOI 10.5235 TLT V2N 1.119 Birkenholz Frank 2017 Merchant Kings and Lords of the World Diplomatic Gift Exchange between the Dutch East India Company and the Safavid and Mughal Empires in the 17th century in T. A. Sowerby, and J. Hennings eds, Practices of Diplomacy in the Early Modern World, C.1410-1800, London, Routledge, pp. 219-236 Blushay, Leonard 2003, Bull in a China Shop, Peter Knights in China and Japan 1627-1636, in Leonard Blushay ed, Around and About about Formosa, essays in honor of Professor Sao Yung Ho, Taipei, Sao Yung Ho Foundation for Culture and Education, 2003, pp. 95-111 Blushay, Leonard 2013, Peeking into the Empires, Dutch Embassies to the Courts of China and Japan. Itinerario 37 3, 13-29. DOI 10.1017 SO1651153100077 Blushay, Leonard 2015 Northern European Empire in Asia The VOC in Hamish Scott ed Early Modern European History 1350 to 1750 Oxford Oxford University Press 2015 Borschberg Peter 1999 Hugo Grosch East India Trade and the King of Johor. Journal of Southeast Asian Studies 30 2, 225-248. DOI, 10.1017, SO0224634000130 X Borschberg, Peter 2002, The Seizure of the Star. Caterina Revisited, The Portuguese Empire in Asia, VOC Politics and the Origins of the Dutch Johor Alliance 1602C.1616. Journal of Southeast Asian Studies 33 1, 31-62. DOI 10.1017 SO0224634020024 Borschberg, Peter 2002 The Seizure of the Santo Antonio at Patani VOC Freebooting The Estado da Ingia Peninsula Politics 1602 to 1609 Journal of the Siam Society 90 to 59-72 Borschberg, Peter 2003, Portuguese, Spanish and Dutch plans to construct a fort in the Straits of Singapore, ca. 1584–1625. Archipel 65–55–88 Borschberg, Peter 2004, Luso-Johor Dutch relations in the Straits of Malacca and Singapore, c. 1600–1623. Itinerario 28 2, 15-44. DOI, 10.1017, SO1651153000194-71 Borschberg, Peter 2010, Ethnicity, Language and Culture in Malacca during the transition from Portuguese to Dutch rule. Journal of the Malaysian Branch of the Royal Asiatic Society 83 to 93-117 Borschberg, Peter 2010, VOC Blockade of the Singapore and Malacca Straits, Diplomacy, Trade and Survival, 1633-1641, in O Estado da Ingia e os Desafios Europeus, Actas do 12 Seminario Internacional de Historia Indo-Portuguesa, Lisbon, CAM, CEPCEP, -E 2010, pp. 163-86 Borschberg, Peter 2013, From Self-Defense to an Instrument of War, Dutch Privateering Around the Malay Peninsula in the Early 17th Century. Journal of Early Modern History 17 1, 35-52. 
DOI 10.1163-1570658-1234235-6 Brandon, Pepine Between Company and State, The Dutch East and West India Companies as Brokers Between War and Profit, in Grieja BAARs and Andre Spicer Eds, The Corporation, A Critical, Multidisciplinary Handbook, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, 2017, p. 215 to 225. Chiklin, Martha, 2012. The Merchant's Ark: Live Animal Gifts in Early Modern Dutch-Japanese Relations. World History Connected, 9, 1. Cheng, Wei Chung, 2016. Admiral Xi Lang's Secret Proposal of Returning Taiwan to the VOC. Antonio Andrade and Zing Hang, Eds. Sea Rovers, Silver and Samurai: Maritime East Asia in Global History, 1550 to 1700. Hawaii, University of Hawaii, 2016. pp. 290 to 311. Adam, 2017, Gifts for the Shogun, The Dutch East India Company, Global Networks and Tokugawa Japan, in Global Gifts, The Material Culture of Diplomacy in Early Modern Eurasia, edited by Giorgio Riello, Anne Gerritsen and Zoltorn Biedemann, Cambridge University Press, 2017, pp. 198-217 Emma, Peter C. 2003, the First Global War, The Dutch vs. Iberia in Asia, Africa and the New World, 1590-1609, E-Journal of Portuguese History 1 1-14 1, 1 Endo, Masayuki 2010, The Conversion to Islam of Cambodian King Ramadipati I and the Development of Malay Trade Networks from the Perspective of the Dutch East Indian Company. Southeast Asia, History and Culture Japan Society for Southeast Asian Studies 39-28-51. DOI, 10.5512, 2019 underscore 28 Floor, Willem 2009, Dutch Relations with the Persian Gulf, in Lawrence G. Potter, ed., The Persian Gulf in History, New York, Macmillan, 2009, pp. 235-259 Hyde Hughes, Mary Summers, 2009, 1740 and the Chinese Massacre in Batavia, some German eyewitness accounts. Archipel 77 to 117-147 Huber, Johannes 2003, Relations between Cheng Chung Kung and the Netherlands East India Company in the 1650s, in Leonard Blushe, ed., Around and About Formosa, Essays in Honor of Professor Sao Yung Ho, Taipei, Sao Yung Ho Foundation for Culture and Education, 2003, pp. 209 to 41 Johnson, Lisa 2014, Renegotiating Dissonant Heritage, The Statue of J.P. Cohen. International Journal of Heritage Studies 20 6, 583-598. DOI 10.1080.13527258.2013.8185711 Noist, Jure J A. 2011. Company Privateers in Asian Waters: The VOC Trading Post at Harado and the Logistics of Privateering. C A. 1614-1624. Leidschrift 26, 3, 43 to 57. Noist, Jure J A. 2015. En op het Westen. De Japanse percepti van voc dianaren in Nagasaki. Tideschrift voor Zegeschiedenis 34, 1, 3 to 19. In Dutch, Cops, Henriette Rahusen de Brain, 2002. Not such an unpromising beginning. The first Dutch trade embassy to China, 1655 to 1657. 
Modern Asian Studies 36 3, 535–578 Lahoven, Ruerd J., Wittemans, Elizabeth Pino 1985, From Blockade to Trade, Early Dutch Relations with Manila, 1600–1750. Philippine Studies 33 4, 485–504 Lava, Michael 2013, Most Exquisite Curiosities of Nature and Art, The Dutch East India Company, Objet d'art and Gift Giving in Early Modern Japan. World History Connected 10 2, Loth, Vincent C. 1995, Armed Incidents and Unpaid Bills, Anglo-Dutch Rivalry in the Banda Islands in the 17th Century. Modern Asian Studies 29 4, 705–740 Marks, Schuller 1972. Khoisan Resistance to the Dutch in the 17th and 18th Centuries. The Journal of African History 13 1, 55 to 80 DOI 10.1017 S0021853700026 Masselman George 1961 Dutch Colonial Policy in the 17th Century Journal of Economic History 21 4 455 to 468 DOI 10.1017 S0022050700108988 Mertira, Andre. 2014. Dutch attacks against the Goa Macau Japan route, 1603–1618. In CX. George Way, ed. Macau: The Formation of a Global City. Routledge, 2014, pp. 95 to 106. Nymon, Jan, 1994. The VOC and the Expansion of the World System, 1602 to 1799. Political Geography, 13, 3, 211 to 227. DOI 10.1016-0962-6298-94-90027-2 Penn, Nigel 2007, Great Escapes, Deserting Soldiers During Newt's Cape Governorship, 1727–1799. South African Historical Journal 59 to 171 minus 203 Penn, Nigel 2016 The Honorable Company VOC Rule at the Cape in Penny Russell and Nigel Warden Eds Honorable Intentions Violence and Virtue in Australian and Cape Colonies C 1750 to 1850 London, Routledge, 2016, Pombidra, Diravat Na, 2003, The Dutch Siamese Conflict of 1663 1664, A Reassessment, in Leonard Blushay, ed., Around and About Formosa, Essays in Honor of Professor Sao Yung Ho, Taipei, Sao Yung Ho Foundation for Culture and Education, 2003, pp. 291 306. Rursing, MPH 1967, Dutch Relations with the Philippines, c. 1600–1850, A Survey of Sources in the General State Archives, The Hague, Netherlands. Asian Studies 5 2, 377–407 Salmon, Claudine 2009, The Massacre of 1740 is reflected in a contemporary Chinese narrative. Archipel 77 to 149 minus 154 Schricker, Alicia 2002 En Angelijke Stride De oorlog tussen de Verenigde de Oost Indische Compagnie en de Koning van Candy 1760 to 1766 An Unequal Battle the war between the Dutch East India Company and the King of Kandy, 1760 to 1766. 
In KNAAPG, Titler G. Eds, De Verenigde Oost Indische Compagnie Tussen Orlog en Diplomatie, Leiden, KITLV, 2002, pp. 379 406, in Dutch, Schricker, Alicia, 2010, Dutch Political Attitudes in Asia, Diplomacy in 18th Century Salon as Example. In, Nishimura M., Sato M., Kimura M., Okamoto H., Eds., Cultural Reproduction on its Interface, From the Perspectives of Text, Diplomacy, Otherness and Tea in East Asia, Kansai, Institute for Cultural Interaction Studies, Kansai University, 2010, pp. 43-59 Shrika, Alicia, 2012, Caught Between Empires, VOC Families in Sri Lanka after the British British takeover, 1806–1808. Annal de démographie historique 122 127–47 Shrika, Alicia, Ross, Robert 2012, The VOC Official Elite. In, Warden N. Ed., Cape Town Between East and West, Johannesburg, Jarsenar, 2012, pp. 26-45 Tran, Nam Tien, Tran, Nam Tien, 2011, Quan He Vietnam, Chao, Lian Min Quan Su Giwa Chua Trin Voi Ha Lan Trong Cook Noi Chen Trin, Nguyen The Kai 17. Tap Chi Khoa Hok Za Hoi, So 8 156, 45-54, in Vietnamese Zoref Askenazi, Chen 2013, German Auxiliary Troops in the British and Dutch East India Companies, in Near Ariely and Bruce Collins Eds, Transnational Soldiers, Foreign Military Enlistment in the Modern Era, Basingstoke, 2013, pp. 32-49 Van den Muesenberg, Otto, 2001, Philippine Dutch Social Relations, 1600 to 2000. Bijdragen tot de taal, Land en Volkenkunde, The Philippines Historical and Social Studies 157, 3, 471 to 509. Van Ittesem, Martin Julia, 2003, Hugo Grotius in Context, Van Heemskerk's Capture of the Santa Catarina and its Justification in De Jure Prade, 1604 to 1606. Asian Journal of Social Science 31 3, 511 to 548 DOI 10.1163/156 quadrillion 853 trillion 103 billion 322 million 895 thousand 360 Van Ittesem, Martin Julia, 2010, The Long Goodbye: Hugo Grotius's Justification of Dutch Expansion Overseas, 1615 to 1645. History of European Ideas 36, 4, 386 to 411. DOI 10.1016 J Historioideas.2010.05.003 Van Ittesem, Martin Julia, 2016, Debating Natural Law in the Banda Islands: A Case Study in Anglo-Dutch Imperial Competition in the East Indies, 1609 to 1621. History of European Ideas 42 4, 459 to 501 Vink, Marcus 1997 Images and Ideologies of Dutch South Asian Contact Cross-cultural encounters between the Nyaka state of Madurai and the Dutch East India Company in the 17th century Itinerario 21 2, 82 to 123 Vink, Marcus 2000 Church and State in 17th century colonial Asia Dutch Parava relations in Southeast India in a comparative perspective Journal of Early Modern History 4 1 1 to 42 
DOI 10.1163/1570065000X0123 Vink, Marcus 2001. The Temporal and Spiritual Conquest of the Fishery Coast: The Portuguese-Dutch Struggle Over the Parava Community of Southeast India, c. 1640 to 1700. Portuguese Studies Review 9, 1 half, 372-397 Vink, Marcus 2004, From Port City to World System, Spatial Constructs of Dutch Indian Ocean Studies, 1500-1800. Itinerario 28 45-116. DOI 10.1017 SO1651153000194832 Weststein, Arthur. 2014. The VOC is a company state debating 17th century Dutch colonial expansion. Itinerario 38, 1, 13 to 34. DOI 10.1017 SO1651153140035 Zandleet, Keys 1988 Golden Opportunities in Geopolitics Cartography and the Dutch East India Company during the lifetime of Abel Tasman in William Eisler and Bernard Smith Eds Terra Australis The Furthest Shore Sydney International Cultural Corporation of Australis 19 1988, pp. 67-84. Maritime history Bax, A. Martin, C. De Liefde, a Dutch East Indiaman lost on the outskerries, Shetland, in 1711. International Journal of Nautical Archaeology 3 1, 81-90 Boss, J. Nordam, B. 2014, Peaking at the Enemy, 18th Century Spy Plan Reveals VOC Military Intelligence. IIAS, The Newsletter 67 2014, 4-5 Broomhall, Susan 2014, Emotional Encounters, Indigenous Peoples in the Dutch East India Company's Interactions with the Southlands. Australian Historical Studies 45 3, pp. 350-367 Cowan, Rex, Cowan, Zalide, Marsden, Peter 1975, The Dutch East Indium on Hollandia wrecked on the Isles of Scilly in 1743. International Journal of Nautical Archaeology and Underwater Exploration 4 2, 267-300 De Svart, Pim, Solar, Peter M. 2017, Why Were Dutch East Indemen So Slow? International Journal of Maritime History 29 738-751 Donaldson, Bruce 2006, The Dutch Contribution to the European Discovery of Australia. In Nonya Peters ed., The Dutch Down Under, 1606-2006, Crawley, University of Western Australia Press, 2006, Gastra, Fem. The Dutch East India Company, A Reluctant Discoverer. Great Circle, Journal of the Australian Association for Maritime History 19 109-123 Goronsky, Jersey 1990, East Indium on Amsterdam Research 1984-1986 Antiquity 64 243, 363 to 375. DOI 10.1017 S003598X0078029 Gentelli, Liesel 2016. Provenance determination of silver artifacts from the 1629 VOC wreck Batavia using LAICPMS. Journal of Archaeological Science Reports 9 to 536 542 
DOI 10.1016 J Jazrep 0.2016.08.044 Garretson, Rupert 2006 The evidence for cohabitation between indigenous Australians, maroon Dutch mariners and VOC passengers in Nonya Peters ed The Dutch Down Under 1606 to 2006 University of Wa Press Sydney 2006 pp. 38-55 Garretson, Rupert 2008, The Landing Site Debate, Where Were Australia's First European Residents Marooned in 1629, pp. 105-129, in P. Hornsby and J. Mashka eds, Hydro 2007 Conference Proceedings, Focus on Asia, International Federation of Hydrographic Societies, Belrose Garretson, Rupert 2009, The Batavia Mutiny, Australia's First Military Conflict in 1629. Sabre Tash, Journal and Proceedings of the Military Historical Society of Australia 50 4, 5-10 Garretson, Rupert 2011, Australia's First Criminal Prosecutions in 1629, Canberra, Batavia Online Publishing Gibbs, Martin 2002, Maritime Archaeology and Behaviour During Crisis, The Wreck of the VOC Ship Batavia 1629, in John Grattan and Robin Torrance Eds, Natural Disasters and Cultural Change, New York, Routledge, 2002, pp. 66–86 Green, Jeremy North 1975, The VOC Ship Batavia Wrecked in 1629 on the Houtman Abrolhos, Western Australia. International Journal of Nautical Archaeology 4 1, 43–63. DOI 10.1111 slash J.1095 9270.1975.TB00902, X Green, Jeremy N. 1986, the Survey of the VOC Flew at Ristam, Malaysia. International Journal of Nautical Archaeology 15, 2, 93-104. DOI 10.1111 slash J.1095 9270.1986.TB00558, X Green, Jeremy N. 2006, The Dutch Down Under, Sailing Blunders. In Nonya Peters, ed. The Dutch Down Under, 1606 to 2006, Crawley, University of Western Australia Press, 2006, Guy, Richard, 2015, Calamitous Voyages: The Social Space of Shipwreck and Mutiny Narratives in the Dutch East India Company. Itinerario 39, 1, 117 to 140. DOI 10.1017 SO1651153150001571 Ketelar, Eric 2008 Exploration of the Archived World From De Vlaming's Plate to Digital Realities Archives and Manuscripts 36 2 13 to 33 Lahn, Richard 1985 The Wreck of the Dutch East India on Campen on the Needles Rocks Isle of Wight 1627 Part 1 International Journal of Nautical Archaeology 14 1 1 to 31 Lahn, Richard 1985 The Wreck of the Dutch East India on Campen on the Needles Rocks Isle of Wight 1627 Part 2 International Journal of Nautical Archaeology 14 2, 97 to 118 Lightly, Robert Allen 1976 An 18th century Dutch East Indiaman found at Cape Town 1971 International Journal of Nautical Archaeology 5 4 305 to 316 
DOI 10.1111 slash J.1095 9270.1976.TB00975, X. Linden, Job K. Letter from Robert Jacob Gordon to Monsieur Le Bailey on his fifth journey in the interior of the Cape Colony. Outre Meurs, Revue de Histoire 366-367, 183-198 Manders, M. R., Chandraatni, W. M., Dayananda, A. M. A., Muthakumarana, R., Weerasena, K. B. C., Weerasinga, K. D. P. 2004, the Physical Protection of a 17th-Century VOC Shipwreck in Sri Lanka. Current Science 86 9, 101-107 Manders, M. R. 2006, the in situ protection of a Dutch colonial vessel in Sri Lankan waters, in Robert Grenier, David Nutley and Ian Cochrane eds, Heritage at Risk, Special Edition, Underwater Cultural Heritage at Risk, pp. 58-60 Manders, M. R. 2006, the in situ protection of a 17 18th century trading vessel in the Netherlands, in Robert Grenier, David Nutley and Ian Cochrane eds, Heritage at Risk, Special Edition, Underwater Cultural Heritage at Risk, pp. 70-72 McCarthy, M. 2006, Dutch Place Names in Australia in Nonya Peters, ed. The Dutch Down Under, 1606 to 2006. Crawley, University of Western Australia Press, 2006. McCarthy, M. 2006. The Dutch on Australian Shores: The Joutdorp Tragedy, Unfinished Business. In L. Shaw and W. Wilkins, eds. Dutch Connections: 400 Years of Australian Dutch Maritime Links, 1606 to 2006. Sydney, Australian National Maritime Museum, 2006. pp. 94 to 109. Much. T. D. 1942. The first discovery of Australia with an account of the voyages of the Doofkin and the career of William Jans. J. R. A. A. HS 28 5, 303 to 352 Palmer, Jonathan, Turney, Chris, Hogg, Allen, Hilliam, Noel, Watso, Matt, Van Sebel, Eric, Cowie, Winston, Jones, Richard, Petchy, Fiona 2014, The Discovery of New Zealand's Oldest Shipwreck, Possible Evidence of Further Dutch Exploration of the South Pacific. Journal of Archaeological Science 42 435-441. DOI 10.1016/slash J. Jazz.2013.11.024 Parthesius, Robert. 2003, the Avonster Project, an integrated maritime heritage research project around the historic port city Gaul in Sri Lanka, in CA. Brebia and T. Gambon, Eds, Maritime Heritage, Boston, Wit Press, 2003. Parthesius, Robert, Miller, Karen, Jeffrey, Bill, 2005. Preliminary Report on the Excavation of the 17th Century Anglo Dutch East Indium on Avonster in Bay of Gaul, Sri Lanka. International Journal of Nautical Archaeology 34 216-207. DOI, 10.1111, J.1095-9270.2005.0056, X. Schilder, Gunter Organization and Evolution of the Dutch East India Company's Hydrographic Office in the 17th Century. Amago Mundi 28 to 61 minus 78 Schilder Gunter 1988 New Holland The Dutch Discoveries in Glyndor Williams and Alan Frost Eds Terra Australis to Australia Melbourne Oxford University Press 1988 pp 83 to 115 Schilder Gunter 1988 The so-called Atlas Amsterdam by Isaac de Graaf of about 17 
A remarkable cartographic document of the Dutch East India Company, in Vice Almirante A. Tixera da Mota, in Memoriam, Volume 1, Lisboa, Academia de Marinha, IICT, 1988, pp. 133 154. Schilder, Gunter, 1984, The Dutch Conception of New Holland in the 17th and Early 18th Centuries. The Globe, Journal of the Australian Map Circle 2238-46 Schilder, Gunter From Secret to Common Knowledge, The Dutch Discoveries, in John Hardy and Alan Frost eds, Studies from Terra Australis to Australia. Canberra, 1989 Schilder, Gunter 1993, A Continent Takes Shape, The Dutch Mapping of Australia, in Changing Coastlines, edited by Michael Richards and Maura O'Connor, Canberra, National Library of Australia, 1993, pp. 10-16 Sheehan, Colin 2008, Strangers and Servants of the Company, The United East India Company and the Dutch Voyages to Australia. Australia, in Peter Veth, Margot Neal, Al, Eds, Strangers on the Shore, Early Coastal Contacts in Australia, Canberra, National Museum of Australia Press, ISBN 9781876,972,000. Sigmund, Peter, 2006, Cultural Heritage and a Piece of Pewter, in L. Shaw and W. Will Wilkins Eds, Dutch Connections, 400 Years of Australian-Dutch Maritime Links, 1606-2006, Sydney, Australian National Maritime Museum, 2006 Van Duyvenvoord, Wendy, Kaiser, Bruce, Megans, Luke, Van Bronswijk, Wilhelm 2015, Pigments from the Zuidorp Joutdorp Ship Sculpture, Red, White and Blue. Post Medieval Archaeology 49, 2, 268 290 Wurtz, Bruno E. J. S., Closer, J. E. 1994, Ceramic Analysis from the VOC Ship Oosterland. South African Journal of Science 90, 10, 522 526 Wurtz, Bruno E. J. S. 2006, The Blissingen. A Dutch East India Company ship that perished along the Namibian shore in 1747, in Hoop Hendricks, ed., Namibia and the Netherlands, 350 Years of Relations, Windhoek, Namibia, Embassy of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, 2006, pp. 20-30 Wurtz, Bruno E. J. S. 2008, Not Lost Without a Trace, the DEIC ship Vlissingen, assumed to have founded near M.E. B. Bay in 1747. Journal of Namibian Studies 447-74 Wurtz, Bruno E. J. S. 2017, The Wreck of the Dutch East India Company Ship Harlem in Table Bay, 1647, and the Establishment of the Tavern of the Seas. The Mariner's Mirror 103 4, 400-416. DOI 10.1080/00253359.2017.1376479 Wurtz, Bruno E J S, Steenkamp, Willem H B, Prowse, Mark R. 2017. Searching for a symbolic shipwreck in Table Bay, Harlem, 1647. South African Journal of Science 113 9-10. DOI 10.17159 SAJS.2017 AO227 Wilderman Diederik 2014 Response The Discovery of New Zealand's Oldest Shipwreck Journal of Archaeological Science 50 to 94-96 DOI 10.1016/j.jazz.2014.06.014 Warden Nigel 2009 Below the Line the Devil Reigns Death and Descent aboard a VOC vessel 
South African Historical Journal 61 4, 701 to 729 Yahya, Padilla, Gordieri, Silvana, Franklin, Daniel 2010, DNA analysis of human skeletal remains associated with the Batavia mutiny of 1629. Records of the Western Australian Museum 26 to 98 minus 108. Topic Fiction Bergvelt, Joyce, Formosa, Vorgoid Verloren. Historische Roman over de VOC op Taiwan, Uchaveri Conserve, 2015, ISBN 9789054294023 in Dutch Bergvelt, Joyce, Lord of Formosa. A Novel of the Battle for Taiwan, Camphor Press, 2018, ISBN 978-1-78869-139-0, Brownlee, Russell, Garden of the Plagues, Cape Town, Human and Russo, 2005, Mattingly, Christabel, My Father's Islands, Abel Tasman's Heroic Voyages, Canberra, National Library of Australia, 2012, Mitchell, David, The the Thousand Autumns of Jacob de Zoot, New York, Random House, 2010 Slay, Dan, Aylond, Cape Town, Tafelberg, 2002 in Afrikaans Slay, Dan, Islands. Translated from the Afrikaans by André Brink, F.L., Harcourt, 2005 Slay, Dan, 1795. Cape Town, Tafelberg, 2016 in Afrikaans. Topic: <inaudible> Audio. Bragg, Melvin, BBC Radio 4, In Our Time, The Dutch East India Company, 2016. Peters, Ayer, Al. De VOC en Lustercollege voor Jongeren over Nederland in de Gouden EEUW, Den Haag, Young Home Academy, 2010 in Dutch Ryan, Andrew, Sabo, Norman, Scott, Klin, Al. Tales of Dutch Formosa. A radio docudrama in four episodes. Taipei, Radio Taiwan International, 2004. Topic Video Green, John, Capitalism and the Dutch East India Company, Crash Course World History 229, PBS Learning Media, 2015 Schiller, Robert, The United East India Company and Amsterdam Stock Exchange, 0 hours 1 minute and 14 seconds, in Economics 252, Financial Markets, Lecture 4 Portfolio Diversification and Supporting Financial Institutions. Open Yale Courses, 2011. Topic. Seminars and symposiums Filippo Carlo Wessel, Diversity and Performance in the Multinational Firm, Evidence from the Ships of the Dutch East India Company, 1700-1796 Documentary Ferguson, Niall, The Ascent of Money, Episode 3, Blowing Bubbles, 2008. Jongsma, Aline, O'Neill, Kell, Empire, The Unintended Consequences of Dutch Colonialism, 2012. Topic. Film The Sino-Dutch War 1661, 2000 Oceans 12, 2004 Topic. Music Batavia Opera, 2001 Topic. 
VOC World in Visual Arts Works of art about people, places, and things associated with the Dutch East India Company VOC. Topic. See also History of the Dutch East India Company Historians of the Dutch East India Company Works about the Dutch Republic History books about the Dutch Empire Works about the Dutch Golden Age Notes <laughs> <laughs>